it is time. Hello, 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 chat. What's going on, everybody? Oh, guys, guys, guys. I wasn't going to stream tonight, but I got a call. Dana Redstone is mad, okay, chat? Dana Redstone says we got to go live right now and talk about the Minecraft drama. You thought it was over? You thought it was over? No, this is coming straight from the network, chat. Oh, this is some of the funniest stuff I've seen. Oh, man. This is... Dude, if you thought that this drama was over, you're so unmistakably wrong. We have a stacked card tonight. We have so much stuff to watch. We are going to be covering... The end of the Minecraft drama, so I've heard it's not actually the end, but let's keep going. Um, we have two statements uh, from our lovable, lovable um, uh, victim, um, Katie Bugs. Uh, people aren't even aware that Shovel chimed in on this one before, so we're going to find out if if Shovel died on Not So Salt Hill as well. Uh, so we have that. People don't even know to watch that one yet. You guys haven't... Even the people who've been covering this didn't even know Shovel responded. Uh, so we've got, like, a cross... Like, this is, um, like, in Ghostbusters when you cross streams. That's what's happening here. The dramas are intersecting. So we have to start going over that one. We also have to watch, uh, Dark Viper... Dark Viper AU has declared war on Brother Chud Logic, so we're gonna have to react to that one tonight. Taking extra precautions to make sure that we are able to, uh, stream it. So, we have a lot of stuff going on. I'm ready. We have a, a stacked card tonight. Alright, we will be reacting. There is so much to do, but before we do it, uh, and yes, if you're wondering, this is Katie's voice, okay? It is time. Chat, all donations will be read at the top of, I would say the top of the hour, at the end of the drama, maybe in between the two girls, because this is a deep segment. We have a lot to discuss. I've heard about five minutes of this so far, and my mind is blown. We're talking historical revisionism, like the people on YouTube try to do with the Holocaust deaths, okay? This is, this is not, um, Katie revision, uh, but Katie, uh, denial. This is Katie revisionism, okay? We have some crazy shit going on here. Yes, if you think if you think that there's nothing that can make this story interesting, we have to get like four minutes in. Some crazy stuff is coming down. Uh, Toastify accidentally deleted his own message. If you haven't been following so far, Katie has been touched on the tummy. This was a big allegation that went out against George Not Found. Dream chimed in, wrote something on Reddit, and then Katie came out with a second response, seemingly upset that people were asking her for information about her story when she's trying to destroy someone's fucking career off of this. And it turned out that throughout the course of the night, when she was claiming she was sitting there, playing her phone, being scared, well, most of the night was actually her grabbing drinks, sitting back down next to the guy she was hanging out with, right? Uh, because she didn't want to upset him or embarrass him by sitting near someone else. Uh, she came from the camp of even if you feel uncomfortable, you sit back in your seat. Okay, that's the normal thing people do. People were asking her, Katie, Katie, I don't understand, Katie. Why did you stay? Your friend got sick and threw up everywhere, was throwing up all over Dream's bathroom, all over Dream's hotel bathroom, and you were like, well, the party must go on. And you decided to stay hanging out with these people who were being weird around you for fucking until like 4 a.m. early the next day? That's an interesting thing to do. That's a that's a normal procedure there when you feel super uncomfortable. When I, I know when I feel super uncomfortable, I sit next to the people who make me uncomfortable and I stay there for long periods of time and I don't help my sick friend. All this stuff is coming out. People are starting to doubt this girl. Her story's not making too much sense. And then you get to the part where all of her friends are now disputing how drunk she was when she was this blacked out drunk like um mess uh, on on vidcon eve okay uh we got one of her friends coming out saying that she wasn't even drinking before this which i mean I, she's saying that she was belligerently drunk when she got there right she was she was taken advantage of and her own friend came out and before changing her story uh said that there wasn't even drinking going on 
His, his story is completely destroyed before we even get in here. But the one thing that has remained constant through and through, the one thread that you could pull from this story from the beginning to the end, is that Katie was groped by, by stomach. Okay? Apparently... George was cuddling with this girl for an hour, not included in Katie's first stream, C cuddling with this girl for over an hour, okay, tickling her tummy, trying to get her to lose the games and stuff like that, and that was the sexual assault chat. The chat, the, the sexual assault that was accused was George touching Katie's tummy underneath the shirt after they were cuddling for an hour. A lot of people, myself included, laughed when they heard that and said, well, if these people were being weird around you, lesson learned, it's a good thing that this stopped. Nothing happened uh, before anything bad could have happened. Nothing happened here. It's lucky that if these people were actually fucking sexual deviants and stuff like that, you got away before anything happened to you of value. Uh, that's been twisted to saying, like, you uh, weren't sexually assaulted enough. No. We're saying you haven't been sexually assaulted because you haven't been. You, your tummy was touched. So that's where we are with the drama. And now Katie has come out of retirement. She was gone. She was she was on vacation, as, as most accusers do. They go on vacation after they're done. And boys, she has produced a one hour final statement. And it is. I, well, I mean, I've only seen five minutes of it so far, but it's really funny. And I'm going to be honest, I've been reading the Dream subreddit because I want to see, because those are the first people I'm expecting to flip, and they haven't. So there is some interesting shit on the horizon here, okay? Um, but tickling is sexual assault, Nick. Yeah, I mean, I can't really argue with, with uh, I guess, retarded children. I'm not saying the chatter's retarded, they're memeing. But, like, there are people who legitimately believe that, and it is so unbelievably funny to interact with those people. Um, yeah, so, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Because we are embarking. All right, we got 1,200 of my closest friends and family. We're competing against other streamers. Uh, Turkey Tom said he was going to go live tonight, but his car broke down. So the airwaves are clean. It is only I who will be talking about this story in a big setting. Ha-ha! I am the pothole that destroyed Turkey Tom's car. Let's go! By the way, if you're wondering what she starts humming here... It is Wanted, Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. Hi, mods. Thank you again. Love you guys. Tee tee lol. Did she not realize the music wasn't playing? Mm -hmm. Do you hear it? Do you hear it? It's Wanted Dead or Alive by Bon Jovi. It's awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Me just waiting. I'm picturing her jamming out like we're playing the UFC music. And she's like, I want it. <laughs> Dead or Alive. <laughs> oh, fuck. She knows, chat. Oh, by the way, guys, donos will be read at the end of the segment. Thank you guys so much for being generous. <laughs> Taking longer than usual. This is really awkward. <laughs> oh, gosh, here we go. Let's, let's restore this to how it was meant to be played. Hey, is everyone uh here now? There Hopefully. we go. This is how it was meant to be Maybe. watched. Yes. 
I guess it is time. Um, hi everyone. This is uh, the stream I promised. Um, I apologize that it's so just late and not, you know what I mean? Um, it's the stream I promised that I would do. Uh, my final thoughts on everything, you know, just everything that I need to get out before I can even begin to heal anything. Um, so here it is. I apologize <laughs> that it is later. I'm pretty sure than I said. I've been really sick um, and I was hoping that I could wait to do this so I could be of right mind to and wait until Can I we read better, the transcript? I've... No, chat. We need to see those tears. I've been really sick um, and I was hoping that I could wait to do this so I could be of right mind to and wait until I got better, but I've just been getting worse. Uh, wise, Hi, so Pinky. I How figured I would just today? do it now because- Wait, is she getting fucking stream donos in TTS? Obviously not gonna be getting better anytime soon. So, uh, here it is. Like I said, this is the stream. Just my final thoughts on everything. Um, if you're looking at this stream, for me to like expose and drop new drama or just anything to talk about, <laughs> it's not that kind of stream. Um, and I apologize if you think it Love is you, going to be. It's just less than three. everything I need to say uh, from my voice, coming from me. Um, I also apologize. I will be, you know, stopping, stuttering. I can't control the emotions I show during this. She can't control her emotions, chat. I have written, say. I've written you down, you know, the things I want to talk about, but it's not something I can just sit and read, uh, which is hard for me because it's hard to just voice how I'm thinking what I'm thinking. Um, so I do ask that you guys be patient with me. Um, and this isn't edited. So I can't, you know, go back or cut out the pauses that I make. So Love again, I apologize. This is going to be all over Katie the place Hart. and right, probably not that, make any let's sense. Let's get that big jump it's coming even in. just here. Did it want to watch his videos on it? Okay, this is good. Watch because this. Because there's a lot of people right now that are even just only watching clips from <laughs> things I've said and refuse to watch the full thing. Chat, there's we watched the full thing, right? We watched your full statement. We got both we got both sides, chat. We're not one of those. We're not the ones that are only watching George. Of people that I've seen better acting in pornos, want chat. Wanna watch his videos on it? Especially because of the latest video using clips from my stream. They really don't feel it's necessary to watch or read any of my stuff. And it's hard. We're watching uh, you tonight! I feel like I don't have a voice in my own story. Chat, one in the chat sense. if she has a voice. Um, so I really want to thank you guys for at least being here, hearing me out. Again, I'm sorry if I like say things the wrong way and, and just use the wrong wording or go back. It's just crazy right now. Everything's crazy. But, but I thank you guys for being here. Um, anyways, um, the one biggest thing that I want to clear up it is fucking sexual assault. Whoa! Okay? I'm Whoa! Gonna apologize. Say that it oh, is shit! sexual oh, assault. Shit! That I'm not a sexual assault victim. Oh. The touching? Oh. That he is admitting. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, boys. All right. It's time now. You know why we're here, chat. The story has changed. Whoa! Holy, we're going straight into the allegations, boys. Whoa! Um. Anyways, um, the one biggest thing that I want to clear up, it is fucking sexual assault. Oh! Okay? I'm not going to apologize, say that it isn't sexual assault, that I'm not a sexual assault victim. The touching that he is admitting, has admitted to many times, this touching that he admitted to not asking or getting my consent before he did, he felt up my tits. <laughs> Oh, chat, chat, we're revising. We're, we're doing a little revisionism. We're doing a little, we're, we're doing a redo, chat. Has anyone here heard George concede that he groped this girl's breast? Has anyone? We're like five statements in. Has, does anyone know? 
Is this like when Keffels came out and said the, the police groped her or something after the whole situation ended? I'm so confused, chat. Show me the logs. Where are the logs? This girl's had like 15 statements so far. Can somebody please tell me where his, where her grubs, breasts were groped, dude? Where? Where did it happen, chat? Can somebody, dude, I'm sorry. For all these stupid Minecraft children, we need to hold up a Minecraft doll. Point to me which block was touched. Okay, this is insane. These people need to take a class before they do this. I agree with Willie Mag Show. This is fucking crazy. Dude, I'm sorry. If you, no, to be fair, none of them directly said whether it was a breast or not. No, 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 no. That's like the bare minimum when you're accusing somebody. You can't get mad at people for not knowing if I even believe her when she revises this. You can't get mad at people for not knowing when you refuse to give even the slightest detail as to what happened in like six different statements. I'm sorry, bro. This is point numero uno. This is not, oh guys, final statement. Did I mention he grabbed my tit? Get the fuck out of here. This is insane. On a couch with other people there. He's Dude, how did no one on the couch go, hey, bro, you grabbed her tit? Apparently there's 15 witnesses here who watched this guy grab a tit after cuddling for an hour, which still, mind you, I don't really care. Uh, whatever. Stuck his hand up my shirt, under my bra, and felt up fondled whatever you want to fondled say. this guy is fucking slapping them like a like like we're doing the fucking ufc we, we got the way that mike tyson is training for his fight with jake paul he's fucking swirling his fists in a fucking circular motion just slapping them that's what's apparently happening here he felt up my tits unwanted sexual touch is literally in the definition of sexual assault it's fucking sexual assault, and I'm- How stoop, I can't believe you. You guys are saying it's not sexual assault when I'm adding in details that weren't present when you said it. How dare you, sir? How dare you? I'm never gonna apologize for saying it is, okay? Uh, it isn't fake allegations. It's not fake allegations. It's not fake allegations. I've just decided I was groped now. So all the people who didn't mention it are bad. I'm not a liar. Hi, Quite I literally, the thing that I was talking about is my sexual assault. And that's the one thing he confirmed. He can sit there and confirm that he did it. And I'm still sat here. Getting called a liar, getting called- This is insane! I'm getting called a liar, he's getting praised right now. Meanwhile, you leave out, like, the most important thing in the story, and then you're mad at other people. This is wild. Fake victim. Uh, getting called- What was it? A slut and a prude at the same time. Fucking slewed. <laughs> uh, and quite frankly, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, I'm not gonna stand down. Luckily, I'm not scared to say it anymore. People need to be more scared. I've been saying this, chat. People need to be more scared. There's gotta be some pushback here. There's no way. This is way too confident for lying. Um, that's it. It's sexual assault. He felt up my tits. This touching that he's talking about, that's what it is, okay? Hey, I'm so confused. She suddenly found a way to say it without fake crying. The the emotions just didn't tap in on this one. She forgot to hit the almost cry but no tear visible button on her soundboard that would activate a screen that comes over and makes it look like she's crying while she's talking. I guess she didn't have time to rehearse this one as well. No, I'm not upset that he tickled me. I'm not saying that he assaulted me because he tickled me or because- So I'm so confused. Do you understand that this was the response to her first statement? She has given subsequent statements and defended the argument she'd put forward previously, right? She left out the fact they were cuddling, gave an entirely more sinister context, and now she comes out of fucking nowhere and redoes the entire allegation, like from the top down. That's insane. By the way, apparently it's the Easter mode in Fortnite, so there's eggs on the ground. I'm also in duos, so this is actually kind of stressing, because I have to kill multiple people to win this game and get the, uh, the dub skis. So, oh, another banger. He was close to me, no. I'm upset because I was on a couch, 18 years old, drunk. 18 and drunk, oh no, oh no. Oh no, chat, she was 18 and drunk, oh no. 
on a couch with other people in the room, and he sticks up his hand and starts feeling my tits. That's what I'm- She was freshly 18, like the produce department! Pew, 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 pew! That was my fucking story. No, he didn't ask if I wanted it. Uh, but somehow, you know, he had enough energy to ask the question, are you ticklish? Which Bitch, you're the number one search thing on Pornhub. Are you surprised? Are you- <laughs> I don't understand! You're the top category on Pornhub! Why are people surprised? <laughs> Which I responded with no. I'm not fucking tickled. No, I'm gonna fucking defend the shit out of that. These fucking stupid kids are going around, and they're not kids, they're adults. They're they're 18 years old, they're 19 years old. This girl has some chip on her shoulder, and she thinks that if she's drinking with people at 3 o'clock in the morning with a guy who's 25 plus, they're not looking to get with her. That's insane. How do you coddle someone to not realize that you're a fucking adult? Why do we have to treat these people like retarded children? That's, that's so fucking crazy to me. He should know better. He was 26 years old. Well, he's not thinking, oh, damn, this girl's a fucking mo No, you're an adult. You're, you're like an actual fucking adult. Why don't we treat you like one? It's not like, oh, it's a- Dude, you're 18 years old, so I have to put on my kid gloves to fuck you. You know what the creepy thing about that would be? The guy who thinks that. That's weird as hell. That is a weird fucking statement. Oh, I gotta treat this girl better. That's that's in Shubble's statement. I can't wait to get to Shubble's statement. Shubble acts like you need to you need to put on a set of gloves and treat that 18-year-old girl better because you know she's she's younger. It no! No one's thinking like, oh god, this girl's fucking 18. I have to treat then you shouldn't have sex with them. If you're weird and if you're like weirded out like that and you're thinking it like that, then you probably shouldn't be having sex with that 18-year-old girl. Uh Wait, maybe he means the teen category? No, the barely legal 18-year-old category is like one of the tops. It's literally up there with fucking Destiny's incest debates. Uh, and that's what- Wait, the way you worded it was wild? Freshly 18? Led to him feeling up my tits. Um, he will never understand uh, that feeling when I realized this wasn't just a bunch of people hanging out on a couch together, a bunch of friends hanging out when it was inherently a sexual thing. And that instead of just a bunch of friends on a couch together, I was- Wait, I'm sorry, you didn't realize cuddling was sexual? You didn't think it was, it was sexual when you're laying on top of a guy? I'm so confused, chat. How many of you guys lay on top of your friends and stuff like that after a, after a long night of drinking? You just lay on your boy's lap. Is that how you guys do your, your hangouts? You just lay on your boys? No! Being wanted for my body. Um, no, he would have never felt my uncomfort because he was too busy feeling something else that night. <laughs> Dude, the poetry is back, chat! The poetry is back! No! Um, no, he would have never felt my uncomfort because he was too busy feeling something else that night. <sighs> um. Had to have been rehearsed? Well, I know she couldn't get the crying in there. Wait, a golden goose. Bang, you're dead. The amount of miscommunication, misinformation that is spreading. Is you are the misinformation. That is you, ma'am. That is you, good day. <laughs> And the biggest reasons I feel like I just don't even really have anything to say anymore because I mean I was reading my own story on Twitter and I was reading it and I didn't even know it was my story they were talking about until they said my name because of how skewed everything's gotten um because you can't get your own story straight that's not our fault that you don't know what you're saying like holy shit that's because you've revised it so many times. This doesn't even sound like my story. Yeah, I know, because you're lying. It's like this huge game of telephone where each time it gets a little bit more off, but no one's acknowledging that they could have heard wrong. 
and they're yelling what they heard as loud as possible. Dude, this is all your fault. You and your dumb fuck friend, Amesy. You and your stupid Minecraft YouTubers you guys hang out with. You know why? You guys thought it was smart to go out there and start vaguely accusing people of sexual assault, not even saying their names in the message. It had to become a Where's Waldo of who's the rapist in the Minecraft community. That's why all of you people who put out statements like, there's this big YouTuber, and I don't know if he can, if, if he's gonna come after me, but I'm gonna describe exactly who I'm talking about so the audience can figure it out and go fucking harass him and shit like that. Dude, all of you guys are at fault here. You think you can vaguely accuse people of fucking rape, you fucking morons? Okay, people saying I'm trying to ruin a man's career because he tickled me, or like, or especially he did not rape me either like it's it's so important to hear what i'm saying um people getting their info from tiktok comment sections like it is it is insane i really do encourage i've lost control of the narrative i don't know what i'm gonna do want to watch my response on it like Either read my response on Twitter or watch the original video. I don't fucking care if you can't stand the fact that I'm crying. <laughs> At least, if you're gonna say something, if you're gonna hate me, that's fine. Watch my Stop. full video and then choose to. Like, it's just, there's a lot. I do, there is something. Bro, I'm this is how George was slapping him around. Clearing dude. up right now. The screenshot. This is how George, this is George, bro. This was what George was doing while all his friends were hanging out. <laughs> uh, that I, my recent response on Twitter, this is the only kind of like response thing I'm gonna give. Uh, I will acknowledge that was a complete miscommunication. There's a screenshot I said was from his friend that wasn't there for the assault, mentioned our ages and acknowledged, you know, the situation was weird. It's By the way, we're still being vague. We still don't know who that friend is. This friend is integral to the drama now. Two people have spoken on this friend's statement. We don't even know who the fuck this person is. It's impossible to track because no one wants to give any information. Holy shit. I hope Dream and George blow this situation wide open and just start handling this well from here on out. I don't know. Real screenshot. What I got wrong and what was miscommunicated was who it was from. It was actually from instead of the guy who left or wasn't there for the assault. It was from the girl who wasn't there for the assault, um, which I acknowledge is frustrating that I got that wrong. How do you get that wrong? You've been studying your own story for a year. This happened last year. This makes no fucking sense. You had a year to figure it out. And then you had to concede to George you fucked up? How do you misspeak? And I didn't- Wait, it happened last year? Yes! Yes! I realized I got it wrong until after I posted it a long time, a, a long time after. And obviously when I don't come out and say, oh, I got that wrong. When oh, and the freshly 18 line for chat, in case you don't know, her birthday is in January. VidCon was in June. She was 18 for six months. She completely lied. She's not freshly 18. If anything, it's funny. It's even more of a comparison to the fucking Pornhub search results and stuff like that. Yeah, no, she's not even freshly 18. She's halfway to 19. When do you stop being freshly 18? That's like a grocery store putting a new sticker on old shit. He's the one to come out and say she got that wrong. It cr makes that into the biggest deal. Um, Bye. I got a message from the girl that actually sent the text and was like, it was a while after I already posted my response and was like, you kind of mixed up who the text was Are you was stopping from, the stream when she looks stupid or does she look stupid by default? Um, I, to be honest, I'm sorry, I guess it's not just a photogenic thing. Sure, it won't be a big deal because it was only one of the minor things you said. Uh, and everything else you said in that response was way more important. Uh, which obviously we've seen uh, that was not the case. But I do acknowledge and own up to the fact I completely was wrong about that. But again, I'm saying... Oh my even God, Even though it wasn't bro. from his friend, it was yet another person in the hotel room 
that acknowledged the weirdness. Yes, it wasn't from that guy in the hotel room. It was from the girl in the hotel room. Like, I still think the situation, the screen well, apparently, Didn't she leave earlier? Was that girl even present for any of that? I thought that the person, I- I'm, I'm almost positive. Wasn't she gone before all of this happened? It's not a fake screenshot as well. It's a real screenshot. I still think it adds to the fact no, that- No, it doesn't. And you lied about the context. It's more revisionism. You know, people acknowledged it. Um, also the fact that I said- Yeah, I've been freshly 18 for like how many years now? I've been freshly 18 for nine years, chat. I have been freshly 18 for nine years. But I was freshly 18, which is something a lot of people are mad about, when in reality, I was 18 and five months old. My bad. Uh, what? Yeah, I because you're poisoning the well and making him sound like a fucking pedophile. Yes. And to say in that original stream where I said I was freshly 18, I said I was freshly 18 and just out of high school. What I meant to say was I was 18 and freshly out of high school. Oh, yeah, and, and like, you didn't feel like correcting that in any of the, like, subsequent statements. Good one, buddy. I just put it in front of the wrong thing, and I do acknowledge that, uh, but once again, I feel like the idea is still- Wait, I'm sorry. Did George go to gra Did George go to your graduation, pick you up, and then, gra like, grope you? How the fuck would he- How would your high school thing even be relevant to the discussion? If the guy didn't know how old you were when he felt you up in the first place, why would it matter if you're out of high school unless he picked you up from there? Same, whether it's freshly 18 or freshly out of high school because I had just graduated- Guys, my well poisoning context was a misspeak. I meant to poison it this way. Thank you, wow, so useful. But a few weeks earlier, the idea is still there. Bro, bro, all right, time out. There is a way that this is creepy. If this happened in front of a bunch of people, like, outside of her high school, after she graduated and walked right up to his car, then yeah, I would say this is fucking crazy, okay? That's not the context we're dealing with here. None of this information is relevant. It's still there. And these are the things... I'm sorry, I do get frustrated with that because- Guys, she was only 222 months old, yeah. People are mad at me saying that I'm a liar because of these things instead of acknowledging the fact that he fucking admitted to doing what he did to me. Because what he admitted to was tickling your belly. And we don't care about that. And we think it's funny. Like, and we're worried about the fact that I was, I said I was freshly 18 when I meant to say I was freshly out of high school. It's just, it, I'm, again, and I just, I shouldn't man. be getting frustrated, no. but hey, um, it's just, a, dude, her donos are coming in. Setting, we all seeing, love you him admit to it um and that not being enough um and like she's saying all of this while explaining how all of her previous lies were just misspeaks while lying about the nature of his fucking response as if george at any point has conceded to grabbing her breast there is no fucking history that that exists in there's no screenshot to pull up no clip to show he never at any point admitted to groping her fucking breasts. It's a total lie in the segment where she's explaining how every other little lie so far has just been a misspeak. Oh, the charitability chat. I'm feeling the charitability. Uh, wait, no, that's just my blood boiling trying to listen to this degeneracy. And for the people saying he- Watch him admit to it for the Minecraft tax. I, dude, I honestly, there is a 50-50 shot that George just concedes again, but I don't think it's coming this time. I believe that George will respond well for the first time in this drama, because you know why? Dream subreddit hasn't shifted. Twitter hasn't spun. They need to sit down and figure out a good response and melt this girl, bro. Listen, that's what they have to do. They really have to sit there and put together a good fucking response and clean this one out. Was drunk too, so he didn't consent. I didn't fucking feel up his tits. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, can we get a soundbite of that? That's so good. That's so clean. This is like a tipster soundbite. And for the people saying he was drunk too, so he didn't consent. I didn't fucking feel up his tits. No, you cuddled him. You've laid on him. 
And you're trying to act like that wasn't some sexual thing, as if people just lay on their fucking friends and cuddle with them at four o'clock in the morning. Do you guys understand that when she was going home, her fucking friend was throwing up in the bathroom and left the person she came with. And instead of going with her drunk friend, she stayed to cuddle with George. Do you guys understand this context here? Like that's just being completely left out. What did he not consent to? I would like to make it clear. There was no reciprocation in any sexual act. The sexual act that happened was not reciprocated. The only thing he could have not consented to was him putting his own hand on my tits. I didn't touch him after that. I didn't touch him sexually before that. There was nothing for him to content or consent to sexually. Um, I understand that could be an argument, not for this situation. Um, the hypocrisy that has surrounded this situation is fucking insane. I'll get into just the blaming of me, uh, that- Because you are at fault. It is insane shit. Um, but the hypocrisy Chat, of she's mad right now. She's fucking pissed. Holy shit, she's sitting here like, why didn't you believe my bullshit? What the fuck? I just can't do anything uh, in this situation. I mean, True. I came about it out about it publicly, and I was called an attention-seeking slut. So then I'm Chat, like, I don't think we called her a slut. Um, I don't think that's the one we called her. I don't think she's a slut. I think she's a retarded child. Fine, I privated all my things so I couldn't receive followers, receive clout. You know, I couldn't grow from this. I've privated everything, so I can't gain that. Uh, and then I'm told I'm hiding uh, f from everything and that I should go public. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I cry on my stream because I'm scared and I'm talking about my assault. I I'm sorry, wait, was there an assault that happened? I, I'm like, wait, did she like not mention? I'm, wait, what? I'm like, huh? Oh, wait, I forgot we revised. Okay, the, it, the revised history is that there was, um, I guess, an assault? cry and then i'm told i'm embarrassing that i'm doing it for attention that i'm a pick me that i'm dramatic but if i sat there and i didn't cry i know i would have been called a liar soulless heartless you know i guess it's a, i guess it's a lose lose yeah when you lie i guess it's a, there's not really a way to do that um effectively path you can't do anything right in these situations and it's fucking insane no you can tell the truth you definitely can tell the truth chat we talked about shovel on here and wilbur soot and i like argued with lyrics who i thought was being a bit too dramatic when he was talking about shovels like transgressions in the stream and stuff like that this is a very comparable situation it happened around the same time uh i still firmly believe that uh wilbur needs to address a lot of the biting related things and stuff like that and that's a discussion that needs to be had it's interesting that when there are two people one of which who is giving uh, decent testimony along with other people talking about it and stuff like that uh, that don't have glaring holes in their story we treat them differently on this stream we treat them more charitably on this stream and I mean my first stream talking about Katie didn't sound like this I wasn't as aggressive in my commentary when I discussed it if you go back and watch the first one we were waiting we were watching uh, everyone seemed kind of uncomfortable or whatever until more the, more information came out and stuff like that we gave her the benefit of the doubt we watched most of it live with Chud Logic um, for people saying take legal action, do you know the odds of winning an assault case? Like uh, zero, because he touched your belly. And definitely zero now, after the way that this is gone. Um, I would say the odds of winning that case are zero. There's a reason. There's a one out of And the reason is because it was not sexual assault, just to be clear. That's the reason, okay? girls are assaulted in their lives okay there's a reason so many of them don't come out about this thing. you have a confession ma'am you claim he's confessed like i'm i mean what else could you possibly want you got the guy in 4k if it's good enough for twitter should be good enough for the police why don't you go fucking file a report you're saying he's gone on and admitted that he groped your tit so call the fucking cops system you would like to believe that it's always for you the amount of fucking injustice that happens with our system is insane
It's absolutely insane. And you sit here and see someone come out about their story, and your immediate thing is, well, take it this up with the, the law. Clip. Like, that Hold will. Hold on. I didn't fucking feel up his tits. <laughs> Dude, can we put that? We gotta get that in the rotation. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. Serve any justice. Um, so fuck you. Um, dude, um, that's so true, people, chat. Even she's lav maxing, she's currently lav maxing, chat. No, you're right. Oh man, people not being able to watch my video, me coming out about my assault, but being able to hear it from his mouth. Uh, but they don't want to watch mine because I'm too dramatic and because I'm crying too. We watched him. I thought yours was funny. Good value. Much views. <laughs> uh, but they'll watch his. Uh, I think it's insane. The amount of people telling me how I felt that night. The amount of people telling me how I felt. Or the amount of people believing from his mouth how I felt. By the way, chat, I can't stress this enough, but we're talking about consent right now. I got to bring the question. When you have the cow piercing, like she does, is that like fair game to tug on your nose? We were bringing this up last stream, but she has the cow piercing, like the thing they put on the cow's nose to pull it. So is that consent to grab her nose? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely, this is not a joke. This is a real question. Is that why girls get this piercing? They're like, pull me? Like... <laughs> All right, fuck off. <laughs> Instead of just fucking hearing me say how I felt. It's insane. It's insane. Um, it's the VPD piercing, true. I guess we didn't call her a slut, but we did call her a cow. But we did because of the nose ring. Um, and the fact that if I have inconsistencies in my story, which I do, and I'm not going to say I don't, I'm... Like, remembering the night of my assault, and I'm sorry, but the thing that I really remembered is the assault. I didn't remember, you know, like, if a person who wasn't there for the assault left at a certain time. I'm, I remembered my assault. I will acknowledge that there are inconsistencies. But when if she didn't remember it, why can't she tell us what it was? Chat, does anyone know what... Chad, does anyone know what the assault was? Can somebody please fill me in? I, she keeps talking about it and saying like, it's like the only thing she remembers about the situation, but I'm not sure, Chad. I can't find it. Ugh. When I have inconsistencies in my story and I address them and I acknowledge it, my whole story's out. It's in the- Yes. <laughs> trash. And I'm seen as a liar for inconsistencies. But when- Chad, she forgot she was groped on the boob until we reminded her. She needed, she needed that extra push, all right? She's criticizing us, but she didn't remember her story of being sexually assaulted until we, until we jogged her memory. He has an inconsistency. Or when, you know, even the 21 Brisbane thing, saying I had a band that said I was, you know, when he has an inconsistency and I prove it wrong, have video footage of it, it's still used against me to this day. No, but the problem is your whole story is completely, like, unraveling in front of us. Literally everything you said is not working. His inconsistencies are taken as the holy fucking grail and as the truth. What the even fuck? When There's wrong. wolves. And when I have an inconsistency, my whole fucking everything I've said uh, is gone. It's just... Isn't it interesting? It sounds like an adult is talking now. Am I crazy? Is that like me being over dramatic? It sounds like I'm talking to an adult now when she speaks. Like she turned off the I'm an innocent 18 year old girl tee hee lol maneuver. Like she switched that off and now I'm speaking to like an actual adult who's mad. That's what it feels like. It feels like she did like the put your hand over your face thing and your expression changes and she remembered that she's like an adult now. The way I've been treated is fucking insane. And I'm not afraid to say it's fucking insane. Yeah, she just turned 19 uh, on a uh, front. What's it called? She just turned 19 mentally. And now she's just like broken through the mold. Like Goku has broken through his limits. Because uh, I do acknowledge I have inconsistencies, you know. Uh... Wait, she's 19 now? Well, she's freshly 19. It's only March. She's been 19 for two months. But it is. Yeah, uh... ooh, the uwu setting was set to off. Um. Anyways. By the way, thank you so much for donos. You guys have been super generous. I'm going to read them in a little bit, but I'm not reading them while we're doing the stream. And I also understand well, the idea. During later in the stream. 
idea that we have different point of views, obviously. We're gonna have different point of views of that night, otherwise what happened wouldn't have happened. Um, I don't understand believing the one point of view over the other, and again, even the Wait, wait, hold on! Whoa! Whoa! But it is. Um, anyways. And I also understand the idea that we have different point of views, obviously. We're gonna have different point of views of that night, otherwise what happened what? wouldn't have happened. Um, I don't understand believing the one point of view over the other, and again- What do you mean? Your point of view is that you- you were sexually assaulted! His point of view is that you weren't! That's like, you have to believe one or the other! You can't believe both! What are you talking about? Even the fact that we have different point of views. The one thing we agree on. Dude, wait, so your point of view is that you were super creeped out while you kept going back to lay with him? I'm quoting you! This is your point of view! If I go to your point of view, which I can go find on your Twitter right now, everything I need to debunk your story is on your Twitter! What are you talking about? Hold on, look at this. I'll pull it up for you, chat. I'll bring it in. I'll bring it over. Let's go talk to Katie and get Katie's point of view. Okay, I'll pull this up. Full screen. Okay? This is Katie's point of view. Where do we go? Um, hmm, where are we going? Insta DMs. Uh, I walked him out to the... Uh, we cuddled. Um, a lot of the touching was initiated by him. By the way, a lot does not mean all, for the record. A lot of the touching was initiated by him. But him probably not realizing it. So we're ultra charitable here. He didn't realize he was feeling me up most of the night. Okay. Uh, he was literally spooning me from my left as I faced Ghosty to my right. Okay? Picture this. This is the interaction that she's currently doing. Is she's spooning with him on the couch. Okay? A lot of the cuddling uh, he might have felt was personal, but it was just me being drunk and everyone on the couch doing the same thing all drunk and close together but i get it i was drunk i didn't think cuddling automatically meant it was going to turn sexual i didn't know it was an invitation i wasn't gonna push him off me in front of everyone he took it a step further in front of everyone all because he assumed things and assumed he had the right as a shy person i could not speak up in front of him and everyone else let alone say yes even if you wanted to take a step forward sexually why do it out in the open if you're curious Curious about consent? Why not ask? That's usually the first step. Chat one in the chat. If all of your interactions with women start with, "Might I touch your breast, ma'am?" That's how Toastify does it. Toastify walks in and permission to touch my, your breast, my lady. Who the fuck starts a sexual interaction like that? I just sat down. Like Jesus Christ. Um, here. Now this is a great part, dude. Yes. I got up and sat in the same spot, getting up to drink more, etc. Okay, so this is her explaining that whilest she's being cuddled on the couch and feels fucking gross about it. She was getting up, grabbing a drink, and sitting back down and cuddling with him again. Because in uh, on a sofa, uh, because I believe in, uh, in a room on a sofa with people, you just sit back where you were going. She thought she had an assigned seat to get groped by George not found, and that the teacher would throw her out of the room if she tried to sit with her friends. That's what's happening here. This is crazy. All right, I'm not getting this from George's video. I'm getting this from your statement. This is you, okay? Even if I were to move, that would be an obvious hit to his ego. Oh, okay. Just sit there and let him grope you. Wouldn't want to damage the fucking sexual assaulter's ego. What the fuck are you writing here? Leviathans, come take me now. Holy shit. It's a bold move and I didn't need to make it. I could just deal with it until the night was over. I didn't want someone I'd had watched for a while with a large following to hate me for denying to sit with him. This is her version of the story. No fucking person in history would write this and go on stream and go, they hate me because they only watched George. No! How about this one? She stayed when the friends left, okay? I didn't make the conscious decision to choose to stay. My friend left, throwing up in her hand. I didn't know. She was so drunk, she couldn't hold in her vomit and passed out in our bathroom. The more the night went on, the drunker I was. Like I said before, I put up with it in the moment, 
because I thought it was the price I had to pay to be around such big creators. You didn't ask why your friend was just gone for hours? Your friend went home drunk, throwing up all over the fucking place, and you were staying, hanging out with George and Dream? You didn't think like, hey, how do I get back? Where's my friend? Yeah, okay, chat. Uh, yeah, all right. Okay, so just to be clear, when she says that all the people who don't like me just watched my side of the... Oh, just watched George's side of the story, just a reminder, that is her side of the story. The one thing that we agree on is the fact that he touched me and didn't ask if I was okay with it. Which you don't have to. Yes, you can. Yes, when you're dealing with dumb fuck retarded women, it's probably smart to do that. Otherwise, you're going to end up in a fucking YouTube video. But for the vast 99% of people who have normal interactions, it is entirely possible to have nonverbal consent. The world has been having it for years, for decades, for centuries, okay? Yes, when you're having sex with somebody, it's probably ideal to say, like, are, is this okay? Are you, is this still cool? Are you good? Are, are you okay with everything that's going on right now? Like little passive reinforcement options and stuff like that. But to act like you can't make any move on a girl without asking explicitly, can I touch your breast now? Is fucking weird. That's crazy. That's what I- oh, This is like the joke with consent forms or whatever, like the meme. Like no one would ever actually be in a situation like that. Did you sign your consent form or something like that? I'm sorry, I revoked my consent after I signed the form or something. Like this is a meme that you'd hear five years ago. I came out about and that's what he- agreed. If he'd asked for consent, she probably would have said yes. I mean, I, I don't know. The, the, the world would love no, he didn't ask. He must be a rapist. Read with. I mean- <laughs> It's, I don't know. Um, oh, and again, the fact of- I can't get over this. I just read this. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep jungling back to it. But she's like, you have to hear her fucking story again. Can we go back to her first one? I need to just play this for you. Where's Katie's allegations? Because I'm fucking so annoyed. This gets me so angry while I'm fucking watching this. I need to, you need to hear how she was interacting. Okay? While is she saying like, well, I didn't want to like bruise his ego or anything. Um, uh, wait, what is this? It's important for other people to hear it. Is this excuse? Is that? Oh, wait, wait, hold on, bro. Hold on, chat. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. This is hilarious. Dude, you guys want to see a funny picture? Wait, wait, I didn't know this happened, chat. Look at this. This is XQC watching me, watching Destiny, watching the girl. Holy shit. That's so funny. I still hate XQC, but this is funny. It's important for other people to hear it. I'm sorry, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I guess axe murderer, multi-level rapist, um, extremely powerful industry figure with multiple women under his thumb. That's where, that's where my mind is right now. If we're scared to talk about this, it has to be said. We're trying to help other people. That's what my mind is prepped for. Okay. Whew. All right. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, necromancer, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> From me. It's really hard for me to talk about. XQC, LX, QC, LX, QC, LX, QC, LX, QC, LX, It has to be said, we're trying to help other people. That's what my mind is prepped for. Okay. Whew. All right. That's so funny. That's so funny, chat. I was looking for Katie's response. Uh, my story. This is what I'm looking for. And I guess I'm for. still new. I need you to hear this, all right? This is her talking about how she was sitting next to George. Um, here. This is her. Was his past, and I wondered how he felt sitting so close to me. It was a little after that when I had resorted to playing games on my phone when it happened. Out of nowhere, I felt him slip his hand under my clothes, sitting next to me on the couch, in front of everyone. He disguised it with a simple, are you ticklish? I coughed out a no, still staring at my phone. I was overly aware of the fact that we were in front of other people. The fact that everyone else was sitting around us, watching us, including my best friend, and that his hand was inching further to places I hadn't asked for it to be. 
He made it Where was it inching, chat? Her neck? Where was it inching up from? He was done with the breasts and he was gonna start choking her on the couch? Out of my embarrassment. Where he Are you ticklish? <laughs> like touch me in certain areas to make me lose the phone game I was playing. I was scared and I felt sick, either from the alcohol or from his touch. It didn't matter because my mind was a blur. I didn't speak. What phone my... game was it? Dude, it's the only phone game that matters. It was Crossy Road. <laughs> I remember being afraid to even breathe. I stayed there for a while, hoping my stillness could make me disappear. <laughs> I eventually had to stand up after many minutes for it to stop. Chat, she's literally fucking saying all this. I had to stand up after many minutes for it to stop. Bro, she says she didn't want to upset him and like blow up his ego and sit somewhere else. Dude, these are two different people. There's no way this is the same person giving the same fucking story. And now there's a third person wearing her skin doing a different story. This is crazy, chat. Saying I painted him in a bad light. I'm talking about my assault. I'm not going to paint it in a fucking rainbows and sunshine light. I'm saying I used word choices that painted him bad, but then he says stuff like- No! Oh, we're, we're accusing you of before. poisoning the well! Cuddle. We're accusing you of lying! I think I picked up the enunciation for lying from Dave Chappelle. No! You're lying! <laughs> Rainbows and sunshine light. I'm saying I used word To hit the eye? Like high pitch the eye? No! You're lying! This <laughs> that painted him bad, but then he says stuff like- Oh, we cuddled before. Cuddling can be taken, and I watched it be taken and ran with. He says we cuddled, and people are like, you oh, can't the get mad off. at what he did to you because Oops, you were sorry. lying on top of him and all up on no, him. No, no, you don't understand, Katie. No, they're not saying that you can't do it because you're lying on top of him. They're saying that you can't do it because you're lying on stream, and you're lying on your Twitter. And you're lying on other people's fucking DMs. And you're lying in general. Not just that you're lying on him. Um, it's that you're just lying. <laughs> Before it happened. I wasn't. We were on a couch. It's because you're lying now. <laughs> sitting. Sitting up. Sitting up. We were all on a couch. Everything and anything you could consider cuddling, I saw that as a friendly, like- You said you were spooning with him. That you were little spoon chat. I always a friendly gesture. Listen, me and the homies didn't spoon at VidCon. Okay, that would be weird. That'd be a weird thing to happen. Dude, me, Tom, and Augie got drunk in fucking in the Airbnb with fucking Poncho. None of us were spooning drunk what you do with your and friend. and tom was not 21 because <laughs> i was doing it with my best i lived this at vidcon okay nobody got fucking spooned friend i mean i think one of them might have scooped me but uh, fuck i got sexually assaulted right next to me as well you know um and again i believed we any you, touches Katie. were more initiated by him but again that's just hearsay again uh but just using words like that, it can be taken and ran with. It wasn't anything sexual, and I still, I believe it was pretty tame. Uh, you know, uh, I didn't, again. All of you were men? No, Pancho brought his girlfriend. Wait, it was one of those two. I don't, was it a Cheeto? Or was it Pancho? I get both of those people mixed up. Like, they're, the, I know they're different people, but for the life of me, I can't tell which is which. Uh, it was either a Cheeto or Poncho, and they came with their girlfriend. I believe that it was an invitation for anything sexual or that it would lead to anything sexual, especially it being in front of a bunch of people. Um, for the people saying I'm an attention seeker, I think genuinely when people come out about these kind of things um, is insane that people believe that. Anyone who has genuinely came out about a true story uh, that has happened to them, they know that this attention is the worst attention you could possibly ever get. Um, 
I've lost the love for something that I've spent so long on. Because no, please don't tell me you've lost the love for Minecraft. Please, fucking, please tell me you haven't lost the love for Minecraft. Because of all of this. You know? No. It is everything that I've worked for since I was 16. On this account, you know, under this name, everything that I've worked for is overshadowed by this. When you look up my name, this is what it is. I'm fucking defined by this now. You yes. know, and there's no coming back from that. Why why would I want that? Um and it's my trauma and what I've been through has become drama yes. and clickbait and yes. just another discussion topic yes to argue with each other on twitter yes why would i want any of this um i will because you thought you it was going why. to go better you thought this was going to go better that's why you don't like this you thought it was it was gonna go like a different way and it didn't and that's hilarious came out about it later but i didn't i this is not the attention anyone would want um and if someone does want attention like this they're fucking insane. Um, and, no, uh, sir. This is I'm just regular insane. Me undermining any of the sport I've gotten. I love you guys, and I love. Dude, Mama Max is so hype watching this reaction right now. Dude, his fucking silencing all survivors documentary is gonna be a banger. The people that have shown me support, um, I'll never be able to thank you guys enough. But even the good support that I've gotten in this situation. You know, the people that are strictly, before I privated, following me just because of this. It's not even the kind of following that I want, you know? Uh, people following me because I'm a victim. People following me uh, because of this situation. It, it, it just further defines me. Max is gooning to the stream. Yeah, dude. He's actually half of my viewers right now, or him and his army of abuse survivors. Um... Wait, have you watched the response? Hey guys, Connor's asking if I watched the response. Not yet, buddy. Is there something I should look out for? Hold on, wait. Hold on, chat. Hey, hey, buddy. Yo, what's up? Which response? By the way, I'm live. Oh, you're live? Oh, the Katie one? I, I didn't know if you were live or not. <laughs> wait, Katie responded? You haven't, you, you saw it. I saw you reply to it on Twitter. I just didn't know if you watched it yet. <laughs> Wait, no. What did, did you have any big takeaways? Like, is it worth watching? Shut the fuck up. I just saw it in your stream. You're fucking lazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? I have a cockapoo. I actually have three dogs. They're all different dogs. Dude, I got that dog in me. Ah, Turkey Tom's power went back on. Fuck you, Tom. <laughs> I no, try. I, I paid your fucking. Course. I paid them good money to not hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Get in here, you little fucker. I paid your power company good money to stay down during this rape review. Fuck your dude, your power company. Dude, I was so downtrodden. I was literally like trying to get a hotel so I could stream, and then like <laughs> after I pay for the hotel. I get a fucking text with this like your power's back and I'm like, fuck yeah. Dude, fucking Connor just called me. He goes, hey dude, did you see Katie responded? So I called him back on stream. Like wireless talking. Oh, did oh we're you live know? by the way. We're live by the way. We're live by the way. Oh, we're live. Wait, why are you already live? I've been dude, we're reacting. I got a uh I got a, a message. Uh Mr. Hassel says he likes the show. Which show? What do you mean? Which show? Ultimate Rape Review. Oh, Hassel likes the rape review, dude. Guess what? He likes the rape review, dude. This he said is... it made him come around. Wait, un unmute my soundboard. I gotta show you something. Oh my god, dude. Do I really have to do this? Yes, yes. Unmute it. Unmute it. Unmute I'm it. on my fucking phone. Okay. Unmute it. <laughs> unmute it, or the next rape review. The next rape review will be on you, Turkey Tom. <laughs> All right, I. Have I unmuted it. Hold on. All right, it's on. Okay, ready? Yeah. It is time. I didn't hear anything. Oh, come on! <laughs> well, chat heard it, I guess, right? Dude, I got her saying it is time. It is time? Katie started Cheers, her dude. stream by saying it is time. She did my intro. 
That's base, dude. She <laughs> she's getting into it. She's definitely been watching the show. I heard. Uh, dude, she I had like a Freudian grapevine. slip, dude. She had a Freudian slip. She did my intro. Have you reacted to it yet? I'm watching it right now. We're 20 minutes in. I've been told she doesn't address George's response at all. That's no, she does. Told. She tells everybody that nobody oh. cares about her response because they only watch George's version. Okay, that's the only reason people are, are mistaken right now. She I mean, I'm pretty up... sure we all have streams like going over her entire response. Oh yeah, but dude, 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 do you know the do you know the big bomb at the five minute mark? No. She starts yelling. He groped my breast. He groped my breast, and he admitted it. Jesus. Dude. He did go silverback mode. What the <laughs> fuck? Apparently, we're just adding that. Co- it's, this is like you know when they say that like it's not Holocaust denial; it's revisionism. This is her right. version of that. She's revising. <laughs> Dude, she's, Dude, she's, it, we lost this it, round, it, but it's not over yet. Get ready for the next story. Like, yeah. I mean, according according to Katie Bugs, you can't actually bake six million cookies in that okay. amount of time. <laughs> that being said. It just seems like a bit much. It's, I mean, 500,000. Dude, but you were right, like, though. He apparently went silverback. Base, dude. What the fuck? That's crazy. He's just like us. Ooga booga maxing. Dude, <laughs> going caveman mode? Base. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm curious to watch her response. I imagine there's nothing. Did she pull any receipts or anything? Or? No, so far. Well, it's actually, it's, it seems like she turned off her 18-year-old uh, age filter, and now she's just like a mad adult. It's, it's, it's like a different person is talking. So she's, not, her, she's not crying anymore. Nope. This isn't even no Katie. Crying. This is one of her different BPD alters that's having this discussion with us right now. Okay, this is uh, Lord Lloyd on the phone. This is this is her nose ring speaking. <laughs> tug me. <laughs> this is her septum. This is Mrs. Septum. <laughs> this is Katie's septum speaking. Please tug. <laughs> this is Katie Septim speaking. The gorilla is out of the cage, and we need backup. <laughs> we need we need Harambe here, stat. Okay. All right. Can we, t- can we all take our dicks out for George not found? Chat. Are you guys with me on this one? Mm-hmm. I'll fucking do it. I'll fucking mm-hmm. post my cock on Twitter. Wait, t- wait, Tom. Do you have the stream open? I want to show you the overlay from when I do Dark Viper tonight. I don't have it open, but I am aware of a. Uh... Oh, I showed it to you already. You know, you've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Do, do, does chat know or no? Yeah, chat's seen it. Chat's seen it. Chat's where seen where it? he's talking outside of that girl's ass. Yes. No, not that one. Uh, the other. Oh no, thing. no, they don't know about that yet. That's a secret. That's a secret. Okay, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to leak that. But that is a. Uh, that that is a kino way to transform content. Eagle-eyed conser- like, eagle-eyed viewers from the commentary community know the bit that's coming. But I don't think I don't think Chud logic. Chud's gonna end his stream to get whiplash when I start covering his drama. He's just gonna have a fucking attack. What is the synopsis of that video? I haven't actually seen the entire. I haven't thing watched yet. it yet. I'm watching it on stream because he said that you can't watch videos on stream for the first time, so I'm doing that. I've literally only seen the part where he said that somehow I'm the only person that makes him not want to kill himself or something, or I'm least likely to make him want to kill himself. And I agree with that. Therefore, I think he might be right. Actually, <laughs> I'm curious if you leak this DM, Turkey Tom. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> It's getting leaks now, bitch. No. Um, uh, yeah, that's the problem with that situation. Like, I can't even watch the video. Dude, he dropped a video yeah, saying, yeah. hey, guys, my name's Dark Viper AU. I'm a giant fucking pussy who has to respond to every single thing every single person said about me. Otherwise, And I'm going to get involved with, like, lawyers and spend shitloads of money to take down videos that call me, a, like, a turbo AIDS gay guy. That's, that's what he said. He's like, hey, guys, my copyright was uh, probably uh, – I could probably win in court. Uh, it was a copyright violation, uh, and I have to take down this video that called me a turbo retard. Okay, guys? I'm, I'm, to be clear, do we do we know if he has turbo AIDS? Is it official diagnosis? It's, or? it's, it's actually malicious, and, it's, um, and you should be sued if you say he has gay turbo AIDS. I um, see, because I haven't gotten the doctor's note yet. I'm still working on that, but uh, you know, hopefully we'll have the update soon. I would like to know. I mean, if it's that big of a problem, I think we could try to fundraise, get him some help, you know? Yeah, honestly, get I, listen, buddy, I'll fundraise his lawsuit on Chud Logic, okay? If there's if there's one thing that we need to do, it's take down a British person. Historically, I've been always into the uh, Australian side as opposed to the British side. So, I don't know. Maybe we could fund his lawsuit. This is the thing. I have a hard time understanding why you're defending Chud Logic. I say let the Redcoats kill each other so we can just chill. Wait, they're not killing each other. It would be the, uh, the, the prison mates killing the... Uh... Oh, well, even better, okay? The remnants of the Empire are destroying who is left, who is Chud Logic. So Dude, I, I think that's based. I think, I think that, Chud Logic yeah, has I, to go down. I think that Dark Viper should go silverback on, um, on Chud Logic. <laughs> All right, I got to get mean, back to I mean, based on the fact he wears a wife beater every stream, I think he's already going silverback. Uh, oh, Chud just said, hey, man, I'm like 10 minutes away from the end of this KD shit. Oh, fuck. I'm only 20 minutes in. Ooh. 
Uh, put it on five times speed and put on some skibbity toilet in the corner. You'll be good. All right. I'll, maybe we'll do. Uh, maybe I'll take Shred's call and we'll get back to it. All right. I gotta get going. I That's gotta good. try to get a little ahead. We gotta get some more lore in here. All right. Have fun. Peace. Sure. All right. We're gonna we're gonna have a conference call with Chud Logic on the rape files, but we have to zoom a little bit. We gotta start going. Um. Here we go, chat. Let's go to one point two five so we can try to get some more yardage. I love this port, and that isn't me not acknowledging how grateful wow that does not even feel different chat i feel like we haven't changed anything chat holy shit i am uh but again obviously the bad attention is bad but even the good atten attention um it's it's not even what i would want i I've always wanted you know to connect dude shout out to the 2300 yeah. of my closest friends and family who are watching me right now yesterday i had people over and they were asking about what i do for a living and i told them that i do it and ultimate rape review and there is no in between chat and to you know my content to be known more but i don't want it to become more well known because i was assaulted um and i hope you guys can also understand that so both sides of the attention i'm getting is just Again, it's nothing I would ever want. And again, why would I come out about this? For more clout? I don't want to fucking do content. What, what am I going to do with the clout? Um, I don't know what my future holds, but I don't want a career in content. Or Guys, I don't, like want a, I don't want a career um, in being a victim. Well, it's yeah. not, well uh, you again, know, I mean, none of us do after it happens. All safe right. to come out about their stories? It hurts how many there are. And it just further, you know, it further sets in my mind that I would do this again. No matter how many fucking names I'm called, even if I have to disappear from the internet, chat, I would do it Chat, she would lie again. again, chat. I mean, she, I mean, we know that. We're watching it happen in real time. Seeing how many people it has helped and the space that it's created for other content creators to come out about their stories. I mean, even DMs I've gotten, people who aren't ready to come out publicly, but from bigger cre content creators, bigger than me, smaller than me, and you guys sending me letters sending me messages again it breaks my heart knowing you guys have went through that but it also is like you know i want to create the space that people feel safe to talk about that um i want to create the, the space where we never get held been... accountable for things we oh. say online i want to create the space where i can vaguely accuse massive minecraft youtubers of rape and then get fucking super stunned and stun locked when people start saying like oh no wait hold on and getting all that information and start going after me and trying to fact check my story and stuff like that where i can always be the victim and it's always them who have to take the huge fucking l despite the fact that they may or may not be being completely fucking slandered you guys are like oh my god these are these are awful people chat uh i need to create a space for sexual assault victims yeah dude you, you've reinvented the me too movement you've moved the the goalpost has been moved there was no space for people uh, to defend themselves until you came along. Um, even though you're regurgitating exactly what you said about Shovel when Shovel came out, but that's besides the point. Um, okie dokie. A lot. <laughs> um, even the fact of fucking reporters messaging me asking for my fucking take on it all, or my comment on it. I actually fucking choke, are you joking? Oh! Oh, she's telling people to kill themselves, chat! She's like every other Minecraft stan on Twitter. Whoa! Can I get your side of this? Choke. Okay. Jesus. This reminds me of an interaction I had yesterday with a Dark Viper fan. Did you- Some fucking Dark Viper fan- I, All of these people have gay turbo aids, alright? It's not just a one-person thing. But some Dark Viper fan tried to own me on Twitter being like, Are you a supporter of suicide? Hold on, I need to show you. This guy's actually fucking kidding me. This is actually a huge fucking meme, alright? Somebody writes me under Chud Logic's tweet. We're jumping ahead here. Someone goes here. Let me pull this up for you. Uh, full screen it. I'm watching this video, and you have called him autistic two, three times in the first six minutes, and you have said that he's too good for suicide. Bruh, people like you deserve the worst. How would you describe Dark Viper without using the term autistic? Genuinely. Better question. Do you support people committing suicide? Nick, I like you and Chud both, but sometimes you get served an L and you just have to take it. 
What is, what kind of question? Do you support people killing themselves? Yeah, dude. Oh, is that what you were looking for? Yeah, I wish that all my enemies would die. Like, what, what were you expecting me to say here? Yeah, dude. Uh, you should get an all expense paid trip to a Canadian suicide pod because you disagree with me on fucking YouTube. Yeah, that's exactly what I fucking meant, bro. Holy shit. You fucking owe me with that. Like, you, I, I, are you a fan of people killing themselves? Yeah, dude. I'm a, I'm a fucking fanatic, bro. I love when it happens. Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. All expense paid vacation to fucking suicide camp. Holy shit shot. It's, it's insane. I mean- To the pod! <laughs> watching the position I'm in right now, watching thousands of people comment on your sexual assault story, people <laughs> fight each other over it. People use it as a talking point on a YouTube video or a podcast. You know, it being made into clickbait. It's it's insane. Um, watching my experience. We chat. Is... Clickbait. Or, oh fuck! Wait, that's 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 me. I'm clickbaiting, I guess. So means so much to me. Get dumbed down and simplified and just. Do the sexual assault pod? Yes, exactly, Claire. The sexual assault pod is when you sit in like one of those little those little roller coaster things those, like the pod that we just showed you but instead of slowly killing you hands come out the side and they tickle your belly if you were until you have to get up and drink alcohol words or in a few sentences so it's more digestible and more consumable for people it's it's insane um i will be talking about as hands or tentacles it depends on if you're doing the anime pod response um I don't have much to say. To me, it's very clear what's going on, but I know it may not be for a lot of people um, because I'm now cleared from the fog of believing shit. Um, he deleted the apology on Twitter, so that's not what I'm talking about. That was deleted. Uh, now there's just, again, the two videos that have been made, which I don't even know where to start. Um, you just got soloed. I mean, and I could have e could have even understood if it would have been. This a, is George I know popping bottles while he watches I, I this response. I assume stuff that I shouldn't have, but I'm still sorry for hurting you. Period. But anytime again, he readmits to the fact that he touched. Dude, me. this is why George's response was bad. People are like, "Oh, this response was so good," but he's pandering, and you know why? Because it gives this fucking little venomous snake the ability to come out here and be like, "You see, you see, he defended himself, but he qualified those statements by saying this." It's like, yeah, you're giving this person an out and she's taking it. This is your kindness being fucking blasted into your fucking face. That's why George's response was so bad. That's why Katie still won after George gave it, despite the fact that he cleared himself of a lot of the situation. Because people like this don't want to hear, oh, oh, the tee -hee, like, uh, I understand, this might have been an apology. You have to go out and you need to respond. And sometimes being, like, responding is messy. Sometimes responding is being a bit aggressive because the claim against you is aggressive. Now you're being accused of groping her breast, okay? Now, George, the ball is in your court. It's time to actually fight back. Me without consent, it's followed with a but. It's followed with a yes, I touched you. Yes, I didn't ask if it was okay. But you were smiling. That nobody said this. Nobody said that you can walk up and grope a girl and if she smiles at you, that's okay. Like, you're good. Good to go. That's, that is, that is such a, like, so fucking far from anything anyone has argued. It is such a fucking, nobody said it like that. Yeah, it, it, this is insane, dude. But you seemed like you would have wanted it. You but seemed like you would have wanted it. Dude, Vosh is sitting here screaming from the corner. It's uncharitable. It's uncharitable. And he would be right, okay? I, I assumed you wanted it because... I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking sick of the butt. Um, I'm I'm just so sick of it. And and Dude. not even just that. It's then. Bro, I'm so fucking sick of the butt. Wade, holy shit! Chat, enhance, zoom. But you were smiling. But you seemed like you would have wanted it. Hold on, chat. But I assumed you wanted it because. Hold on. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm fucking sick of the butt. THAT'S WHAT HAPPENED TO D-MAX! OH MY GOD! WAIT! But you seemed like you would have wanted it. But I assumed you wanted it because I'm fucking sick of it! I'm fucking sick of the butt! Dude, that's why D-MAX is dating a woman now! Oh, I got the mechanics! 
Holy shit, that makes so much more sense. Now I get it. Okay. Jesus, chat. Um, I'm I'm just so sick of it. And and not even just that, it's then put into this video where the entire video is picking apart my story once again. Picking apart every single thing I said. And once again, focusing thing on things that are relevant to the fact that- I thought D-Max was gay? I no, mean, you don't like... understand, dude. He's sick of the butt. That was kind of a low blow. <laughs> I would say that's probably, yeah. Whoa, she said my friend left early, but really he left late. What the fuck does that have to do with you touching me and not asking first? What the fuck? Your friend wasn't there when it happened. Oh, this is all the stuff she left out. She left this out because she can't be trusted and is leaving important info. Wait, okay, this is 20,000 IQ. We're all the way back. So she's mad that George called his friend to talk about the interactions that he had and testify on that night when she implied that same friend reached out to her to tell him that George was being fucking weird, okay? That's the context, is that Katie lied and said that George's friend came out and said this shit. And now she's mad that George's friend is giving his testimony because, quote unquote, he wasn't even there. When she's the one who invoked that fucking anonymous person's testimony by including her in her statement, and she's mad at you if you point it out. Is anyone following this? No, because all these Minecraft YouTubers are dumb fucks, and nobody wants to just flat out explain what actually happened. So we have to talk about anonymous person one male and anonymous person two female, like B. Like, that is insane, dude. Wow. I left Dude, there's there's person A, there's person B, and person BPD. Tell me which one I'm watching right now. About the two people that were in that room that weren't there for my assault. I was talking about my assault. They weren't there for it. Why would I? It, he's put in this position, right? To pick out every inconsistency and especially pick out any information I didn't mention and to put it on a silver platter and be Dude, like, Dude, this girl is so BPD. She She's going to be a destiny orbiter by the end of the week. Holy shit, dude. She's gonna get fucking spotted in Miami, Florida. Kind of wrong about, and here's everything she left out. So she can't be trusted. And because I'm the one pointing it out, you can trust me. Because I'm the one putting it out there for you, you can trust me. He's put in this position. Um, and again, he says, he says stuff like, he conveniently didn't acknowledge my age. Because Just your age doesn't matter. Because it is irrelevant. Despite the numerous, you know, opportunities he conveniently didn't acknowledge the power imbalance bro go up to a police officer say you got groped in a club okay they're gonna write that down go up to a police officer and say i was freshly 18 okay so tell us more about the groping okay because it doesn't fucking matter conveniently doesn't remember these things i mean and then he says stuff like well i'm a good guy Obviously, he's gonna fucking say that. You think that if he genuinely is the person to kind of be like this, that he would go? Yeah, he's gonna go Joker mode. It's like, I love it. Like, whoa, holy shit, bro. Is on an edited fucking video and be like, yeah, I'm a bad guy, yeah. Dude, no one was putting a gun to your head and saying, Katie, after one year of preparing yourself mentally, you should stream your response, okay? Nobody put a gun to her head and said, Katie, you have to respond as fast as possible and start taking shots at him on Discord and start tweeting out at him saying that nothing you say can defend yourself and taking shots at him and posting like a 12-paragraph a fucking tweet with like fucking screenshots and stuff. You made your decision. Do not get mad at George for posting a pre-recorded statement. Any normal person would be thinking of doing that. That's why Dream streamed. I'm okay. That's a joke. I'm sorry. I think I'm, I'm hoping Dream comes out with a good response here. I, I purposefully. Oh yeah, I knew her age. He's not gonna say that. He has a fucking career to protect. He's gonna say whatever the fucking. Oh, could you imagine the career-ending blow that would occur to George not found if he admits that he he wanted to hook up with an 18-year-old when he was drunk? Could you imagine? Oh my god, dude. His his career would be over, bro. If he if he speaks about how he wanted to hook up with a of age woman. Oh fuck, dude. How would he get past this? How would he move on? That's crazy, dude. Holy shit. Wait, are you saying that you didn't like praise the devil or something to to like get her up to I, I don't know. You, you didn't like walk across hot coals after you had these thoughts? Like holy shit, bro. What kind of th um uh, George has to go to therapy about his uh, his feelings towards uh, of age women needs to he has so much at stake i have fucking nothing left like it is so it's obvious to me the kind of people that how I, how old was how old was katie legal 
They're not dating. They're not starting a life together. They're not getting married. They were drunk in someone's hotel room on VidCon, and he didn't know how old she was. Who cares? Who fucking cares? Do you have a, a history of him fucking stalking Instagram profiles of 17-year-old women waiting for the day they turned 18? Did he bring a 17-year-old girl into his house and live with her like Onision and fuck her on the day of her 18th birthday? No! A bunch of people were drinking at a VidCon party. It doesn't matter. These people are. I mean, he'll admit oh. he can get on a video. Hold on. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cool it. We're gonna cool down. We're gonna cool. We're gonna cool down. We gotta go talk to Young Logic. <laughs> we're gonna talk to the boy. <laughs> what is VidCon? Uh, it's a convention where pedophiles meet. Hey, what's Hello? going on, Chad? Oh fuck! <laughs> Hang on, I can't hear you. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I fucked up here. I can do this, and now I can hear you in two seconds. <laughs> go. How you doing, buddy? Oh, can you hear me? I'm Hello. good, but there's echo. Dude, did you hear that she did my intro? Okay, I was playing your stream. Sorry, sorry, go on. Did you hear that she did my intro? Yes, I heard that she did your intro. It Correct. Is yes, time. that was funny. <laughs> oh no, dude, you're not, surely. Come on. Dude, it's time, bro. It is time. Dude. <laughs> this woman got groped. Brutally groped now. Dude, now you gotta you gotta like, put now at the end of there as if because she talks about this like we all knew, right? Like this whole time we were all fully aware that she was like tit grabbed, bro. Oh god, what are your thoughts? I'm not even. I'm halfway. What are your thoughts? I mean, I've gotten into a bit of schizo posting, and it just it feels like. It feels like this is just some new angle to try and make the medicine go down smoother. I've I just been, don't understand um, I've been comparing you... it to like when the people are like, it's not Holocaust denial, it's revisionism. But that's her in this case. Like she's a she's a fucking like rape revisionist. <laughs> yeah. That probably is quite a good way of uh, of looking at it. Rape revisionism, sure. No, I'm denying I mean... it. She was not fucking assaulted, bro. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. I'm going to play pay, play devil's advocate. Okay. I'm going to play rape advocate, okay? So, if, though, what she was saying was true, that she was groped, would you consider that to be actual sexual assault at that point? I think there's situations where it would be, 100%. I'm not sure I would use that to describe the situation based on every other aspect of her story. If she was sitting there until the wee hours of the morning spooning and cuddling with this guy for over an hour, and then he grabbed her fucking, like, he grabbed her stomach, she didn't swat his hand away, he fucking moved up, all right, then grabbed her breast or something like that, I think the biggest criticism is doing this in front of other people, which is also the biggest boon to this version of the story, because I'm sure somebody at this point who watched this would mention that he grabbed her tip. But again, we're not doing it whether it happened or whether it didn't happen. I think the context being that they were cuddling for over an hour and spooning. She was the little spoon. I don't know if I would say that this guy's a fucking sexual assaulter. Yeah, I mean, it's just what was so funny to me about this whole thing so far is that, spoiler alert, I guess, a bit, but she, you know, doesn't bring up the fact that we're cuddling at any point. Why would Even you in her newest statement, she's like, people only think that I am guilty because they only watched George. Well, I didn't. You didn't. Tom didn't. We watched her story. I think she's lying because of her Twitter statement and how it contradicts her original statement and how it contradicts her friend's statement. Okay? The reason why she's so upset is because her story is unraveling. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, she's told a number of different things to a number of different people. What? Oh, your chat. But, what if it was uh, Big Spoon? Well, then she'd be the groper, right? <laughs> it's really yeah, hard it, to grope a woman from Little Spoon. And the thing is, as well, is like her first story, he, she wrote it out with help, I believe. Yeah. Right? Yep. Well, no, her original story was the one that she did on stream. She did that live um, after a year. And then she wants us to believe she just got all the details wrong after she took a year to prep that statement. Yeah, it just doesn't. It just doesn't add up. No. Do, do you think? Do you think this is like a completely fabricated thing, or, or what do you think is going on? Uh, I feel like at so, I, this is like when Keffel said, uh, "The police actually groped me when I was in custody." Like the fuck they did? What you did? Three interviews with the local pol with the local news. You just didn't mention that they groped you. 
You remember that? Like eight months later, yeah. she yes. changed yeah, her story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, all the people who said the police did nothing wrong in that situation. Well, guess what, bitch? They groped me. Yeah, that's literally what's happening right now. Yeah, for sure. It's such a it's such a crazy thing to get added. And also, all the people comment on this, the people that know it, didn't say anything of that. Didn't comment on that at all. And now all of a sudden, it's it's like fucking. We're suddenly supposed to believe that no, not only did it happen like that. But he's already admitted to it, apparently, according to. Yeah, he's story. admitted to gro- he's admitted to groping her breasts, like explicitly and outright, when that was totally the allegation. Therefore, everyone who's defending that is a fucking ah, uh, uh, this is crazy, bro. I'm sorry that she regrets the night she had when she stayed after her friend got sick and she was afraid to get up because she thought she would blow up his ego or something like that. Uh, so she just sat there and got groped instead. Uh, my bad, dude. But there's really nothing that we can do about this. This is so far from what I could, what people should be fucking canceled for. It's unreal. Yeah, and and the thing is, is like if it was just a, con- I was saying this earlier. If it was just a convo of like, hey dudes, just chill out, don't push things too quick. On the moment you meet them at a party or over the night, whatever. Yeah. But it's not that. It is like an insane. This is like you didn't ask for guy. verbal consent, so you're a sexual assaulter. Your career is over. Fuck you. It's like that's not how the real world works. I, I, and it's funny. It almost feels like we're talking. I, I said this to my stream earlier. It, it almost feels like we're talking to Shovel, the adult now, because she turned off her kid persona, like her her innocent victim yeah, persona. Yeah. Now she's aggressive, angry, and she's talking like an adult. She turned off the poetry mostly. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's true. It was like she was I, in I tears think one of her BPD stream. personas are speaking through right now. This is an alter. Do you, do you think she's got BPD? Uh, I, I think that her nasal passage is one of her alters. Yeah, and this is her BPD right, okay. showing through. She, the, the, her nose is just like, come on, I have the cow piercing. Tug me, tug me. Oh my God. <laughs> You're speaking very disrespectfully about this person, I must say. Yeah, I speak very disrespectful about people who fucking straight up lied throughout the entire situation and got caught multiple times and then blamed everyone else when they got caught. Like, seriously, ultra charitable. Let's turn on Vosh mode. Let's be super charitable here, okay? Uh, And that's a joke, by the way, but to be fair. uh, Let's be super charitable. Let's say we believe for 100% that her breast was touched here, okay? What is, like, what does that actually change? Like what? What? Like what do we? What? What does that change here about all the oh, other man. things she's lied about throughout the entire situation? What? Like I, I well, doesn't make any sense. Those inconsistencies still exist. And okay, <laughs> if look, I'm not saying the guy was great in what he did or whatever. If that was true, but like if you're at a party and you're spooning with someone, it's not that crazy that there might be some bundling. You know. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds so bad to say, but it's just true. No, it's it's like, not. We're supposed to it, be it's, outraged. It like... sounds like oh, this is gonna be dude. Mama Max is ma- he's maxing right now, dude. He's like so hyped to make his documentary on victim blamers while he's watching the stream. Oh no! But like genuinely, like what am I supposed to do here? What 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 emotion do I have to feign to get on the internet's good side about this drama that I don't believe? Yeah, well, it's supposed to be. Well, you know, I just tweeted this. But it's like, what you say you believe women. Well, which story? Because there's three different stories. Which one are we supposed to believe out of all of these? The I'm, latest one? I'm following one? this as well as like, well, it feels like I'm talking to you and you're like, but what if Hassan actually did message a minor or something and and Lav just got the ages wrong? It's like, <laughs> that's what I, I feel like she's Lav maxing right now. Well, I actually, I mean, I was going to ask you a question about this. I mean, um, I'm surprised you haven't brought it up yourself, but uh, how will this affect Tipster's legacy? Oh, dude, he's the second topic on Ultimate Rape Review. Oh, based. <laughs> Don't worry, um, we have a whole section dedicated to Tipster tonight. Okay, well, I'm, I'm going to shoot in a moment. Before I do, I must ask, very self-centered, I know, uh, any any comments on the uh, Dark Viper shit at all yet? That is the Tipster segment. We're, we're going to be on that. I'm, watch, I'm watching it for the first time live. Oh, I see. <laughs> so you're watching the tipster version. Okay, yes. got you. Yeah, dude. Uh, do you have my stream open? I don't think so, right? Um, if you do, I, I, I want to show you the overlay. Here. This is... Uh, this okay, is, hang on. Here, I'll, I, I got to show chat this, too. This is, the, uh, this is how we're going to be watching it tonight. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I just paused it. Hang on, sorry. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> dude we're so fair use it's not even funny 
Dude, that's insane. <laughs> and by the way, if you're wondering, yes, I am the, the bottom right and bottom left. That's still my Fortnite gameplay. Okay, <laughs> that's based. <laughs> so this is, the, uh, this is how we're going to watch this tonight. Uh, that's the next subject. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, I look forward to your takes on it, mate. And uh, thanks for having me on. I'll let you get back to it. All right. Peace out, buddy. Uh, Peace subscribe out, Subscribe to Chud Logic, gamers. Hell yeah. Thank you. Subscribe to Nick Azurio. Thank you, Cheers. Buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, God, dude. I love, I love getting a good chat with Chud in. A little, we gotta get, dude. Honestly, there's two things we need when we cover the Katie allegations. We need that nose ring, the cowbell nose ring, and we need our buddy. We we need some chutters, you know, some udders. We need some chutters to go on our cow. Let's keep going. Oh, and sit there and admit to touching me without consent, and then he can bury it. He brings up all these screenshots, all these different details that are irrelevant in the night. He brings this up on purpose, so that's what you guys talk about. He brings up, oh, well, these are texts from Dream and Ghosty. Why do I fucking care about texts between Dream and Ghosty? Why do we care about the texts from your friends who said they were acting weird? Why do I care about texts from Dream and Ghosty? Bitch, you pulled up sources too. Don't act like you didn't. <laughs> when I'm talking about you fucking touching me, he brings up these texts and he brings up these this irrelevant stuff to distract you guys. He's distracting you guys. He's bringing this up. To be like, here, look at this. Here, debate this. Here, talk about this. Oh, and by the way. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't even think of it like that. I didn't think of the, the Chudders reference. And, and never, okay, I disavowed the Chudders reference. I didn't mean it like that. I did touch her and I didn't ask. And yes, that's the thing she's coming out about. Dude, he touched his her Chudders. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Disavow. Disavow. That I'm confirming. But look at this. It's so obvious to me. I mean, even like, you know, in DMs and stuff that in my first video I confirmed, I came out about the fact that, about the messages, but him saying, let's switch from Instagram DMs to go to Snapchat. What does what that is, matter? What is the point of texting on Snapchat versus Instagram? The only reason we didn't continue on Snapchat is because I didn't want to continue there. But Good, you got away before you did anything you regret. Crazy! It happened twice! Twice! She was in two positions where she could have accidentally done something she would regret. And in both situations, she got out before anything happened! Great! In the middle of a convo being like, let's switch to Snapchat. Where what do you think? When you go to Snapchat, like the fucking devil comes down and all of a sudden it's like, you will send your nude pictures. You will send your nude pictures. No! You can, can you like what are you talking about? What do you think, bro? You were gonna add him on Snapchat and then he was just gonna go full hog? Like like the guy in JSTOX Discord server? You think the big YouTuber is just gonna send his cock and be like, hello? <laughs> like what? I, okay. Messages and pictures disappear. I mean, I just feel like these kinds of people are so. What smart. do you think? He was gonna try to groom your 18 adult self and then the messages wouldn't be around to capture? Like what? I, okay. It's so calculated. I feel like it's so obvious. Um, but I also acknowledge why people wouldn't see it because it they matter. are very convincing. Um, convincing? and honestly, I acknowledge, I mean, it's fine, uh, if you don't believe me. Um, what? It's fine that you don't believe that I was sexually assaulted? All right, chat. If anyone gets mad about me at this stream or any information I wasn't privy to comes to light, or if George comes out and goes, yes. I did grab her breast. It's all my fault. I'm so sorry I didn't put that in my previous statement. She's not lying at all. I'm lying. Okay, just reminder, reminder. Katie says it's okay not to believe her, okay? I can't get in trouble for this. I got consent from the victim to think she's a liar. I would, I would also like to point out every source that he's getting, if you've noticed any time he says, well, she seemed comfortable, and I even asked, the person he's getting to confirm his point of view is his best friend. Wait, I'm so sorry. So when you pull out all your friends to give all their testimony about you, that's not bias. But when his best friend chimes in and goes, yeah, I don't think my friend's a fucking sexual assaulter. Uh, I, I guess in the beginning, because he kind of came out and was like, that second statement was bad on everyone's side. Or I don't know. I don't get it. Or the guy that he called in the video, again, his friend. Bro, yes, everyone who's your friend 
thinks that you were sexually assaulted because you asked them to think that, okay? Everyone on his side thinks that he didn't sexually assault anyone because he didn't ask them to think that. If any of these people were passionate, they would have spoke up at the time, okay? If any of these people thought you were being fucking groped at the party, they would have said something in the room. All of these people have post-talk rationalization and they're just defending whatever friend they're on the... We are, I'm aware of this. This is like totally obvious. Yes, all of these people probably didn't even know this happened and they're being asked to reflect on shit they didn't even notice. Yes. Three, three guys that were there, the one guy I didn't mention, and the other two are all friends. <laughs> um, he says, well, she wasn't uncomfortable. Well, she seemed like she was fine. And I asked Dream about this. That's his best friend that is helping him make these videos. He is quite literally helping him and Based sending him dream. to make these videos, these edited responses Based that he's making. Dream. He's making them with dream. He, he, keeps, he keeps making edited responses. He's, he's, not, he's not going live and fucking up the story 16 times so he doesn't get booked. I, I have to make another stream to talk about it. Like, oh God, who's putting a gun to your head and making you do bad streams? I, you're a content creator, make a fucking video. Dream, like, and then he's using Dream as a, a source to tell if I was okay or not. I mean, and, and this friend, whose career is also on the line because they've built their careers together. If he goes down, they both go down. They're obviously gonna back each other up. And I do acknowledge, this is me acknowledging, I can also be a hypocrite in this situation. Bro, this is like a fucking Pokemon. We're in its seventh evolution here. Holy shit, dude. It's got a type change. It's fucking, it, it's gonna get hit by different attacks and start feeling super effective damage. Because I had a best friend there. Obviously my best friend was there. So it's these three guys who were friends and then me and my best friend. But I would also like to point out the two girls that were there, the two girls, the one from the screenshot that said, uh, mentioned the age difference and like was mentioning how weird it was. And then the other girl that mentioned that- Dude. Uh, the thing that she's confusing, she's confusing a DM, right? And saying that she thought it was Dream's friend, but it actually was a different girl. She's confusing a man and a woman. How? How am I supposed to look at that and go, oh yeah, that must have been accidental? Uh, the other girl that was there during the assault that texted me the day after and said, are you okay? I was really uncomfortable with how touchy George was being. Those two girls, I met two days prior. Those two girls weren't my friends. They were lovely, lovely girls, yes. But I met them two days prior. And after VidCon, I never spoke to them Who again. Who are these people? Can we just name them? Can they give their opinion now? Can they tell, like, where are they? Where are these mythical girls? I'm just supposed to just assume I have to believe this because ex-friend or whatever. All of these people were there. All their testimonies should be valid. Otherwise, they shouldn't be included. Again, my most recent texts from them are after I came out about my story. These aren't people uh, that, you know, these are people that I had just met. Um, yeah, she, I, you know what? Honestly, in her defense, I bet she's telling the truth here. She was DMing someone and didn't even know who they were, and she thought they were a guy. <laughs> What, does he have an anime profile picture? You thought you were talking to the- f Wait, like, the, the girl is, like, using a fucking- A profile picture of George Not Found's face or something like that? So you didn't realize you were talking to somebody else? Like, I- None of this makes any sense, dude! And the- Both of these girls were uncomfortable with the situa situation. Um... And it's okay uh, if you don't believe me or if you don't believe him or if you don't believe either of us because our point of views are biased. I mean, I got my point of view is probably really biased because I'm the one that got felt up. I mean, I'm What? I'm biased is a quote. Dude, I can't. Oh my god. I'm. Oh, oh man. Oh man. And now it's felt up, by the way. Yeah, it's changed. It's felt up now. Okay. Cool. I want to know what he actually did. Now I need to know. I need to understand what did he actually do. This guy got under her bra and started aggressively fondling her breasts. That's the new allegation. I need to know. This is like beyond parody at this point. I'm not gonna feel great about the situation, uh, but if you're wondering- So by the way, she said under my shirt. So how did he get under her bra? Uh, oh. Who you can trust on saying how these people are behind the scenes? He unhooked it with his teeth or something. I, I don't understand. Like, 
really acknowledge and really pay attention to the people that are speaking out. Pay attention to the people that surround them to this day. Pay attention to the people that haven't spoken out but have distanced themselves. And pay attention to the people that are speaking out. Pay attention to the people who are lying. Pay attention to the people who propped up liars, sat completely silently, and who are no doubt tweeting right now about the liars that they were defending in the beginning. All right, that's who you should be paying attention to. Fucking Amesy, all right? Amesy is the one we need to talk about. Amesy is the historical revisionist here, okay? We need to figure out what the fuck Amesy thinks about this. Uh, because I can tell you it's not just me it really isn't um and there are other things that have happened but that isn't my story to tell I she said she was wearing a sports bra good one only tell so much because those aren't my stories you know other things those aren't my stories to tell um but it is it's the things that it's just um don't worry i'm <laughs> trying to not prolong this um the three <laughs> I heard she went gorilla mode and she's just not dropping the whole truth. Good one, buddy. Main things I said in my first stream. And BPD, bra padding destroyer. Yes. And the three important things in this story. Age, power, and consent. Two things, again- Yeah, it's fucking I'm Amesy. I want to hear what I'm Amesy has to think about this. He's conveniently not acknowledged or conveniently didn't acknowledge at the time. The age, the age gap, obviously. Again, my story's about consent, but these are really important to- these will explain my thought process, just the way things played out, Katie uh, the Hart, age Katie gap. Hart, yes, Katie it's important Hart, to know. Uh, again, not freshly 18, freshly out of high school. Uh, Does not matter. 18 and five months, uh, and he was 26. Um, it's it Does not matter. Also important to acknowledge this age gap because of the experience gap. No, it doesn't. It, that doesn't matter at all. Uh, the way that he came out in his video and said what he did to me was tame for him. Yep. Um, and how it's something that has affected me so much because it was the first time. And if I could have, if I knew, I wouldn't have, you know, if I... Quote, unquote, I regretted it. The choice of where my first... By the time... way, keep in mind, all the people who were sending her text messages asking her if she was okay with it the next day, she was like, yeah, I guess I was okay with it. I don't know, maybe. Um, I, I mean, I, I thought I was okay with it. I don't know. Like, she literally sends text messages proving this was all post-talk rationalization. So she's sending messages saying that she didn't know if she had a problem with it. And in her version of the story, she was fucking terrified sitting there playing fucking games on her phone to get out of the situation that she's in. Just to be clear, okay? So, like, even in her own words, even in her own evidence or whatever, she shows she was post-talk rationalizing everything. She got yaslighted, yeah being sexual or whatever i would have not picked there so I like which one is it did she lie to every single person then like then now uh, then or did she lie now because like you can't do both you can't be um yeah I, I mean i was just chilling or whatever i didn't think it was that big of a deal but now when i think about it it's kind of weird or were you terrified in the moment um and you stayed there all night because like both of those stories are things she's trying to say are true and those like obviously can't both be true have not picked it in front of multiple people um but again it's important how it was tame to him but also the age gap of you know if that was tame to him or if he's done stuff like this before you think he'd know better um the power imbalance no i didn't fucking bring up power and say how i was excited to be there because of his clout I wasn't fucking using him for his clout. That's not why power is important here. Okay, because power wasn't important here, just to be clear. Power dynamics exist in every single relationship. Okay, at any moment, ma the majority of male-female relationships have some sort of power imbalance where the male can physically harm the female. There's a power imbalance in almost every single relationship. The reason why power imbalances are bad, aping this talking point from Destiny, is if people abuse them to get something out of this relationship. So if they're saying something like, yeah, I'm such a large YouTuber, I can really like enhance your career, or... Uh, yeah, um, like I, I, I'm your employer or something like that, and you need to like, and you're sleeping with me with the assumption that like if you don't, then something will happen to your job. Like these are these are how power dynamics are are actual factors in relationships. There are always power dynamics in every single relationship. I doubt any every single person watching this is dating someone of equal size. Um, equal muscle density, equal income opportunity, okay? E there, there are, like, tons of factors that could determine power dynamics. Um, I I'm sure that you have your own power dynamic-related fucking 
uh, situation. Thank you so much, Chud, for the raid. I appreciate it, buddy. Him going and being like, I feel used. Fucking cry me a river. That's not why I brought up the power. Why power is important in this is because I, I looked up to them. I was an aspiring creator, and these were the biggest creators in the industry. Like, I, I before I started streaming, I- Damn, that sucks. Anything else? I watched these people. I watched the Dream SMP. Like, I did that shit. Damn. That sucks. Anything else? I looked up to them. I was excited being around them because I was excited to be around such successful people. My not bad. because I only see people for their- My bad, you know? All right, well, I'm, so I'm sorry that happened to you. Anything else? Followers, but because I've, I've looked up to these people. And that's why it's so much more heartbreaking. Uh, I mean, being violated is one thing, but who it comes from is also- Yeah, that sucks. Don't meet your heroes. Anything else? Um. And again, it's not, I wasn't going to use this and use their clout. Also, I stayed silent for so long because I knew how much power they had. I mean, you've seen, there are people to this day that stay silent about their experiences because of what's happening to me right now. You saw what has happened to me. Yeah, you didn't say that when you were winning a few weeks ago. When you first came out about this and everyone was supporting you. I didn't, you know, I didn't hear you say that. That was interesting. I didn't hear you speak out against anything like that when you were winning me since i came out about how smart they are with these situations and how th there's people there's there's creators that have messaged me about their stories but say they're still scared to do it i mean well they should make sure they're it, not lying first even the fact of the power in the situation of we have the same oh. fucking twitch manager like i had so much at call oh god well you should fire that manager and go to youtube because twitch is a dying platform Bust. i put I Katie, Katie, call me. I'll help you get. I'll help you get going on YouTube. We'll figure this thing out. Okay, we'll get you away from that mean Twitch manager. Up with it all. I after it happened. I'll set you up with OBS, and you could start streaming to a much better audience. I do. actually, in fact, if you talk to me, I'll interview you. Okay, I would love to get the first one-on-one -on -one Katie interview. Okay, I would. Honestly, we should set up a call. Uh, I'll give you the most. I'll be so much more charitable. Chat. I can be so charitable. All right. Um, we could have this combo. I want it to happen, but you know, I was just trying to forget about it because we have the same Twitch manager. The reason I was at VidCon in the first place- I love this. I love this so much. Like we're now rationalized. We, we've, we've injected another aspect to the story that other people are dumb if they didn't actually know. The reason I got a meet and greet back in TwitchCon and got to meet my viewers for the first time, moments that mean so much to me was all thanks to my Twitch manager. Without that, I wouldn't be able to do content. Imagine if this was John Swan's manager too. Like John's manager he had back in the day. I wouldn't be able to continue. And they told me, again, this, they didn't tell me in a malicious or threatening way, but I just learned that night, again, through questions and games we were playing. Um, they have the same Twitch manager that would do anything for them. Nick's casting couch. Excuse me. How would you say something like that? It's Nick's content couch, okay? Because whenever I'm getting down, it's time for... Wait, hold on. Optics check. Not a button. That is not a context where I should click that button. Now, let's keep going. That was... Okay, I didn't realize the context of the joke that I was going to make there. I'm glad I didn't hit it. Holy shit. Content. We're just... We're grinding content. That was the joke. That we're stealing... We're, we're making content. Jesus. I mean, if... I came out about anything. I'm not saying they would have used that, but I hope you guys would understand how I was in a place of, I was scared of their power, you know, and I acknowledged their power in their fame, not because I was acknowledging them for their numbers and not for who they were as a person, but because right, I acknowledged no. that my future could be Did over. Even watch what the fuck was that donation sound? Hold on their power in their fame not because i was acknowledging them for their numbers and not for who they were as a person but because i acknowledged no. that my future wait i'm sorry one more time i acknowledged their power in their fame not because i was acknowledging them for their numbers and not for who they were as a person but because i acknowledged no. that my <laughs> Dude, her donation sound is white man no <laughs> future could be over what the fuck? Even watch his second because of the connections that they had, the even in my own life, Why like in my own success that I was having as a creator, they my biggest you know contributor to that success was someone that they were also tied to and had way more you know say over. Um, and also the biggest thing about power in that situation, again, I I, I had so much at risk.
I had just, they, and my biggest, you know, contributor to that success was someone that they were also tied to and had way more, you know, say over. Um, and also the biggest thing about power in that situation, again, I, I, I had so much at risk. I had to suck up what happened to me. That's what I'm talking about. Putting up with it. I'm saying that because I didn't want my future at stake because I got assaulted. Um, but also the power that he took by doing it in front of people. I'm a very shy person. Um, it's hard for me to say, you know, to stand up for myself in regular situations. But I feel like chat, if that sexual... This is what she thinks is happening, chat. Hold on, time out. This is what she thinks is happening right now. Hold on. This is this is how he enters the room. When George was at fucking VidCon, this is how he came through. For those of you who don't know, KT Bugs recently did a stream and accused me of something very serious. I made a. This is how George entered. For those of you. Who I made a response and then she made a follow-up response. This is my response to her follow-up. Throughout this video, I'm going to be showing clips from some other people just for context. And just to make it clear, I don't want any hate to be sent to anyone, including these people. Here are the two tweets that I posted about the situation. These are now deleted as I only made them to let people know that I had intentions to make a response. And I didn't want people to think I was just completely radio silent in the time that I needed to make those responses. First of all, I just want to make it clear that my tweet that I put out after my first statement wasn't somehow admitting to guilt or completely backtracking on what I originally said. My perspective had changed due to new information that Katie had provided. So now I'm just going to go over Katie's new statement and talk about what she had to say. So first, she acknowledges the text Chat! that I showed. No one man should have all that game. power! Oh, yeah. But that <laughs> were from her friend. So this is reasonable. I only brought up that point because the implication was that it was kind of creepy of us and we were forcing the game on them. <laughs> Alright. There was more out Whoa. How do we get back to Kate? Oh, that's the fucking video. Got it. Got it, gamers. Got it, gamers. Alright. Move or, you know, wanting to take it to the next level. Show him mewing. Dude, that was the worst part of his whole response is when he sat there mewing into the fucking camera. Holy shit. Could you- I, that was the- I, I thought he was guilty, chat, when he started mewing. Private setting. Maybe I could have mustered up enough courage to say, no, I'm not comfortable with this, or to rip his hands out of my fucking bra. Uh- Oh! Oh! Now it was under the bra. Now it was under the bra. Okay, chat, we've got confirmation. Confirmation. Pew, 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 pew. Did it in- on a couch with other people sitting next to us, and with other people in the room. Any- you know, any expression I did, anything I did, it was on display for other people. And we all mention this. It's like, well, what if he touched your bra? We There's multiple times we've talked about this on stream where it's like, well, what if he grabbed a breast? And everyone was like, no. Dude, if there was any chance that he groped this girl's breast, that was like talking point numero uno. She would have mentioned that. He took the power away from me in that situation. Wait, what? Uh, and once again, the consent aspect. I understand if you think I'm full of shit. I understand. Oh, thank God. Okay, chat. We got more. We got. We're good. We're good, chat. We're good. And if you don't believe me at all, I understand. If those two things you think I'm full of shit about, you know, who cares about the age? Who cares about, you know, the power imbalance in the situation? The consent is always fucking there. He admitted. I never gave verbal consent. Again, the only question. Dude, here's the thing. This is so blackpilling, right? Because, like, she's just getting reinforced by all her friends that guys always give verbal consent before they touch her in any certain way or whatever. And you know what? Let's give her some benefit of the doubt there because she's, like, you know, 19 years old. She's a stupid child, right? And, like, dude, when people on Twitter are saying stuff like, yes, Katie, you always have to have direct verbal consent. Every guy who's trying to like date you or whatever, or like hook up with you at a party, he's always going to verbally ask permission before he touches you. You're just asking this girl to keep getting hurt. Like that's so fucking, that is so fucked up of you to say that there's only one form of consent and it's direct verbal consent. Um, you're just asking this girl to get put into a situation where this happens again. Uh, you're like sick in the head if if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna lie to this girl like this and lie to her saying that the only kind of consent is direct verbal, uh, very clear and concise discussion. 
question he asked is, are you ticklish? I said, fucking no. Like, there was no consent given. The reality is that it's usually nonverbal, said uh, N-word in the chat. Uh, yeah, nice. Nice name, by the way. Fuck. All right, that was not one I should have read out loud. Cool. But yes, you are correct, N-word. Uh, the, the majority of times, it usually isn't. Uh, now, you can make the argument that if it's someone you're meeting for the first time, uh, you should do that or something like that. And I'm never going to tell you... There, there's never a time um, when I'm going to say, like, oh, you shouldn't get verbal consent. Because verbal consent is great. Okay, It totally gets rid of situations like this where you get called a fucking rapist live on YouTube unless they lie about the verbal consent part. Then you're, then you're fucked anyway. But, like, it definitely, like, creates a situation where it's much easier to... And you, and you should be having sort of verbal cues throughout the entire encounter. I absolutely think that at some point... Uh, it is worth asking, like, is this cool? Is this good? Is this okay? Uh, but to act like you have to do verbal consent and it's the only way uh, you could possibly make a move on a girl in any capacity is just wrong. It's just flat out not true. Um, it doesn't matter if you're laughing. It doesn't matter what you're wearing. It doesn't matter where you are. Uh, that is not an invitation. Um, and for everyone saying, well, you could have gave nonverbal consent. I will tell you right now, if I was given the opportunity to give even nonverbal consent, my answer would have always been no. I'm asexual. I don't like sex. <laughs> bro! 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 Dude, pull the fucking quiet! Pull the fucking quiet! Hold a quite. Oh, man. Oh, guys, we are 41 minutes into the third response, and we just found out this girl's asexual. Holy shit, chat. That is not an invitation. Um, and for everyone saying, well, you could have gave nonverbal consent. Wait, I'm sorry. Did he know? Was that one of the things you got? Chat, you were talking about your fucking... She was talking about her virginity and going, Tee, I'm actually still a virgin or whatever. But was he supposed to know that you're asexual? Was that one of the drinking game questions we haven't heard about so far? I don't understand. What is happening? I will tell you right now, if I was given the opportunity to give even non- They were talking about their fucking virginity and fucking sex and stuff while this was happening. I forgot to mention that. Before they started cuddling, they were doing drinking games, talking about sex. Consent? My answer would have always been no. I'm asexual. I don't like sexual stuff. Um, given the option of doing something sexual, my answer is going to be no. I'm on the spectrum of asexual. Because yeah, on the spectrum. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. I don't know if it's because of my bad experiences, but anything sexual makes me extremely uncomfortable. Um, so, so uncomfortable that you sat back down and hung out with him after, like, uh, and stayed there. I, it's okay. Say, under the circumstances, I'm drunk and I could have gave non -verbal. Well, chat, I will say, one, one thing that we got wrong, uh, because we didn't have this information, is I said that this person is probably, like, undateable in the future based off of this interaction. And, like, I doubt people would... Well, it seems like it doesn't matter. Um, never mind. I got that one wrong, guys. Shit. Full consent. I would have still said no, non-verbally. However, the fuck I could have done that. Um, and again, I'm I'm fucking drunk. Oh, you were laughing. Oh, you were doing. I'm fucking drunk. Oh, you said that getting up would bruise his ego, so you sat back down after getting more drinks. Like, I don't understand, dude. Why do we have to treat women like they have no agency of their own bodies in any capacity? Every single time. Like, it's never just, oh, I had a bad experience. I had, a, a like, a weird encounter with somebody or whatever. And I honestly, like, thinking back on it, I really wish I didn't do that. No, it has to be that this guy is a fucking giga rapist abusing psychopath and something like that. And I was this pure innocent victim or whatever who got fucking... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice. With my friends. How, how did I... Um, the reason I brought up this entire situation and what I was, I was hoping to bring light to, this wasn't about fucking, this wasn't about him. This wasn't about him. I was trying to bring light to blind idolization. How dangerous it is. Coming from someone who was a viewer, how dangerous, dangerous it is to blindly idolize these people that you don't know. And I always tell my viewers that, to not idolize me to the point of defending me till- Did someone in chat just say, no guys, you can't do this to her. She's a POC. Did you know she's asexual? <laughs> Shut up like you die you know it's it's unhealthy 
Um, he should be able to look into the future, see me regretting it, and stop it before it happens. People, people aren't going to be... Not everyone is who they seem, and it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's important to swallow it. You know what I she mean? She should be banned from the internet. Drama alert. Based alert, more like. Like... And especially in these kind of situations where you're so you idolize someone to the point Chat, that I, I can't stress this enough if you're coming from chud stream and you think that the only response today was this one boy do i have a fucking surprise for you we're going back in time the streams are crossing the allegation busters are, are crossing streams and an explosion is happening or something bad comes out about them and you just dig for excuses for them just so many excuses. she said to herself it's important to swallow it not everyone is who they seem and it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's important to swallow it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, like... No quitter here. And especially in these kind of situations where you're so... You idolize someone to the point of where something bad comes out about them, and you just dig for excuses for them. Just so many... I don't have to dig. When you lie, it makes it easy. I don't... There's not a lot of thinking going on here. I'm not... I'm playing Fortnite. I'm trying to get the dub ski right now. I don't know what you're talking about. There's no... There's no, like, thought reform here. Uh, but there is a thought reform, I guess. Excuses. Instead of just accepting it. You know, that's where it gets dangerous. That's where it's dangerous for everyone involved. Um, it's, it's, again, I know how hard something like this can be to accept. It's like, you know, if your best friend, you know your best friend so much, and they, someone comes to you and says they did something to them. You don't want to believe it because you know your best friend and you don't think they could ever do that. I mean, look at them. Because you know them so well, except... No, it's because you front-loaded this allegation with, like, 15 bullshit points that don't matter. Talking about yourself, your own age in comparison to his age. Said some shit like, um, fucking, uh, what was it? Oh, God, what did she say? It was the, the statement about, like, his future is my... No, my future is his past. And saying stuff like... Uh, the way that you touched me or whatever. Uh, I, I felt like I couldn't wash off what he'd done to me or something like that. Making like 13 reasons why references and stuff throughout this whole fucking thing, right? Like, it's because you're layering it with so much bullshit. And then we find out after fucking response number three that the groping was on your breast to find out. Like, after all these people were talking about how he's the tickle monster for the past fucking three weeks or whatever, you finally felt like giving the information that should have been included in your first statement. So now when you finally say it it looks like post-talk rationalization and no one believes you because you've gotten so much wrong so far you don't fucking know these people you 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 don't know these people they aren't your best friend well i'm so sorry that you put your statement out and now the internet is responding to it it's almost like if you want to go public this is what happens these are these are people that create content to millions of people they aren't your best friend like you don't you don't know who they could be and again yeah, i guess you found that out the hard way Right? Ooh. Oh, did that sting? Yeah. Yeah, it did. It's a little post-talk rationalization here. Yeah, they're not your best friend. You don't know these people. And that's why I think it's so important. It leaves you in a situation where you're like, well, how can I trust anyone? How can I... It's so important to see the people that do know. These content creators that have spent time with these people. These content creators that do know these people, have had private conversations with these people, speaking out against them. It's so blatantly obvious. These people that have seen them behind the scenes, that have hung out with them, you know, that have distanced themselves since then, or that have spoken out against them. Um, I was just hoping that this situation could open people's eyes. Um, to what? And again, how scary, and how it's just building more and more this, this devotion to these people. Um, but I was just hoping to open some people's eyes, I guess. Um, I'm shocked that she's not leaning into the underage drinking. But actually, no, I'm not, because then she would have to cons she would have to tell everybody who was supplying alcohol for her the entire weekend if she did lean into the underage drinking. And she'd probably have to ice one or two of her own friends to get herself out of that hole. So actually, no, I'm not surprised. Um, can you think of any reason she wouldn't want to mention the groping in the first video? No. None. There's no reason to leave that out of the discussion. You could say it's too hard. You could say all X, Y, Z. No. If you're making a public statement, 
and asking people to come support you, you need to tell those people what they're supporting. Otherwise, it's not even worth making an allegation to begin with. People say, oh, oh, they couldn't have gone to the police. Oh, oh, they couldn't have done this. And in a lot of cases, those things are definitely true. But when you're talking about it a year fucking later and you're asking people to destroy someone's career over it, you owe those people the actual explanation of what they're going after someone for a hundred times out of a hundred. There's no rationalization where you can walk off from that without saying what actually happened. And it's definitely a problem bigger than me. Um, this is just about... This happened a year ago? Yeah, it's a full... She had a full calendar year to make a response. She did a bad stream, and she got mad at everybody who made pre-recorded content. The behind the scenes of this community... I hope George responds again. Or, sorry, apologizes again after this. It would be so funny. Yeah, me too. Holy fuck, that guy. I, I really hope this is the time when he responds and goes hard. Because uh, it's totally due, right? But, I mean, honestly, I, I'll laugh when he comes out and concedes again. You know, and all the people that have fall, fallen victim to it. I mean, there's so much shit that goes down. And I'm just one of the ones that have came out about my story. Um, I don't want to sit here and keep having to prove myself. I can't. I can't. I can't. It's your fault. This is all your fault. Yes. All the people asking questions are because of your poor statements. I, I don't I don't want to have to keep you. Then maybe you shouldn't have said anything if you weren't prepared to say anything. Like if you weren't going to say anything, you shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Uh. Here and have to watch. You know what? Yeah, I agree. I want to see your keep uh, trying to do it. Like, because, dude, I'm telling you right now, two more streams and it's going to be that George raped her. That's going to be two more streams. You know, I didn't want to say it in the last stream, but he actually fucking raped me. That's going to be the next stream. So when we all sit here and you're like, yeah, no, well, he didn't rape her. He didn't rape her. And she even explicitly said he didn't rape her. I think two more uh, streams from this girl and we're going to be talking about a rape allegation. A hundred, a hundred percent. Responses and see his face and watch him describe it i i can't <laughs> i can't keep doing this and i'm accepting the fact that uh maybe you know nobody believes me i'm accepting the fact i've i'm accepting it um congratulations at least she's coming away with it. she has the correct post talk rationalization on this one but also i feel like especially in this situation there's nothing i could say that could change some people's minds yes there isn't because you lied too much i think again because of this idolization this is how it's dangerous. How, no matter what I say, no matter what proof I come out about, people that don't- There has not been a single screenshot in this live stream. When she says proof, I need you to know that she hasn't shown one singular screenshot throughout this entire fucking 45 minute live stream that we're watching here. Wanna believe? Will never believe. They will never believe, no matter what comes out. It's because they don't want to. They will continue to find excuses to not face reality. Um, the reality is you've shown everyone nothing. There's nothing here to work with. Your reality is what's happening inside your head. Maybe you should describe it to people a little better so they can figure it out on their own. As for any forgiving or anything, I feel like it's very obvious. I was never in a position to forgive anyone. I didn't go into this wanting to forgive anyone. Um, and again, that is my choice. Uh, but especially how I've seen the things play out. Um, the way I've been treated. These people were never held accountable for anything before, and now it's like, uh, uh I have to prove my bullshit. This, is, like, I feel like I'm talking to Mama Max right now. You know, back in the day, survivors could just go on Twitter and just tell their story or do an interview and tell what happened, and now they need evidence or uh, proof to to talk about, and I, and that just makes it so much harder. It's like, yeah, dumbass. At least in this person's defense, they're not a pedophile hunter. Okay, they're not like. A total retard, all right? This is just a young moron who has no idea what they're doing with their life. Um, especially since his responses. I would never forgive, uh, I wouldn't. Um, I've been- Motherfucker's like anonymous, like we don't forgive, we don't forget, you tickled me. Belittled, blamed, invalidated. Been called a liar, been called- Amber heard. But time on, time out, time out, time out. So he grabbed her breast. Let's go with grabbed her breast, okay? Um, simple, are you ticklish? I coughed out a no, still staring at my phone. I was overly aware of the fact that we were in front of other people. The fact that everyone else was sitting around us, watching us, including my best friend, 
and that his hand was inching further to places I hadn't asked for it to be. He made. That's the only thing that could possibly point towards breasts. If you were going to talk about being groped on the breast, that's exactly where she would have said it, to be clear. This is her first statement. Came out of my embarrassment, where he would touch me in certain areas to make me lose the phone game I was playing. So you were playing fucking Candy Crush? And this guy was grabbing your tits so you lost, or whatever, or played Crossy Road? Okay, and nobody mentioned the fact that you were, like, like fucking playing your fucking game and he was grabbing your tit on the couch? Like, there's nobody that could fucking confirm this happened? I was scared, and I felt sick, either from my alcohol or from his touch. It didn't matter because my mind was a blur. Keep in mind, her post-talk text messages are like, Yeah, I don't know if this was that bad. Um, I mean, I guess maybe it was, but I don't really know. And she's acting like she was in a fucking PTSD fucking war situation, okay? She's acting like a, a, a live grenade just went off. She looks like fucking Hank in the woods after the guy's fucking head exploded when he was on top of the fucking tortoise, okay? This is what she's describing, all right? Um... Hold on, he looks like fucking Tortuga! That's what she's describing, okay? Now these are her text messages while she was doing it. Alright, let me find her text messages to describe. Let's hear what she was saying at the time. Um, this is what she was writing at the time. Um, where is this? I can't get over this. Is this the one? Um, let me see. Where are the messages that she pulled up in this fucking statement? Um... Hi, I just want to make sure you're okay. Wait, actually, can we get some? Uh... <clears throat> Where's the... Oh, fuck, I can't find it. Um, I know what to do. Pull up. Uh, this one. This is it. These are the actual messages. Hi, I just want to make sure you're okay. I didn't like the way that George was so touchy. And Blank told me the shirt thing. And I just want to make sure you're alright. Notice it didn't say the breast thing. Yes, I'm okay. It was definitely a bit weird, but I was drunk, so I didn't really feel like he was doing, uh, doing anything to stop it. It's over now, though, so... Hey, buddy. I just wanted to double check with you that George didn't make you feel uncomfortable at all last night. I saw he was getting really touchy with you, so I just wanted to double check. Maybe. Bro, I have no clue. Like, in the moment, I was just chilling. But thinking back on it, I'm sweating a little bit. Like, damn. And especially after verifying he knew I was 18. And also, I don't know if I was chilling in the- Wait, I don't know if I was just chilling in the moment because I was drunk. I don't know. I'd have to ponder it. Or maybe forget about it, because it's over with. From his touch. I was scared, and I felt sick, either from my alcohol or from his touch. It didn't matter, because my mind was a blur. I didn't speak or move. I remember being afraid to even breathe. I stayed there for a while, hoping my stillness could make me disappear. I eventually had to stand up after many minutes for it to stop. <sighs> we walked to the elevator. This is such a joke, bro. This is so fucking stupid. Like, that's what I mean when I say like her story is unraveling. This is like a third take on the drama. In, in the first take of the drama, she's going like a fucking a grenade just went off and killed her entire fucking team in the field. And she was having a fucking PTSD fucking... Uh, like, the audio of that moment in real time would have sounded like the Death Girl level of Spider-Man 2, okay? It would have just sounded like a siren went off, okay? And all you could hear is, like, the sound, all right? And then in the second tell retelling, which was her initial statement uh, to people at the time, she's like, I was just chilling. It was fine. It's kind of weird, though. Tee! And now she's just like, yeah, dude, 100%. Both of those are true. It's just driving me crazy.
been called any name, even though he sat there and admitted to it. Um, again, it's not false allegations when I came out about my sexual assault story and he admitted to it. Um, he didn't admit to grabbing so your tits! <laughs> That's... Okay. I'm blaming, though, has been insane. I mean, and he might... Situations, he very well might... We might be back here in a couple days. He might turn around and do that. George, if you can respond, can you respond on Thursday? That's all I ask. I'm not here Tuesday or Wednesday. Can you respond on Thursday? He might concede. And how much does that really change? You were cuddling and spooning at like two or three in the morning in this guy's fucking hotel room. I like, I, okay. It's a very real issue that happens. To this day, it happens all the time when someone comes out about something. The people saying I shouldn't have been illegally drinking. You're well, that's asexually what you being... spooning. Oh, here we go. Here we go. To this day, it happens all the time when someone comes out about something. The people saying I shouldn't have been illegally drinking. Well, that's what you get for being, you know, illegal, illegally drinking. Who the fuck said that if you if you drink illegally, you deserve to be raped? Can we find askers, askers chat? Can we find one person who said that illegal drinking means that you deserve to be raped? Can we find a single person with this? I, I don't know a single person whose position on this um, is fucking like it's insane, dude. You know, if I was in the UK, where I am most of the time, drinking legally at 18 and this situation still happened, what then? Because I know the people saying it's my fault because I was illegally drinking would just find another reason to blame me. Even if I was legally drinking, they would find another reason to blame me. It's not about the drinking. It's not about the fact I laughed. It's about the fact that you just want to find a reason to blame me for the situation that happened to me. Um, People saying that I shouldn't have been laughing, that I shouldn't have, I was drunk. <laughs> God, I was drunk. Like, your mindset during that is, it doesn't change what you want and don't want. And again, like, it's uh, people saying I probably liked it and now I just regret it. I didn't, I'm telling you, I didn't. I, I don't know how loud I have to shout it. And again, I'm asexual. I would have never liked it and then regretted it. I would have never liked it to begin with. I'm trying to tell you this. Um, it's always a she shouldn't have done that. She should it's have done toxic this. Rape she shouldn't have been wearing this. She shouldn't have done this. Rather than a simple, <laughs> he shouldn't have done what he did. It's 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 never just a simple. He should have controlled himself. It's it's always it's always you know her fault in these situations and never his for not controlling himself. I don't get it. And I would also like to point out it's not a her and he situation. Uh, it's a they and them. Men get assaulted too. Okay, roles are over. That's assault. Men get assaulted too. It can happen to anyone, and that's very real. And that's a conversation that really should be had, uh, but not in this situation. Um, it's not my fault for smiling. Uh, it's not my fault for being there. It's. It's just not. Um, I acknowledge that I was naive. I acknowledge. But I'm not I'm not gonna apologize for being naive and not realizing, you know, the way the world is sometimes, you know? Um, I would also like to acknowledge, this is another thing that I am gonna acknowledge and take accountability for. Um, my goal for coming out about this all, I've strayed very far away from my goal. Um, uh, my goal when I came out about this- Was to win. Uh, was for it not to be about drama, for it not to be about canceling. And uh -oh. I know you hear that now, and you're probably thinking you're the biggest hypocrite in the world. And I acknowledge True. That. Uh, I have straight. Anytime I replied to him on Twitter, anytime I made a response on Twitter, Bro! anytime I was like, Bro! Oh, I was like, it opened the floor for it to be as drama and as Hold you know, on, I gotta get this. Me trying to ruin his life. I made those tweets out of I felt like I was backed into a corner. I made those tweets out of anger. Um seeing him say he you were never, winning you like, fuck like, cross someone's boundaries it just i was really upset um and i acknowledged by doing that stuff i sh bro shut the fuck up holy shit we're in a victim blaming mood oh boy you need to read what this fucker was right this is what she read when she was fucking winning oh man George is not found, put out a statement saying, I'm going to be doing a very serious stream. This is his first tweet on the matter. And she chimed in with, Well, we're waiting. Pull up whatever you can find. I also have seen screen recordings of everything. Plan I have screen recordings of everything planned on, uh, on using to support me. Uh, my I got to make it bigger. I can't read this. 
Pull whatever you can find. I have screen recordings of everything planning on using it to support my case if needed. But please, share it on my behalf if you'd like. Because we both know what happened. That's why I can sleep at night without screaming, uh, sorry, scrambling for screenshots to try and twist it. That's why you're scared. Because it's me and every other creator that knows the truth. And you do too. That's something that you'll have to live with. Yeah, I was naive. And I had room to change. To grow up. Eight years exactly. And when I your age. I'll be ten times the person you are, and you will always be the 27-year-old, still acting like a child. I'm not scared of you anymore. I've been waiting so long to say this, but you're a fucking coward. Goodbye for now. You in Joker mode! Bro! And that's not even the only one! Hold on. I can't. Dude, this is the person saying, like, this was never about drama. You were winning in that screenshot, girl. Everyone knew it! What a snake! Hold on, can we find the other one? Hold on, what did she say on Discord chat? That's when things were on her side! She went silverback on my boy, George. Hold on. Can we find the Discord one? Where's the Discord one, chat? Katie posted on Discord. This is when she had to respond. Oh, de oh dear. Oh no. Oh boy. I have to respond. Hey, everyone. Bad timing. I'm getting on a long flight as of now. As Ghosty said, I've seen what was said, and I will formulate all I have on the flight for a message as people have asked me to. Once I'm grounded, I'll release it, and then I'll be away for a bit. I'm telling you, so this so you don't stay up and stressing, uh, and know that things will happen. Originally, I did not want to add to this situation with proof. I didn't want to create this idea that it's petty drama, and that real life, uh, and not real life people that have been affected. I also didn't want victims to feel like they had to prove themselves to people to be believed. I believe you. But we can't control how situations play out. Yes, I know. I don't owe it. But I will give it, nonetheless. This will be the only proof or response that I have, as I don't want to keep proving myself and participating in a drawn-out back-and-forth publicly. The more information and screenshots released, the more complicated everything gets, and the point of all of this becomes lost. I don't want to participate in him proving himself or me doing so. I just wanted to share my story so that victims uh, know that they're not alone. I will let people do that as they please moving forward and will not respond to anyone else as well because I need to take time for it all. Once again, I'll be back in about a week. I'll stream my final response and message to everyone about the situation and the bigger issues at hand, because there's a lot to say before moving on or healing. Keep in mind, she had like weeks to clear up that this was a grope. There was no incident. Nothing she said in her post this, because this is before her Twitter thread. Nothing there implied that her boob was grabbed. Okay, that wasn't even on the list of things we were talking about, but cool. Let's finish this one. Straight away from my goal of why I did this all, but uh, it is true that that was my goal in the beginning. Wait, hold For on. For everyone that watched my- Hey, time out. Draftle, Draftle, you said this wouldn't fl fly in court, but she's saying, she's saying that he admitted to sexual assault on video in 4K. I don't get it. How did he admit to sexual assault on video, but you're saying this would never fly in court? How is she saying that the court system can't help her here? I don't- What? Oh, the zoom? Sorry. Yeah, actually, that doesn't really matter. Ooh. First stream and didn't stop. That happened. People watched my stream, heard me tell my story, how scared I was, heard my story, but stopped after the story was done to go in their notes app, to write down every single detail about the guy that did it, to go to Twitter, to then form these bands and figure out who did it and who to attack. It wasn't fucking about him. It wasn't about him. And if you would have listened past my story and listened to any of the things I talked about after, it's about victims. It's it's barely even about me. It's me telling my story about assault. It's about assault and it's about the things that go on behind the- You, know, you look real bloodthirsty though when you were winning, you know? Isn't it always funny? 
guys, it's not about me. It's not about the situation I'm in. But like when you were getting that rush, okay, you were fucking throwing bombs on Twitter. All right, don't deny it. Come on, Katie, don't deny it the scenes and it became this thing about him about canceling him about him about you just don't want it about you now because you're losing katie because you're losing drama it turned into this thing for to spread hate and to spread you know people just fighting and picking sides and then people commenting on it you know the commentary like it's like it's a fucking sports match and it's not <laughs> about me chat i don't mean to self-insert but that's the funniest clip of the year like it's a fucking sports match <laughs> no fucking life i can't i can't turn it off i can't you can you can argue about it on twitter you can you can watch videos about it you can talk about it on a podcast you can make a video covering it but then you can move on to the next hit topic you can move on to the next trending thing. You can turn off your phone and it doesn't exist anymore. I can't turn off my life. I can't turn off my memories. I can't turn it off. It's something that happened to me. You know, anytime someone asks, what's the furthest you've gone? That's my story. That's what I'm reminded of it. And I can't turn that off. It's a real thing. It's real people. The purpose of me trying to come out about this, I was, I was trying to bring, you know, I finally felt safe to tell my story. Uh, and for all the people in these situations that pressure other creators to make commentaries on it, that at other creators being like, say something. True. Fuck you. Wait, that what is you, me. What are you? Wait, that's literally me. Hold on, hold on, hold on chat. Is she talking, is she talking about me? I did that. Oh no. Oh no, I'm in Minecraft lore. Hold on. No way. Bro! Dude, she got the call! Sh shut it down! Shut it down! She got the call! <laughs> Has Amesy said anything since the internet realized that Katie wasn't sexually assaulted? Uh-oh! She got the call! What are you doing? Why are you to make commentaries on it that at other creators being like say something fuck you what are you what are you doing why are you begging at these other creators to say something to make comments just so you have more more things to consume in this situation these are real people because you don't know bitch, what they're going through i run ultimate rape review <laughs> Dude, Katie's in chat people maxing right now. Holy fuck, bro. No shot. We're in the lore. Behind the scenes. You don't know how they're processing it. I mean, imagine something like that happening to you. And then you're getting grilled to... It's not about any of them. It's not about them. Dude. It's not about him. It's about... All right. I'll be honest. I feel a little bad. Could you imagine being in her situation and like thinking like this is such an easy dunk or whatever and coming out? And then you're like, all right, I wonder what people are going to say. There's nothing that could have predicted you for someone making a UFC-styled show reacting to your drama called Ultimate Rape Review. All right, there's there's no person on the planet who could have prepared her for what was coming. Okay, I, I, I honestly I could understand people being a bit like, wait, what the fuck? Ugh. Especially the creators that I never knew, I wasn't aware about, had stories that have reached out to me. You never know what someone's going through. Adding someone in these kind of sensitive situations, telling them to speak on it, you don't know what they've went through. You don't know if they've went through things with these people too. You don't. You don't know. Uh, it's it's disgusting to get these people, you know. And again, I do say acknowledge the people uh, coming out about this, uh, speaking against it. And I am grateful for all the people that have. Um, a lot of them are my friends, and a lot of them, you know, are creators that I look up to that have reached out to me, uh, making sure I'm okay. 
Um, but also, I will make aware that this also does open, you know, the platform and open the ability for people to, you know, that aren't good to just speak on it and be like, yeah, I support you, just, you know. So it, it is hard to fully trust everyone, but anyway. Um, I brought it up. I brought all this up. I It became into this thing of picking sides and dramatizing it, making it into drama instead of focusing on the bigger issue, instead of focusing on the things that happen in the content world instead of focusing on the issues of blind idolization, you know? Um, but people only cared about finding something else to argue about instead of just focusing on the main idea. Um, and the biggest thing that I want to mention and one of the last things is people saying, why did you come publicly about this? Why didn't you keep it private? Why did you... Because I saw what Shelby did. Oh, me, Shubble! I saw the effect Shelby had on me. Seeing another content creator someone i looked up to speaking out about something that happened realizing that someone i looked up to went through the same thing as me you don't understand what that does you you don't you don't understand how that feels i wanted to be that for other people me staying silent about my situation who is the who is that helping i understand oh it's just bringing up because if you view it as drama it is like oh why are you bringing this drama forward but it is an it's sexual assault it is me and my viewers know uh one of the biggest things i've focused on in my content is being open I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't think that you would come in on week number. Uh, maybe this is going to bite my ass or whatever. I don't believe her. Um, and I don't think she's earned. I don't think she's earned that based off of what we've seen so far. I don't know. Is that crazy to say after she just omits this information? She lies by omission for fucking how many responses? I don't believe her. I don't believe that that happened. You could talk about the hypothetical or whatever, and maybe George will come out and concede the shit he didn't even do. But, like, I don't, I don't fucking believe her. For the purpose of connecting. Because realizing someone that you watch goes through the same things that you do, it is- Bro, it's the boy who cried wolf, dude. It's the e-girl who cried nose ring, okay? Like, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. You want to know about the impact or whatever that happens when on people who speak out and stuff? Well, you should be telling them, hey, look, use my example. Like, if this really happened to you, you should be going around doing a tell-all of like, hey, if I don't, dis like, if you don't disclose information correctly, you're opening yourself up to a shitload of harassment because people actually, like, research shit and look into allegations that people spread before they ruin people's fucking careers. You should be telling people, hey, look, make sure you have your eyes crossed and your, your eyes crossed. Well, she had her eyes crossed and her T's done but that's not that's besides the point it is so healing and it is so eye-opening and again i will always if i could do this all over i would do it all again because the amount of uh viewers of mine and the viewers that aren't of mine that have reached out to me saying they understand and that they feel safe dude because a bunch of 15 year old kids texted you saying like tee we support you like okay cool got it now uh to accept live laugh lie Live, lav, lie. Or right, lav is catching strays here, but I feel like this is like, <laughs> dude, this is lav, but like in her prime, okay? <laughs> so what's happened to them? Not even safe to come out about their stories because you don't, you don't have to come out about your story. You don't have to yell it off the rooftops to heal from it, you know. Um, but again, it, it it is a big help. It creates this open discussion of these these hard things to talk about. That's that's why, that's why I came out about my story. Not not. This is the lab that watched your friend hang out with Hassan Piker. <laughs> and again, I know it sounds hypocritical, and that's I'm acknowledging that. And I did yeah. things I probably shouldn't have with cool. with making it this drama kind of thing on Twitter. With like ignoring the fact that you cuddled with him for an hour every time you talk about it, and then when you try to explain it, you're like, "Well, Tihi, I didn't know that it was sexual." <laughs> and being you know i'm so asexual quirky i didn't know that when you spoon a girl that it's like a little bit sexual that's crazy anyway um but yeah um again i came out my out with my story it's fine if you don't believe me um and it's also really fine if you don't understand Dude, do you you don't cuddle the homies good night what are you fucking straight you don't cuddle the homies good night jesus Straight and white. That's not gonna fly. Me, you don't understand why I did. You don't understand why I couldn't have stood up in the moment and ran out of the room. It's fine if you don't understand because the story isn't for no. you. All right, listen, sweetie. All right. So when people say stuff like that, right? Oh, you have to like make a scene and leave the room or whatever. Oh, that's uncharitable. But we have text messages from you the next day saying like, I don't actually think it. Like I don't know. I thought it was fine. I was chilling. And then we have you explaining it, acting like a bomb went off and that like people were dying around you and like a, in a fucking, like a, you, you were in a terrorist attack in that room. 
Okay, so like obviously one of those stories didn't happen. Uh, should I believe you the next morning, or should I believe you doing the rehearsed script where you're fake crying? I'm just wondering, who would you believe, Katie? It's for people who... Yeah, she's having a Vietnam flashback in one. And then the text messages she showed show her being like, yeah, I was just chilling. Victims who understand my thought process. My my first stream wasn't, this is all the bad stuff. Like, this it's not even like George released that screenshot. She put that out. That was how she wanted to be interpreted. She thought that helped her case. And now when people go, hey, it seemed like you didn't have this problem in the time. So I don't think that you were actually going through a Vietnam flashback because you're showing me screenshots where you didn't seem to care. Um, that's not like well poisoned by George. That was her defense was, look here, we talked about it the next morning and I told everyone I was fine. Person did go kill them. It was me describing my experience uh, with assault that happened to me and then acknowledging it you know actually realizing shit this is something that happened to me and i can't ignore it and and accepting it it was about my journey as a victim um and i fully understand not many people to understand that kind of uh, journey and even if you are a victim and don't understand me you know you don't you don't have to have the same situation to still be a victim so i understand that as well um my story was meant for people who chose to believe me not because the story was meant to destroy someone and it didn't destroy them and now i'm just fucking terrified as you know of proof or because i have video of it or because of any of that but because they've experienced it themselves and they recognize it they recognize what i've went through and they recognize that i'm sincere about it um i feel like the whole situation the way it played out has been uh, very unfair but what's most unfair is what he did to me in the first place uh, so, um, there's that. I'm, I'm tired of the constant fight of trying to validate what I went through, to validate and prove that I was uncomfortable. Um, I'm tired <laughs> with it all, honestly. But again, I would still do it all over again because- This is so funny. Um, I don't want people to view that as me, like, bowing out and, you know, because I- You should have bowed out. Feel. I'm still here. Because you're gonna get blown the fuck out now. Oh, it's so funny, bro. Holy shit. But, um- I, I'm just not gonna apologize what I've went through. Um, I know there may be more after this. Uh, oh, yeah. More, you know, people trying to get the final word or, like, people... Oh, you know. trying to get the final word. You literally just fucking, in the fourth quarter, okay, on the three-point attempt to win the game, came out and said you were groped, all right? You're out of your mind if you don't think that people are gonna respond to that, and it's totally justified. Responding to what I've said, uh, but this is my final thought. Uh, on it all oh There's okay so when he comes out and defends himself you're not gonna respond i'll hold you to that if anything said after this where there's responses or anything i won't be there to see it um i i just i i won't um if this person has any career coming out of this they've done a huge disservice to everyone if this person is able to succeed in a commentator space or whatever or gets invited to a vidcon i'm gonna throw up holy fuck dude as for you know the future and stuff I'm in a really weird place. Um, you know, content, when I was going through stuff in my real life, I would use content as kind of an escape. You know, it was a place to feel safe. And even if my life was shit <laughs> off the screen, I could come on here and and be with you guys. Uh, but now, obviously, I'm just in a very weird place. Um, so I'm not promising anything, not promising that I'm going to come back not promising that I'm leaving forever. Uh, it's just a thing about time and taking time. Um, and I hope you guys can understand that. Uh, it does suck. I've, there are things that I've been working on for like a year <laughs> that I don't want to just scrap, but also it's just... And I think a lot of people need time right now. Um, not even just me or him or like anyone, I think. She uploaded just... a I'm 19 vlog a couple yeah. weeks ago <laughs> and it has uh, close to 1 million followers. Or she has close to 1 million followers on all her socials. Yeah, I know. Uh, this is insane. I, this is one situation where... Well, I, actually, is that even true? Does she have a mil followers? I thought she was a little smaller than a mil. Let me see. No, she has 128,000. I mean, she's still a sizable channel, but... Um, I, again, can't promise anything. For oh, across future, all of her socials, that, got it. You know, I'll do, I'll do whatever I love moving forward. Um, and I hope, I wish you guys the best. I, I don't want to, you know, you guys to view this as me. Sorry, I thought you meant like a million on each whatever, of our accounts. I just don't want to promise anything. Um, I will never forget how, how kind 
um, a lot of you have been um, and, and the way that my community has treated me um, <laughs> since I was 16. Truly, I'm really lucky. I, I really, really am. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, a lot of people tell me I'm, you know, brave for coming out about all this. <laughs> I feel the exact opposite. I'm only strong because of you guys and the people supporting me behind the scenes. Um, I guess that's it. I can sit here and ask for this not to be clipped out of context. <laughs> and ask for people to just refer people here, but I know that uh, that's not going to happen. I have no control over it, so... <laughs> I've said all I can. Um, and again, thank you all. Uh, that's all, I guess. Uh, goodbye. Stay safe. Please heal. And yeah. Chat. We're not done. <laughs> Enter. Shovel. No chat. We're not done. We're not done with the Minecraft segment. Oh god. Yeah, you guys didn't even know she went live today, did you? You didn't even know that her friend went live in solidarity. This is literally the dream shit again. This is Dream and George fucking making statements in solidarity. This is the Wilbur girl. The Wilbur girl put out another video too. Uh but this is not about Wilbur. This is about Katie. Oh, and it's so sweet. Oh, it's it's so... I, this is actually what I was going to talk about um, soon. I was going to prep to talk about this before I saw the other one. Hey, before we do that, we're going to have a quick dono break chat, and then we're going to take you to Contentville. Okay, there's more content in the tube, but we have to catch up on donos real fast so I have a spot to clip out on the stream. Um... Galactic Knight, thank you for the new membership. Tosify, thank you for being a member for three months. Confusing Opinion, thank you for the gifted. Thank you, Devin Thompson, for being a new member. Sleep Paralysis Gremlin, thanks for 10 gifted. Woo! Hell yeah. Uh, give Dark Viper AU a pimp slap for me. Thank you for the 20 sec, I bully bullies. Uh, somebody gifted a sub. Bro, it's slow loading. Holy shit. Um, there's a lot of these. Uh, thank you. Sleep Paralysis Gremlin with $50. Happy to be on time for Nicholas Diorio stream for once. Uh, here's some money to keep making fun of these lo lobotomized goobers. Out of curiosity, have you considered looking into the Plague Moth weirdo? Uh, no, only because the I, I didn't really know if I should look into it to begin with because it looked like a lot. And then the Thought Slime guy had like a meltdown on Twitter about me saying that I didn't really seem very interested in it. Uh, and he's like, who the fuck asked you? And it was like one of my donators, much like this that we're watching right now so i'm not really too keen on jumping into that because it seems like it's a a rabbit hole to hell and it seems like tom did a good job so i'll i'll let tom have that topic uh that's all him ellington moose thank you for the two month uh it's time cats a flock in five canadian uh the tickle monster allegations have intensified true germ 70 thank you for the two dollars i can't believe chud graped matto without even trying uh, cats a flock in to Canadian mouthy Katie somebody thank you for the two dollars the girl who cried sexual assault uh Yurijo Hanma eighth booty warrior thank you for the five dollars George not found guilty question mark somebody thank you for the ten dollars y'all pressured her into revealing details now if y'all don't believe her I don't man I don't know man groping a girl's chest without consent is this pretty serious detail to leave out Colin Harrison thanks for the new membership HY 1037 thank you for the new membership um uh Cesar warrior uh, thank you for the new membership. Sorry, I butchered your name. Verse $20. Laysai, guys. Really wanted to start the healing process, but we had to hit the beginning to heal bits. We haven't hit the beginning to heal bits donation goal yet, but we did hit the groping my tits donation goal, guys. Hype in the chat. Um... Ellington Moose, $2. She ain't got nothing to... Okay, whoa, I'm not reading that one. Sorry, fuck. Okay. I, nope, 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 nope. Uh, I should not have said that. Germ72, $2. This DLC to the allegation is crazy. Uh, sleep Paralysis Gremlin sent 20 You can't make this Pornhub search comment and not elaborate, Sir Nicholas. Explain. I think I did. I, I don't know why people thought that was so fucking, uh, like, schizo when I said it. She's Because, dude, there are so many of these girls who are like, He knew I was 18 
why would he possibly try to engage with me sexually? It's like, dude, the, like the number one Pornhub search result outside of like fucking incest is like 18. <laughs> like that's like, like, what do you mean? You don't think that you don't think you think that like guys aren't attracted to 18 year old girls or whatever when they're drinking at a party? You, you think that like that like each of them looking at you like, oh no, that's just a child. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're 18. Someone needs to tell you that like people are like, I, I like, people don't like card you and go, oh no, she's not two years younger than me. Uh, your, your entire whenever you're like in a social setting like that, yeah, you, that's something to be aware of, right? Um. Oh, you were talking about, you thought that I said that she was on Pornhub? No, no, not like that. Okay. No, because people like to say shit like this. It's like, you need to be coddled. You're going to see this, that argument that we had before that I was bringing that up is going to come up again with the shovel. All right. That's, that's actually where I coined it. But, um, laptop monkey, $2 made an iDubs reference to, did it feel good though? Which was technically a, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, a rice gum quote. Thank you uh blueberry uh 20 r 20 dollars r is that like what is r dollars but thank you uh nicholas de Gooner. uh shane barbet thank you for the five dollars you'd think that he how uncomfortable he wait an ad is gonna run in 30 seconds i showed like a guy's limb blown off and made fun of this fucking girl for like the last two hours how the fuck are we green right now Okay, never mind. Um, well, I don't care. It's ads. I'm running through donos. It doesn't matter if I get an ad. Um, you think that he'd feel... Uh, you think that he'd feel uncomfortable she was feeling a, a heartbeat? Thank you, $5. You, know, you think he'd feel uncomfortable she was feeling her heartbeat? Wait, that's so true. So he was grabbing her chest and didn't notice her heart was beating out of her fucking chest because she was fucking having a panic attack? That's crazy. This is making me rethink the whole thing. Germ seventy two dollars. It's time dream Pink Panther theme time. True. Oh man, dude, all the dream fucking. Hold on. Dude, all the shit. Whenever Dream comes out with this shit, dude, it's like yo, something crazy is coming. Dude, people have been fucking. People have been black pills on Dream because his last response was bad, but when he pulls this shit out, everyone knows something's going down. Dude, that Dream, bring it back, bro. I need to see you get the W. I need Dream to win this drama. He's got to be the guy. Um, twenty dollars from my name's not Melissa. Thank you, and you said tickle my belly. Jesus. Uh, scheme, $5. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Uh, germ, $72. I didn't feel him up. $69 donation sound. Um, Yurijo Hanma, the booty warrior, $2. Sent Mama Maxing. Verse with another $20. Not the cow ring. You know why they call it PMS? Because the mad cow disease was already taken. Another one from the booty warrior, $5. It's Camden. Blackula strikes again. Uh, $2 from Aiden. Nick, I love your content, but you're mid at Fortnite. Not gonna lie. Damn, that one hurt me, man, bro. What the fuck? Uh, Germ, $75. She literally admitted to dealing with George's advances because she thought it would help her career. She cuddled George on the casting couch. Jesus Christ. Doom the Fool, uh, $2. You and Chud sharing the same brain. <laughs> Give him a kiss. Good one, buddy. Uh, Joe Mega, $2. You think she's just mad that she lost her game? Dude, that Candy Crush game is still haunting her to this day. Ostentatious, $10. Women think that having bodily, body autonomy is only about abortion. A huge part of it should be self-advocating for when they feel uncomfortable. If nothing is said, how is the guy supposed to know? It's not even like, how is the guy supposed to know she didn't say anything? She got up and kept reaffirming that she was comfortable in the situation. She kept cuddling with him. She would get drinks. She'd come back. She'd sit back down. Her friends would leave. She would stay she would sit back down she would fucking get up to go grab something she'd come back she'd sit back down like this is not oh i didn't say anything so uh, i guess that means his stuff would no no it's not like that at all you didn't say anything at all and you constantly reaffirmed it by staying there and leaving and coming back um michael hurst five dollars when i was 22 years old i was graped by a hog of a woman she got me real drunk and graped me my friends thought it was funny because i'm a guy well i'm sorry to hear that buddy 
uh bradigan uh member one month assault not found michael hurst two dollars if i was a woman things would have been different jesus uh james the frog five dollars since you're an it guy when are we getting diorio tech tips um yeah, I probably never. I don't like talking about any of that stuff. I run Ultimate Rape Review. Um, let me see. Somebody, $10. Things uh, things like this will keep happening. You think people would have learned by now. Unsubstantiated claims benefit the accuser and a near guaranteed death sentence for the accused. True. Uh, Kodaku Production uh, Projects, $2. Darius IRL is probably already DMing her. So fucking true. Somebody, $5. Ah, yes. George is supposed to walk up to the gallows without a defense. Right into the gallows because you're the judge, jury, and executioner. Uh, somebody, $5. Guys, he accidentally scratched my tummy while he was tickling me. Mute map maker, five dollars. He had easy access under the bra because it was a training bra. Kodaku projects, two dollars. No man should have all that power. Zombot, two dollars. The Woman's History Month has been a real banger. It literally is Woman's History Month, and we're learning a lot about her history tonight. Jessix, five dollars. Is she escalating her accusations and rhetoric because of how weak his statement was? Now she's terrified for her career, and he touched her boob. Uh, I bully bullies, 20 sec. I'm asexual. We do not claim her. Mad Max, $2. Asexuals multiply by contact, Nick. Germ, $72. Augie and Katie agree on women's problems. Mad Max, $2. She's an albino Latinx now. G Ran, $2. Kill me, kill me, kill me. Uh, Tremor Nigel to Canadian. So many victims won't be believed now. Yeah, that's what happens when people lie. Uh, Trippy Savage, $10. These people were never held accountable for anything before. Now it's, uh-oh, we have to prove our bullshit. Um, let me see. Um, it's not loading. Hold on. Um, Tamer Nigel, 5 Canadian. No one will believe any real victims anymore. Trippy and Savage, $5. This is becoming a decent fanfic. One more ghostwriter and she's got a Netflix miniseries. <laughs> 20 Canadian. Could this be the next Diorio winning strat for Crazy 8's George Not Found tactic? <laughs> Transmaggle, $5. Notice how in the two screenshots she puts the one where she's been less receptive first, even though it was hours before the second one. CCC became a new member. Vad Rad sent $2. Katie Bugs loves MLK. Frenchie is Fry, $2. The Curious George gets the ape silverback. Mute Map Maker, $5. George should come out and say that she's put her, his hand in this generous... Okay, I'm a, uh, Jesus, okay. Fuck me, dude. Holy shit, you're gonna get me canceled. Um, hold on. It just jumped down to the bottom. I'm almost here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dolphin, $5. Yo, what's she looking at? Strictly Patrick, $5. She's not in this for clout, Nick. It's just a coincidence. Her sub follow and donos are only on uh, for the second video and her third response. Uh, Meower, $5. The Plague Moth allegations are a fucking rabbit hole. Don't do it. It's standard lol cow shit. Calabrese, new membership. Ghost Gaming, $948. Uh, $2. Yo, you're going to check out the Illy animation. I don't know what that is, but I feel like I just said something on stream that i shouldn't have uh strictly patrick two dollars george needs to take the slick rick defense devil's advocate two dollars as somebody who's ace her depiction of it sucks plague crew five dollars you should look into the alex kister stuff uh mandela catalog guy seems extremely weird i don't know i haven't gotten into that one so far i feel like i'm too far behind so let's get back to the content because we have 2600 or sorry 2735 people watching of our closest friends and family now, guys, we got Shovel in the, uh... And... Okay, guys, this is like a joint statement. I don't know if she planned it out like this, but it was like during the same time frame or a little bit before or after. Um, but something that I felt really relevant to. So she's talking about a movie she happened, watched recently. Is that these characters, um, both of them, the two main characters are being called. One I think she's talking about a Disney movie where one of the characters is called a murderer and a liar.
Wait, what is this? Wait, I'm so done. So Amesy DM'd cheaply on on Twitter. You know, you guys know cheaply. I think he's Tom's friend. So Amesy sent a DM to cheaply. Amesy being the one that we think is kind of like I'm Alexing this situation. Um, and she said this. This is her. This is her statement. Hey, I noticed you followed me. Um, would you be down for an interview to talk about your point of view on recent events and discuss some of your statements? Um... Hey, hey, couldn't DM you due to having verified uh, following on, and I'm not wanting to whatsoever, but I wanted to talk about the criticism in your video. I understand that you're against my standpoint and how I use my platform, and not everyone has to be in agreement. However, I feel like when making a criticism, or especially a video talking about someone else's viewpoint, keeping it strictly critical and not badmouthing myself, uh, how I am in my voice is a better alternative and such. I'm always open to talking about things and my views and how I see them in private, but knowing that you just put out a video slandering me and just being rude about the way I talk and bringing those up in your comment section. Uh, for in insulting me it has nothing to do with the criticism. It just takes away so much from the point you're trying to put across. I just wanted to send this here and ask about the reasoning behind that. Have a great day. And his response was, Amesy responded, and he just put out another video. I don't know. Does Amesy talk weird? Is that true? Let's hear her voice. Um, I don't. Today I'm playing more Infinite Craft. If you still don't know oh, Infinite Craft, no. a game where you can combine literally He's everything. right! Today I'm gonna be trying to find these five things and a first time discovery. Also, please subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, let's get into the video. She's fucking British, chat. Yikes. The allegations are true. Oh, no. Dude, it's so over. Um, here. I felt really relevant to the experience that I had been having is that these characters, um, both of them, the two main characters, are being called, one's being called a monster, one's being called a murderer. They're both being called villains, and it's not true. <laughs> and it's not true. Um, and we should be getting to know each other for exactly who those, who we are as people. Um, as thinking, living, breathing people with thoughts and feelings, because some people don't seem to care at all about what they say to other people. Now keep in mind, chat, up until this point, we have been ultra charitable to this girl. Oh fuck, we're in this big screen. We've been ultra charitable to this girl the entire time we've covered her. In fact, we've debated lyrics on parts of her story defending her in some small cases, okay? We have been the most critical toward Wilbur than we've been to anyone in the Minecraft allegation sphere so far. And what that makes you feel um, and boy, am I sick of it. Boy, am I sick Gee of willikers, it. Gee willikers, chat. I am sick begins. of it. <laughs> oh, I am tired. Um. <sighs> Nobody wants to tell the truth around here, it seems like. Um, Ooh, that's base. all I've wanted to do. Based? Based, based, based? Based? Uh, let's just tell the truth. <laughs> based? Based, based, based? I don't know. Um, I think I thought about this a lot and what I would want to say about what has happened for the, the last couple of weeks, the things that I was told. Horrible, horrible things. Based? Um, that no one should ever be told. No human being should ever have to be receiving these words. I'm based, talking based? about anybody saying words like um, telling you that you should take your own life, telling you that you deserved the abuse that you experienced. You deserved worse. Okay. You deserve um, to be assaulted. You, I, these are all the things that I have heard. Oh. She's talking about destiny. Oh. Uh, because, all right, so everyone's taking Destiny's comment out as like she deserved it to be worse or whatever because Destiny said... Dude, you're lucky. Nothing happened. You got out of it before anything bad happened. You're lucky. And they're like, you were only sexually assaulted a little bit. So that makes it okay, Destiny. Um, and everyone's saying that, like, 
Destiny says you're lucky if he only grabs your breast because of the post talk rationalization. That wasn't even part of the allegations when Destiny said it. The reality was he was saying that she wasn't sexually assaulted and now she got out of that situation without anything bad happening and she's able to look back on it and potentially fondly say like, oh God, I'm lucky that didn't turn into anything crazier. I'm lucky that I wasn't in a room with worse people doing that or whatever. And it's been completely taken, uh, taken apart now um, with the new statement. And I have seen people saying to each other and everyone saying these things, just so disgraceful, everyone. And some people using the opportunity of someone potentially having taken their own life immediately, immediately. Wait, is that about as James Somerton? Justification to say exactly that to somebody else. So disgraceful. Bro, did we just get a James Somerton not being dead reference? Chat, when's the last time we made a reference to how crazy it is that James Somerton is still alive? What a disrespect to anyone who has ever- Keep in mind, that. typical Minecraft YouTuber um, sitting here and not being fucking like, being completely vague about everything. That way. Um, and I feel so strongly about that because I have felt that way. Um, and to have people telling you that you deserve to be dead. Ugh, everyone's saying it because this isn't about- No, everyone is not saying that you and Katie deserve to be dead. There is not an overwhelming majority of people that think both of you deserve to be dead. That is not real. That is not happening. Communities, it isn't about sides. It never was. I keep checking these accounts uh, that are just troll accounts. Oh, it's too mad. Oh, it's not James. So I know it might still might be. That still might have been too mad and James Somerton. They're typing KYS and hitting tweet because they don't give a shit. And they don't follow Dude, me. Dude, it's crazy. We're talking about dead YouTubers, and I forgot that Tumad died. That's how irre like that's how irrelevant he was at the time of death. Holy shit, bro. They don't. They're saying themselves. They don't support me. They don't even know who I am. Um, and people are saying it to me. Uh, but all of those people saying it to me, all of them, all of them, have the same person as their profile picture. That's funny, isn't that? Oh, um, wait but a minute. Wait a minute. They all have fucking Wilbur and George. Oh no. No one should say those things to each other. No one. It's unacceptable. Is Tumat actually dead? No, he's still alive. It's a big troll. He's going to reveal himself soon. I either think that it's acceptable to say those things. Or he you got the cops in the coroner's office in on it. It's crazy. Don't. Uh, I don't think that there's ever a time where it's okay. And to use that as an opportunity to tell someone else, knowing full well the consequences of saying these things to other people. Um, and then for it to turn out to have been a lie anyway. Um because the truth doesn't matter to these people either. Um, and you have to be very careful who you listen to because they they don't care about what's true and I'm just gonna keep coming here and being who I am. And I think anyone who has spent any time in my community between one year, two, Bro. three, four, five. Dude, this is so good. I yelled at my dog to shut up. Five, six, 10 plus in my community know that that isn't something that is ever allowed i have always had zero tolerance for things like that um and there are people here who have been here for one two five ten years they know who i am much better so this is the clip now people are saying where george teased that he grabbed her breast let's hear she never went into the exact specifics either so out of respect for katie i've chosen not to give any more details than she did to make sure that i'm not airing out any information that she's not comfortable with being known. But I have clarified that the furthest things went was under the shirt touching. She never went into the exact specifics either. So out of respect. Yeah, so, okay, great. Um, and even still, I am hesitant to say that you know me. Um, but at the very least, you know the kind of community I've built. You know the kind of platform I've had. You know exactly the kind of issues that I have always, always stood up for. Oh, thank you, Sophie. <laughs> um, my mods. I, ooh, I have another rant I'm gonna get into. Oh boy. And oh, I love my this mods. is good. That wasn't about that. This That's is good, just... chat. Some of them are young people. They are young adults, and I think that I have seen so many people be so irresponsible with the young adults around them oh, and no. trust them. Um, and these adults, grown fucking people, 
thinking that when someone becomes 18, it's suddenly okay and it's different. And they're... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, chat. Oh, who said this was boring? We're about to get into the, all the fun. Um, and these adults, grown fucking people, thinking that when someone becomes 18, it's suddenly okay and it's different. And they're... You can do anything. No more boundaries. You can make any jokes you want. You can hurt them any way you want. You can treat them any way you want. Because they're 18 and they're responsible for their own decisions. Give me a break. So the straw man here is that people think it's okay to like rape people because they turned 18. Or that they're allowed to like make super uncomfortable sexual jokes because they turned 18. The reality is, yeah, they're 18 years old. They can, they have autonomy. They're able to get up and walk away. They're able to uh, like have sex with people. They're able to like have relationships with people who are like 20, 21, 22, 23. I guess they can have sex with someone who's 27. That's crazy. Um, yeah, that's, that's how things work. An 18 year old has never been responsible. We all know that. They were okay, well, that's how you go through life and learn lessons. Uh, because nobody raped a child when you turn 18. That's not how it works. Uh, people have regrettable experiences and they learn from it and they grow as pe like grow as people. Look, dude, I'm sorry, bro. People in college used to like kiss a guy at a frat party or whatever and wake up and go, oh, that was gross. I'm never fucking doing that again. And that would be the end of the discussion. Now it's just like, Dude, I got raped. Like, it's... Oh, okay, cool. You were 17 yesterday. It isn't different now. And if you're lying for your moral... Dude, all right, so you're talking about... Oh, she's 17 yesterday. She's not... Okay, so obviously there's a huge difference between someone who's spawn camping a 17 year old and waiting for them to turn 18, i.e. Onision. Having Onision... Um, Take a 17 year old, well, a younger girl or whatever. I don't know if she was 16 or 17. I don't remember the lore. You can go watch my old videos on it. Uh, that is objectively weird to like have sex with a girl on her 18th birthday that you took in as an, as a fucking, um, 17 year old, uh, like you're a, a guardian over a 17 year old and you had sex with her when she turned 18. That is obviously a case where this line of argumentation works super well. It is not when George met this girl while they were drinking in a hotel room at VidCon and was trying to hook up with her. That is absolutely not the same thing. George was not spawn camping her for months while she was 17 and went, oh yes, it's finally time. That's not like, no, no, that's not what happened. Like, holy shit, dude. Is that they have turned 18. You have no morals. You just- Bro this is some age of consent should be 25 bullshit. Like, holy fuck, bro. <laughs> you're just like a broken person. Like, it's like, Are doing whatever the law says you're allowed to get away with. Get away um, with? Dude, at some point, people have to be able to make their own decisions. You can't keep treating these. It's literally she's an 18 year old child. Like, fuck you. You can't be like, she's literally an 18 year old child meme. Um, And I just think I've seen so many people be so irresponsible. Not in even always this is like a one of those situations where it's like uh hr or whatever and like the fat guy gets like shit on <laughs> a sort of relationship kind of way but any type of influence and trust that you have over someone so much younger than you but still an adult technically technically there's so much responsibility put, you have we gotta to put fucking parentheses right this is what i'm talking about dude look you need to dude listen if you are an adult and you think like her about dating women, right? Not like the thing she's saying, it's not an implication on her. But if you're a guy who has to go audibly and go, wait, this is this is an 18 year old we're talking about here. This was a minor, literally a calendar year ago. I have to be really careful when I riz her up. You're probably a pedophile. I'm going to be honest with you. If that's how you approach women... And I, I'm not saying that about this girl in particular. I think she's just retarded. I think if there's any guy who's like, I got to put on the kid gloves with this girl I want to fuck, you're probably a pedo. I think I've seen so many people be so irresponsible. Not in even always a sort of relationship kind of way, but any type of influence and trust that you have over someone so much younger than you, but still an adult, technically, there's so much responsibility you have to take such great care with those people. You cannot be irresponsible with them when they trust you 
And you Okay, so like again, this is why I'm saying it. You heard what she just said? I think any adult who has to like acknowledge that and he sits there and he's like, Okay, well this girl is younger than me. Then I'm thinking, like, the reason why you're hooking up with that girl is because she's so close to being 17. That's all I'm getting getting from that. Like, there's this mythical thing that you have to, like, give the, like give an 18-year-old, like, uh, different... I, 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 this is so crazy to me. You have to put kid gloves on when you're around her. It's so weird. Why would you argue this? Who are the older? What is an adult anyway? I don't know, dude. It's just a kid with extra steps. Like, this is like, I don't... Responsible adult. And when you have so many teenagers in your audience, and those are the people that prop you up. But you're willing to show that you don't... I don't know. I don't know. I didn't feel fully responsible till I was past 21. 21... <laughs> Dude, at 21, people, I could consent to sex at 21. Everyone above 21, like, raped me, bro. It's, it's so over, dude. Oh, fucking Christ. This is just... And by the way, statements like the ones George made reinforce this delusional ideology and all this is going to do is get girls hurt a hundred percent if you think a 26 year old guy who's probably a weirdo at a fuck like a 26 year old minecraft youtuber who's probably a weirdo in general because he's a minecraft youtuber okay if you think that a 20 something year old minecraft youtuber would just not be attracted in you if he attracted in you if he realized like oh you're actually 18 or 19 or whatever and there's like an eight year gap or whatever if you think that that guy is suddenly turning off any idea of something sexual happen uh, happening that night you're just delusional uh, and that people are spreading a delusion on you if you think in the real world anybody hears that you're 18 or whatever you're 19 you're 20 um, and is, is immediately turned off from that, and that everyone in the room now knows that you're, like, off limits or something like that. That's just not how people work. Uh, there are certainly people who aren't into, like, uh, dating people like that, but it, this is, like, a hookup. Like, I, I, this doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. But you, ugh, dude, that's cr Oh, God. This is when I even really, really fully, I remember the moment it hitting me in my head that I understood that a lot more people lie than I had realized till I- So I think in the last coverage, I think I talked about this on stream and I think I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna ape this from Destiny because he made like a really good argument, okay? Destiny talked about how like, uh, for a lot of girls, and this is definitely true, there are parties where 21 plus people hang out and then there are parties where creepy guys hit on 18 year old girls and stuff like that. Uh, like the freshman shit, like where it's like, oh, a new freshman girl came or whatever. Um, and that's absolutely true. Um, it like some girls think that like, oh, okay, just cause I'm drinking with older guys, that makes me cool. This is a cool thing. And usually the guys in college who are 24 years old and they're seniors, 23 years old in college, and they're hanging out with 18, 19 year old freshmen. Those are usually like fucking losers who can't pull in their own age bracket and stuff like that. Um, it, like they're eight, like the type of people who are inviting 18 year old girls knowingly knowingly to these parties are probably pretty fucking weird okay like I would, but like they're not pedophiles right but you have to acknowledge that if you're drinking with adults and stuff like that in an adult setting you're probably in a case where like somebody's probably gonna hit on you if you're underage drinking and hanging out with an adult in the room that's probably something that's going to happen throughout the course of the night but there's this weird myth that like yeah everyone just shuts down the minute it, oh i'm 18 years old everyone stops dead in their tracks and goes oh, there's one of them in the room <laughs> And, like, when you reinforce that, these girls are being put in a bad situation because they think that there's, like, a there's like a sign on their shoulder that says, do not cross this boundary. Uh, do not, like, do not riz up is a, is a better argument. Do not riz this one up because she's only 18 years old. When, I mean, that's not stopping tons of people that could, they could end up in very real situations with. Um, yeah. Why would you assume they're underage if they're drinking with adults? Again, that was one of the main argumentation points we talked about last time. That she showed up drunk to a guy's hotel room or whatever to hang out. I mean, she's only claiming, and I think it's still disputed whether he even knew she was 18 at all. So it really doesn't matter. But, yeah. 21, I remember when I finally, like, I was finally with other adults, adults, and I thought that that was just like a thing that kids did. I thought that that was like- Here's the thing. It's like when you say stuff like this, when you argue points like this, saying that like 18 year old children, like this is an unironic argument right now. 
I think that you're probably too retarded to consent. So it makes me re reevaluate all your previous other arguments. Because if you're like that fucking immature at like, what is this girl? Like 23, 24, 22? She's older than Katie. I'm like, this person's way too retarded to consent. They're like, their worldview is like bonkers. Holy shit. Duh. Just a thing that kids, <laughs> cause they're kids, cause they're stupid. Um, no, they're that... adults. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, she's 30. Wait, my bad. This is a 30 year old woman. Holy fuck, chat. Wow. And the realization that other adults all the time are doing I that. forgot, like, yeah, you're not even joking. She is 30. Oh, who failed her? Oh my god, that's brutal. That's fucking brutal. Oh. They're just lying. I hate people that lie. Yeah, me too. Um, like your friend I'm talking about anyone that has been irresponsible with the trust of young people in their, not their care, but sort of, you see them take an 18 year old under their wing. They call themselves their brother and they, they gain their trust and oh they- Oh God, she's doing the grooming thing again. I'm waiting for to hear the G word. Yeah. But, but then they will abandon them at a moment's abandon notice. Abandon them? They will not be there for them. They will not take care with their well-being. They will not take care. Um, oh, my God. Why are... does every 18-year-old have to be a retarded child or you're an abuser? Like, it's just, oh, man, this is so hard to listen to. I fucking hate these people. Cruel to them. They're mean to them. There's so much care. Leafy and needs to bring back his cringy kids series. Oh, bro, we were we were almost there. Ability when you yeah, have she's freshly thirty. Friendships with people with an age gap because I don't think it's inappropriate all of the time for there to be an age gap between friendships. There's just a difference in how you treat those people when they're so much younger than you that you do need to have more responsibility and more boundaries. Um, I think a great example of someone who takes absolute great care of the people who are younger and look up to them. Is British I think he's such a great who? person. Philza? At, um, I think a great example of someone who takes absolute great care of the people who are younger and look up to them is Philza. I think he's- Philza, is that a British YouTuber? Let me see. For my job. Yep. Is British YouTuber. Such a great person as such a role model who m means it uh, and thinks that it's a responsibility to take care of them because they're still so young. They're kids, they're teenagers. They're adults, just to be clear. And I think that if you think it's acceptable as soon as someone turns 18, suddenly it's okay to make all types of sexual jokes and to be physically violent with them or to- What? You're 18, time to- Dude, dude, she thinks that like the Turkey Tom meme is real. That once you turn 18, Tom just goes gorilla mode. Like, holy shit. Yeah, no, consent exists. Yeah, we agree. We agree with you. Who I is this argument to? Oh, you're 18? Gorilla mode! Like, what the fuck? Think it's despicable. Don't mess with teenagers. What are you doing? What are you doing, Lion Maker? Don't mess with teenagers. Like, yeah, no, this is agreed upon. Literally everyone agrees upon. There's no one who doesn't agree with this argumentation. There is so much responsibility in our hands when we are the older. And yeah, I you have, something dude, you have that responsibility with a 30-year-old woman, too, not to go gorilla mode on her either. What does that have to do with her being 18? Like, yeah, you shouldn't make uncomfortable sexual jokes around people that you don't really know. Sure, 100%. That's why people have fucking workplace rules. Workplace rules don't present, uh, prevent against 18-year-olds hearing sexual jokes in the workplace. They present against, like, they pretend against, uh, I can't even speak. They uh, prevent against anyone hearing stuff like that, bro. Okay? Like, you don't have to worry about, like, oh, you're 18. We can't go gorilla mode and go giga rape mode on you right now. That's, like, any age. Like, I, why is that an age-specific thing? Thing that I've been thinking about a lot. Um, oh God! Is this a lie that I've heard a lot of people tell, but I do believe comes from good intention? I just think that we need to stop Chat, saying this one is going to be so funny, dude. This is so fun. Actually, can we hear? A, we're gonna get a we're gonna get an overview from a real Minecrafter about this. All right. Um, uh, 
okay, will help we're right here. now. Hold on, we gotta hear this one. Being it is when, like, I'm just, if you have a 10 year age difference or something, you have almost a decade between you to say, what do you even have in common? You don't have anything in common. What do you have in common with a person who's that age gap? That isn't true. That isn't true. Of course we have things in common. I play Minecraft and you- Uh oh. Have almost a decade between you to say, what do you even have in common? You don't have anything in common. That isn't true. That isn't true. Of course we have things in common. I play Minecraft and you all play Minecraft. And I think that it's kind of a lie to make it seem like there's nothing that you'd have in common when of course we do. And what it might do now is give an opportunity to someone older to say, hey, we have this age gap between us. You're 18, I'm 26, 27, whatever, plus. Wait a minute. Older man, 27, Minecraft, what do they have in common? Uh-oh. Oh no. Sometimes we hurt so much. Oh no. That we find it so hard to find the strength to reach out. Oh no. I understand the feeling all too well. Oh no. That feeling of not being able to trust people Wait, with why are we my not trusting feelings. them? The feeling of knowing that sometimes I think in ways that other people just don't want what? to understand. And that is why you have to keep searching until you find someone you trust. Trust? Wait, you what are we trusting them? You owe this to yourself and all those you love. What? It's all there is. What do you mean? Nothing other than six things matter. Six things? Three of them are what life is all what about. What life's all about? What you put into yourself. Food? What you put out love, of yourself. And what you do and with rest. yourself. And rest. Okay, alright. Then you follow three golden rules. Alright, three rules, rules chat. Never hurt. Never anyone. hurt anyone. Never force anyone Never to do anything they don't anyone want to, to do anything. And respect a child's development. What? You can't. Okay, so I think that's what she meant. Okay, got it. Cool. Let's go back. Minecraft, and I think that it's kind of a lie to make it seem like there's nothing. That was Lion Maker, prolific Minecraft pedophile. Okay. That you'd have in common. When of course we do, and what it might do now is give an opportunity to someone older to say, hey, we have this age gap between us, you're 18, I'm 26, 27, whatever, plus. Um, Wait, did you just make me watch a map video? No, that was a Minecraft adult person video. That was Lion Maker. When did he make that? When he came back. And It's relevant, it's a Minecraft YouTuber. We're not supposed to have anything in common. But we do, and so it's special, and it's unique, and it's different. Um, of course By the way, chat, Minecraft adult person is what map means. Yeah, there's a lot of maps in that community. A lot of maps. So we have things in common. Of course we do. And that's so important when we do have friendships, and it's so important, I think, also to have those friendships so that these younger adults have people that they can go to that are outside of their parents. It isn't the same. Um that they can trust and can go to and know that they're going to someone who will be responsible with them and they will not be careless with them. <laughs> Dude, no map is non-offending Minecraft person. So true. But people take advantage of that. Dude, what did this girl have in common with Wilbur? They have a three-year age gap. True. Way to go, pale derp. Nice meme. I don't think it's ever okay. I don't think it's ever okay to mess with teenagers. Dude, I don't think it's ever okay to rape a teenager. Dude, that's so brave of you. This is what she's arguing, chat, because she doesn't want to give an actual argument about anything. It's like it's never okay to push a boundary on a teenager. <laughs> like, wow, that's so crazy. Can you believe you can't go gorilla mode? That's what I think is so much worse. Hot take, guys. Rape is bad. Hot take, guys. I would never want to be on ultimate. <laughs> Oh God, it drives me insane. I feel this upsets me so much because- And she says teenagers, so she can't say 18 year old. 
because like 18 19 is the same i guess as, as just saying teenager it's just so infuriating bro holy god they're so young they're so young and you're so fucking old what are you doing this isn't necessarily about anyone specific. I just think if the shoe fits in the wise words. Give me a fucking break. You're saying this the same day that Katie responds. Give me a fucking break. Of Renee Rap, Lace that bitch up and run. <laughs> it upsets me. And I said this on Lexi's stream. And I'll say it again on mine. Um... I think that if you've ever been one of these people, because we've seen this happen before too, where you have been caught with your massive platform of influence over lots of teenagers and children, um, and in private you are being manipulative. What? And abusing people. Manipulating and abusing teenagers. I just think that if you are one of those people who was caught and you said, I'm sorry, I'm going to go work on myself. I think that it's a lie if you ever come back. I think that if you have been caught clearly irresponsible with this position of power over teenagers, that if you were... What do you think? Because like he got accused of groping an adult. He's going to go and like rape through his entire audience. Like, he's going to have a Minecraft convention and just be a total pedophile? Like, what is what is the implication here? Actually out there and did the work and we're sorry. You'd And the thing is, I don't know if he's talking about George here or talking about Wilbur here or talking about the other guy here. Like, there's just so many people, dude. Voluntarily, never come back. If you really were sorry. I just couldn't ever believe it. If you put yourself right back into the same shoes that allowed you to do that the first time. And I also just think, you don't... I don't think we should allow a second opportunity when we're dealing with teenagers and children. Adults. I just don't think- They're not children, they're adults. All right, the audience might be children. That's not the people involved here. They're adults. They're not, you like to just call it this and just be this disingenuous is so funny to me. Holy fuck, dude. Why are there so many eggs up here, bro? Give me your money. That you should be allowed a second she's mentally a child yeah i don't know if this person can consent unity something that i would wish to see from my peers other content creators is that i know that there are people that know these things happen i know that there are people that knew these things happened i don't know dude this was the same girl who had a safe word for consensual biting so to find out that she's got like a, a warped perspective on what's normal or whatever or i guess what's like what happens in the real world. I'm not shocked at all, to be honest. And they let it happen and they didn't say anything or they excused it for their friend. Not not in the sheets. I'm, I'm sorry. People keep thinking the biting thing is a sexual thing. Uh, they were biting in normal like discourse and normal conversations and just outside like no non-sexual situations. Yeah. Um, I think that we all need to decide at some point that we find it unacceptable. You hear about someone or you see someone do something like this. Unacceptable. Yeah, she, she was like a white woman who was like dating a dog, basically. Um. We do not protect those people anymore. We do not. We don't let them back. We don't give them another opportunity to take it. Teenagers! Adults. I think that if there's anything that we should be collectively deciding, all of us, because the community you come from doesn't matter. It never matters. Uh-oh. What we all need to be doing is deciding collectively these things are not acceptable. Telling people to kill themselves over the internet is not acceptable. Messing- Oh, God. Do you think a single fucking person who's watching this girl's stream, like- from her own chat, not from me, is the type of person to like go on Twitter and write kill yourself? Like really? Do you think anyone has learned their lesson? And do you think if I tell my audience, hey guys, you guys should not write kill yourself in any context ever, do you think that like me saying that is gonna make people go, oh my God, what I've been doing was super wrong the whole time. I needed Nick to tell me that telling someone to kill themselves on Twitter is like a negative trait. Shit, dude, that's crazy. Why don't we hold people accountable? Being around with teenagers, just because they're 18, you think they're the same as a consenting adult who's 30, nearly 30, or plus, because let's not even start with all of the people 30 plus that think 18. All those rapists that are 30 plus. Yeah. It's still an acceptable person to have any kind of an intimate anything with. 
there are boundaries you need to have with those people. They are kids. I, I just think that's so... Pre they're not kids. They're adults. Uh, no one's... There's no pedophile allegation that she could possibly be talking about that's come out recently. She's literally just making this person a child because it's convenient. She is an adult. She's an 18, now 19 year woman. Predatory. And if you think that the excuse that they're adults is good enough, we find them... Yeah, that's the other thing is Katie literally told the, the people to choke in her stream today and literally made the same KYS meme that's super popular in the Minecraft community, so... Um, are you going to condemn her too? I really disagree. That child who made that decision. Uh. Yeah, you're you're fucking thirty years old and you play Minecraft on stream, bro. I'm twenty seven and I play Fortnite on stream like a chad. There's so much responsibility. You no, you don't get. To, this is such a privilege to sit here. I have a thousand three hundred people watching. It is such a privilege. And you are never entitled to it. Never. You are never entitled to keep it forever if you are shown that you can't be responsible with it when kids are involved. And now children are telling me to kill myself. <laughs> uh, there are things that you can do. When Dude, I've had like 50 people tell me to kill myself in the past two weeks just because I talked about this drama. Who fucking cares? Who gives a shit? If a stupid Minecraft child tells me to kill myself on Twitter, why does it matter? What, what, dude, like, what are you? Are you such a fragile person that if a fucking seven year old tells you to kill yourself on Twitter, you're actually gonna do it? Holy shit. You know what you shouldn't be doing? Content creation, bro. Because this is like a whole sector of the internet, dude. They don't think of us as people. My chat doesn't think of me as a human being. All right, if they thought I was close to suicide, they'd spam my chat with KYS to talk about me, bro. Get off the fucking internet. Holy shit. People are sending you threats online and harassment and you should absolutely take every uh, opportunity to show those people what those consequences exactly are. Um, Dude, yeah, I literally, if I said that my child would be like, do a flip! I've been doxxed over this last couple of weeks and um, among the variety of different harassing text messages I received, I got one that was particularly funny. All right, uh, so she can, she can, like, yeah, all right, never mind. Uh, someone just out of the blue texting me, whore. <laughs> um, however, that person had all of their contact information filled out on their phone so that when they sent that text to me, um, it came in. Uh-oh. And with their full, their full name. Uh-oh. And a photo of themselves. Um, and so with that information, there is a number of things I can do to follow up with her. Based? Um, thank you for that. <laughs> Based? I have to laugh. I have been laughing a lot to cope. Uh, I hope that's okay. I only someone have was telling me that like if you release someone's phone number like this was this came up in the salvo leaks because i posted this the fucking message in the group chat and people were like nick you posted salvo's phone number yeah after he called me on stream who fucking cares once you've called my cell phone you've lost the access to that private source of information like are you kidding you called me Am I not going to tweet it out? Like, I didn't tweet it out. And Matt was like, dude, Nick, you shouldn't tweet it out or whatever. And I wasn't actually going to, but it was like, what if I did? Who cares? You called me. Myself, though. Only in my own situation. A little bit at them, because that's so stupid. <laughs> you knew what you were um, doing. You, you could have called from a Google voice number, jackass. You don't give a fuck. He read his own number on stream multiple times, but... Yeah, I don't know, dude. If you're gonna, dude, if you're gonna fucking try to talk shit to a YouTuber when you're texting them, like the smartest thing you should do or calling them is to get a Google Voice number. Otherwise, your shit's gonna get dropped eventually. You're, you're asking for it. Um, so I have reported their phone number uh, because with that information coming in with their name, I found their Verizon account and that number um, is possibly going to be suspended. I don't actually really know what happens next. Nothing's gonna happen, but that would be funny if it does. Based. That's like the, the adult way to handle it, I guess. I think, because who are we to Who am I saying? What am I joking? That's the way to do it without someone flagging your Twitter for PII. I, I don't know, bro. All I'm saying is I wouldn't shit on a person who did that. And it is entirely your prerogative and up to you if you are receiving harassing messages and death threats, especially if you want to take that to your local police department. All right, you're not taking a fucking person writing KYS on Twitter to the police department. Let's be let's be honest here. Um, I mean, if people are like gathering your information or whatever, maybe. 
Uh, real, realistically, the only time that you'd contact the police over something like this is if you're afraid you're being swatted. If you're going to get swatted. That's the only time. And the reason why you'd be doing it isn't to be like, oh my god, someone online said they're going to swat me. The reason why you'd be doing it is to let them know not to kick down your door. Okay, that's literally the only time it makes sense to contact the police over any message like this. Um, there are also ways to... But again, this person seems fairly new. And I don't think they know, I don't think they've had to go through anything like this before. So I also think it's justifiable that they're kind of being soy here. If you have that available to you, I think that this is something that you are allowed to do if you are told, sent a death The police will just throw that in the trash? No, that's not true. Every time Keem gets swatted, they just knock on the door now. Like, they know. Um, every YouTuber I know has made a call or whatever and spoke to police departments and stuff like that, pointing out, like, like, they, like some of these police departments, like, know that streaming is such a risk. They have, like, a list or whatever of people who are probably, because they don't want to get calls, like, fake police calls where they have to send out a few squad cars because someone might be murdered in the house or whatever and a guy's got a gun pointed at a kid. Like, that doesn't help them either when people send in those calls all the time. So they're usually happy to find out, uh, that people are getting, like, those calls are being made or whatever. They don't want right, their time wasted either. Just like they, just like I don't want them to come to my house. Anything of that sort. Um, there are ways to find uh, their local police department to let that police department know about that person. Yeah, but um, again, if you call the police and say someone called me a whore, they're not going to do anything about it. Also, you can find their parents' information on the white pages and call them. That would be funny. But wrong. Disavow. Because it is a crime to tell people to kill themselves. Um, okay, all right, now we're getting a little too soy. And I just think you either are the kind of person who thinks it's acceptable sometimes, or you think it's never acceptable. I don't think it's acceptable sometimes or never acceptable. I think it's the reality of doing business in the social space, is that you're going to get trolled, people are going to say horrible fucking things to you. Some of them are going to be suicide related, some of them are going to be like, if you had an eating disorder, they're going to make comments about that. The reality of it is, and I've gone through this spiel on several different live streams is that being a content creator is exponentially easier than working a real job the people that you're crying to right now and talking to right now are people who work dead-end jobs potentially people who have to commute long times to work people who have to fucking deal with a shitty boss all things that you don't have to deal with because you make a bunch of money playing minecraft on the internet or talking about people who play minecraft on the internet that's not lost on me it shouldn't be lost on you either majority of people that you're complaining to about how hard your life is has lives that are infinite harder and they're paying you and funding you to live exponentially easier lives that they never can okay you have to realize that so when you have a bad day and someone tells you to kys on twitter that sucks it shouldn't happen i agree with you but the reality of it is is it it is, is it, it's exponentially better than what everyone else has to deal with who you're talking to um so yeah that's uh like I, again i i don't really know people have to find this out that like some, like, dude, if my, if the worst thing that happened to me on any given day is that someone called me a retard on Twitter or whatever, like, I've had a great day, you know? Like, I've had a great day. To have passive income, to be able to play Fortnite on stream and make more money than I make on my job. Yeah, like, this is great. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, and there's negatives that come with it, but there's not really, there's things you can do. There's things you as a content creator can do. You can go on Twitter and you could filter words like that, that, that won't show up, right? You cannot accept DMs from random people you don't know online. You can make it harder for people to contact you directly and filter them through one channel. You can, uh, like get a new phone number and then make sure you don't connect it to any online accounts. And then in the future, when a data breach comes out, they won't get your new phone number. Like there are things that you as a content creator at nearly 30 years old can do to mitigate your situation and make it easier to live on a day-to-day -day life. But when you sit here and you chat with your stream and you like do a feel bad for me, soy, 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 uh, there's no one who can really engage with that. And I will continue to block everybody sending any sorts of messages about telling people to take their own lives, uh, wishing worse on them, worse than what they have already experienced, me, <laughs> and sending horrible threats. Um, I haven't blocked a single person uh, speaking to me kindly. The biggest lie that they're going to try and tell us that I've blocked for criticism. Uh, you don't get to call it criticism when you end your message with whore or bitch. <laughs> I have only blocked things that were unkind or untrue 
um, or bad faith. And that is entirely up to my opinion personally. And I don't care even if I got it wrong. It, I just don't, don't think it's that deep to get blocked on Twitter anyway, if you're not even in the community, to be honest. I always thought it was kind of funny. Uh, and I saw so this is just a lot of infantilizing. I think that we're done on this story. I don't really think there's much else to get into, but there is a second story that we're going to cover tonight. And if I don't move on from Minecraft after four hours, I don't think I'm going to get to it because it's a long video. Oh, boy. And we got to be like on our best React game. I would love to be done with this in two hours, but oh, it'll probably go into three. If anything, we might just cut it off and then pick it up another day if I get tired because I got to make sure I'm on my A game otherwise it's going to strike my fucking channel you know what I should do we should only do half tonight and then half another night um that way we're not reacting to the total we'll react to it in two separate streams plus it's double the content for me you want to cut it off hard on the halfway point so we can react to the whole thing but just do it in two separate videos that's pretty funny um Oh, yeah, we get two streams. Yeah, maybe we'll do a follow-up coming up at some point next week. Uh, we'll start it. Chat, boys. I have a I have an announcement. People know that we're going to be watching Dark Viper AU tonight. But we can't watch him like this. My life experience. Because this isn't fair use, all right? Ready, chat? This is fair use. Experience the level of concentrated this stupidity is such that I concentrated fair use that we are actually going to be extending how fair the use actually is. We're not watching this video, okay? We're not watching this video. We're watching. Um, we're watching. We're watching this video. Chat. This is so fair. You're not even going to be ready to use this. Holy shit, gamers. Let's get going. Chat, are you familiar with Dark goes. Viper? A oh, no! Wait! Wait! It's a stealth ultimate tipster review. No way, chat. No one could have predicted that. Oh, sorry. Really, really sorry, stupid. we had to lower that. We're back, we're back, we're back. I therefore do not of concentrated stupidity that I experienced in the story that I'm about to tell you. Unfortunately, it is a bit- Oh no, it's doing the audio thing again? Oh fuck, let me listen. Ugh, I hate when this happens. We might not be able to use this setting, man. It wasn't doing this before. Hold on. Let me see. Oh god. Wait, let me see where we're at. Oh, that's so sad. Dude, JSTOC is streaming to eight people right now. Jesus. Uh... Hold on. I don't know why it's taking me so long to navigate. We gained 200 subs in today's stream. Just being a total dick. That's nuts. That's nuts. Huh. That's nuts. All right, yeah, it's doing that little bitey thing. I don't know why it does that. Hold on. Let me try. Um. Testing, testing one, two, three. Huh. 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 Oh, God. Testing! Huh. Oh, God. Testing! 
All right, that's better, but it's staticky. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Not the right. Let me go back here. Um, and let me find the audio. Hold on. Let me try this. Um. So I can testing. Testing, testing, one, two, fuck, testing, one, two, fuck, testing. We're back! We're back! We're back! We're back! There we go. Bit long, and as I mentioned previously, really, really stupid. I therefore do not want to take the time to memorize this script that I have here so that I can read it to the camera while looking at it. So to save time, I'm just going to directly read from my script. I'm sorry you're not going to have my beautiful eyes staring deep into your soul, but there you go. As you likely know, I'm not unfamiliar with people knowingly or unknowingly misrepresenting me on the internet, but this is the first time that YouTube's own screw up caused this to happen. On November 10th, okay. 2023. Chat. So if what Dark Tipster is saying here is that um, he DMCA'd Chud Logic's YouTube channel and it took him several months, okay, to catch up with it, okay? I submitted a takedown notice to YouTube, but as someone re-uploaded one of my videos. A fairly standard procedure, usually met with no resistance, and something I've done for years. This time though, YouTube wrongly rejected this notice, then proceeded to- Okay, so he's straight up lying. YouTube did not wrongly reject this notice, okay? I, I think I have it here. Um, Dark Viper tried to DMCA a video and sent them a schizophrenic, like, fucking post. It's actually insane. Um... Oh, wait, am I going to sound bad here now? Because I didn't fix this one. Here now? No, I didn't. Okay, so this video or whatever goes down, right? Um, and this was his... This was what he wrote. So YouTube goes, how much of your copyrighted work was used? And normally people would be like, yeah, so he used this, this, and whatever. Here's the link. That's it. Dark Viper wrote, all of it. Every single frame. Not the bare minimum necessary to differentiate work. This was a watch party of my work. How is the market for your original work affected by the use? There's no reason to watch the original. If you haven't viewed the re-upload, all information and graphics have, have been seen. Uh, does this significantly transform your work? This person rebroadcasted uh, and re-uploaded my work with no knowledge of what was in it. It does exactly as my video does, communicating my thoughts on the topic. The uploader did not do the bad minimum to make something new. They merely created a watch party and experiences and gave their thought as they went. So much so that it does not transform my work, that my work is predominantly all there on screen. My thumbnail is even copied in their thumbnail. They could have certainly seen my video and given their thoughts on it without re-uploading it in its entirety. Um, let me see. There was also, where's the one where he talks about, ah, oh, there was a longer one where he started comparing it to... Oh, I don't have that. Let me see if I can find it, chat. Um, Shred logic. We talked about this on stream when it happened. It was really funny. Um, and I don't know why he didn't include it here. Uh... Chud Logic, Dark Viper. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Is this it? No. Let me look up Irrational Chad. Uh, in before Dark Viper stands, they're talking about Destiny and Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um. Okay. Advanced search from Irrational Chad, Dark Viper, Media. Um, is this it? Nope, that's the recent one. Fuck, does anyone have it, chat? Does anyone have the original email? I guess I can pull up Chud's video. Oh, bro, I wish I had this fucking screenshot. 
Dark Viper tried to delete my channel, then threatened to sue me. One, two. How much of your copyright was used? That's the only screenshot that I'm seeing here. I don't know. I'll look for it while we're watching. To four months, ignored literally every email sent to them by me or my lawyer, instead firing back an automated response every single time. It wasn't until a month and a half later, on December 24th, 2023, that Sony YouTube seemingly noticed this irregularity and sent a further email stating, hello, please disregard the previous message. That being their most recent automated response. So again, Dark Viper, put in a uh, counter notification or what, not a counter, a DMCA that was so poorly worded. Okay. It got kicked back by YouTube because they thought it wasn't actually like written well enough to like qualify for DMCA. So they're not making like a judgment on whether it was fair use or not. YouTube can't do that. That would void their safe Harbor status and they wouldn't risk that for Chud logic. What they are doing is saying, Hey, you didn't fill out the form, right? So we're not going to take down the video. Please send it in correctly. So then Chud logic, not Chud logic, uh, dark Viper proceeded to hire a lawyer who kept trying to contact YouTube over and over and over and over again, uh, writing dribble and retarded shit in their messages or whatever. And that kept kicking back and they wouldn't answer and they kept pushing him away and finally someone at youtube just went ahead and took the video down after like what is this four to six months we received your complaint and determined it requires further examination we'll get back to you once we've completed our review it took youtube a further three months to finally respond on march 20th 2024 it was at this point they finally actually read the case and took down the video i submitted at tape.net as to something they should have done on day one what a colossal shit fest if this dispute had remained private, that would have been one thing. But YouTube's error and lack of a view of this case led to some of the most dishonest and downright disgusting people to lie about you repeatedly to the masses. No one was lying about you. I think that you're a major pussy who hides behind DMCAs because you don't want people making fun of you online. And that's my fucking firm stance that I've had since the beginning of this drama. I think that you're pretending you have some stupid gay court case here because that you didn't want somebody who fucking said that you have gay turbo aids or something like that on YouTube. Um, and that's literally what it is. I think that you're just a sad little bitch. These people were ignorant of most details, so they just made shit up. No, nope, I'm not ignorant on most details. Did not make shit up. I think that you're a pussy. What they did know and didn't like, they just selectively ignored. So that's a basic overview of the story, but let's get into the nitty gritty details. On November 10th, someone posted in my Ask Me Aiding Discord, are you going to respond to this guy? And he linked the video, Dark Rapper is ceiling about Jack's tomb stealing his thunder. Obviously this title being clickbait and not representative of my actual emotional state or perspective. To this I said, why- You look like you were seething and we can go watch the video, but you look like a total pussy in that video. You look like you were mad because Jack's films got a bunch of fucking clout and he got a bunch of support on the react controversy that you were far too autistic to handle correctly. You're the, like your whole like 14 pages, whatever meme that ke keeps getting posted is the reason why like react controversies aren't taken seriously. Cause you went so over the top and you made everybody not want to like interact with you. So now like every time I complain about Hassan's reaction, stuff like that, like his audience just writes back, Oh, you're just giving schizo dark Viper talking points. That's literally what happens. Why would I respond to a re-upload of my video? What this user had linked was a recently- Like you're like terminally friendly fire. Like I can't argue that comment anymore because I keep getting associated with you and it's done so much damage to the argument you're trying to make. You'd probably be able to help uh, people who get freebooted and stuff like that more if you didn't speak at all. Upload a reaction to my video. Am I jealous of Jack's film's success with credit the creators? This reaction being done by the reactor, Chad Logic. I came to learn that Chad hosts watch parties, you know, group discussion sessions of other people's creative works quite frequently. He plays the original video in full without alteration, traditionally ignorant of the contents of the video beforehand. Um, I wanted to watch this because... Uh, oh, wrong thing. Here we go. Apparently this video is very funny, so I guess we'll I guess we'll see. Let's watch this video. Why did they why did he blur him? Oh, I'm sorry. The AI person blurred it so you can't see him in the video. That's hilarious. So it's am I jealous of Jack's film's success with credit the creators? As they have explained to death, this overtly violates Faye's law. Which surprised that Meech Hud was willing to admit multiple times in his reaction. Obviously, you know, I am biased because I do um react to things. 
I, you know, feel feel I do a fair use job, even though not legally, but ethically. In Chud Logic's video, he watched the video for over what was it like three times the length? Okay, like three quarters of the video was Chud Logic talking and reacting to Dark Viper. And Dark Viper's clip wasn't like an entire piece; it was a clip from a stream that he posted. So it was a very short clip from a live stream that Chud reacted to. His whole argument would have died if fucking somebody went to Dark Viper's stream and just pulled up the raw instead of the actual clip that he posted because it was a hardly edited piece of footage. Basically, I kind of react to stuff pretty heavily. Because legally, I think that all of them fall under the same issue with, you know, full reacting to the content that is, exists. Like, if you watch a 30 second TikTok, right? I don't think that's a big deal. And I think ethically or morally, it's not that big, big crazy a thing. But from an IP perspective, you have breached that person's IP and they could legitimately file a DMCA request against you if they wanted to. Same with Asmongold Reacts. Yes, he talks a lot, but it includes the entire video. Of course, I don't really care that it's illegal. I care more than it is grossly mole for reasons I have also explained to death. I have no problem with commentary content. People making their own viewers that require some- Yeah, you can't because you make it. You're literally like a, you're like, <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, every single time you cover one of these, you're the drama channel. Use of other people's work for context. In fact, there are even some limited cases where I am okay with reaction content. For example, if you want to react to your own work or other people's work that you- <laughs> The the only time that you can do React content is if you react to your own work. All right, well, what is this video you're making? You are personally involved in. I'm fine with people watching advertisements and often even live events. Wait, you can watch my ad? That's crazy. Assuming you're an official rebroadcaster. An official rebroadcaster. It is the people sitting around watching other people's videos in order to re-upload them to YouTube and avoid any work themselves that I dislike. Consequently, if I would have taken that notice of the re-upload of my work. Dude, I'm so confused. How could anyone who plays video games for a living make content like this like i understand that you have a problem with hassan freebooting right like you don't want to like and i and i don't like that either i'm like super against hassan freebooting shit walking away playing it as, as his own content or whatever not reacting eating a sandwich like yeah obviously we all agree on that but like your whole thing is like oh you can't react to people's content criticize them and post it to youtube in like significantly larger sections like i've had videos where i've reacted to the whole thing where my fucking video becomes four hours long Okay, like I did that with several times, like Mama Max and stuff like that. Yeah, a hundred fucking percent, right? It's it's obviously my content. I'm talking far longer than the video I'm reacting to. We just reacted to Katie's live stream. It took us four hours to get through her fucking live stream. Okay, and it was like the full one hour. We watched all of it, right? But like, you guys play video games for a living, <laughs> dude. Why do I have to watch uh Detroit or whatever become human when I've watched you play the entire game? I've watched full playthroughs though. Why should I? You're a market substitute for that video game. Nobody cares because it's a video game company. Really? If you don't think that Re React content can exist at all, how are you playing so much like Grand Theft Auto? I, I don't know, man. And the live stream it was in. I have done this in the past without issue, but this was the first time I had to do it since I made my videos explaining in great detail the market harm of reaction. This guy speed runs Grand Theft Auto and runs through the whole story and he gets mad when people are criticizing him on YouTube? I don't understand. And just to be clear, my position is that both of these things should be allowed. His position is that he thinks people reacting to things other, like that they don't have direct permission to rebroadcast or reacting to content that's not their own should just be like wiped off the site. This guy's a danger to content creation in general. His position isn't that Hassan Piker is bad at reacting. His position is that you should literally never be able to react to content ever. Like it's insane content i submitted both notices around the same time the live stream still being public at that point i only note this because some believed i did them and he waited until chud logic's video was down to make this video defending himself so people can't go back and watch the original separately and that a live stream was unlisted some people seem unaware that it does take time for youtube to process these claims giving time for a live stream to become unlisted it is also possible that it was unlisted but i found it via a playlist i honestly don't remember this event wasn't particularly noteworthy at the time some people, particularly stupid people, asserted that I attended to take down Chud's re-upload because of the things he said alongside it. I yes, it was 100% the reason. If this person said good shit about you, I guarantee it wouldn't be down. I don't believe you if you say otherwise. Apparently, didn't like that Chud criticized me. 
Not only did I not know this person at the time, but I gave about as much thought to this strike as a person gives to flicking a fly off their sh- You spent months fighting it. You hired a lawyer, you fucking asshole. That's so fucking funny. Hold up. It appeared as if this person's main claim to fame was being a sentient potato. Right. If my thumbnail being included in the re-upload doesn't suggest the quality of this video, I suspect the question, raped by Jack, and the person being- <laughs> <laughs> doesn't suggest the quality of this video i suspect the question rape dude that's a good quality video dude dk outdid himself by jack and the person being named chud logic gives you as much understanding as you need i think my lawyer said it best when she unprompted stated that chud seemed to express absolutely zero understanding of a single thing i talked about in my video <laughs> dude, why is the lawyer's take on that good like what what are you talking about your, oh, my lawyer agrees with my retarded arguments, therefore, like, what does that prove? This obviously makes it very hard to care about what he said, let alone what someone that stupid has to say about anything. People think he's an obsessed schizo. I mean, I'd never speak to this freak. There's no fucking way. He's a despicable, pretentious c I want nothing to do with it. True! Loser. He's a fucking loser. He's pathetic. He's a pathetic little fucking wretch, as far as I'm concerned. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't even understand what he means by that. What difference does that make? How is that a different thing? I don't understand the difference. Why does that make a difference? But yeah, no, he's a fucking despicable little c I really dislike this guy. I think he's a piece of shit. Yeah, I don't know. I just think he's a little rat. He's so he'll play clips of Chud not really saying much and then cut out anything else around it. And then he'll do this after the video has been taken down. So people can't go back and look at what he actually said. He's just got this like autistic obsession. It's obviously long because this guy's an autistic freak. This guy is a little autistic freak. True. So people are getting mad at Chud for saying this, but in reality, I don't know a better way to describe Dark Viper. Who types out essays in DMs. He's extremely pretentious. What, what an autistic little unlikable freak he is. My only interest was whether or not he re-uploaded my video in full Obviously, I had better things to do with my time. If while watching my video, he had discovered the cure for cancer and whistled the solution out his ass, I still would have struck him. Because, as I've made abundantly clear, I find reaction content grossly immoral and harmful to the ecosystem. This is something I have not kept secret. This guy is grossly immoral and harmful to the ecosystem. He literally, like, the thing is, right? This guy doesn't just say what fucking Chud Logic does or I do is bad. He says what Mudahar does is bad. He says what Charlie does is bad. Like this guy, like there's so many content creators who make exact content that he like that he thinks is immoral and whatever. That like he hits every single major YouTuber in that space. In fact, I've shouted from the rooftops for half a decade, making any other conclusion as my possible motivations bewilderingly stupid. When Honestly, I I'm gonna argue this straight away. I think Hassan Piker is better for the content, like um, I think he's better for the ecosystem. Bad takes and all, content stealing and all. I would prefer if one of them had to go. I would rather Dark Viper go over Hassan, and I am one of the most vocal Hassan critics. I think Dark Viper is literally that poisonous for discourse. I struck the VR. My expectation was that it would go through as normal, Chud might be dumb enough to dispute it, which would mean we'd go to court, and we could get our first case that was specifically judge watch parties in regards to fair use. This guy is so fucking crazy, he wants to tank fair use for the entire platform. He is willing to... I guess, fund a cross-continental lawsuit because these people aren't both in Australia. This is a massive deal to ruin fair use for everybody. Good. Great. The guidelines and- And it's gotta be- in Chud Logic is the example that's being set here for no reason other than this is the one that fucking filed the counter notification. I don't know how many people this guy struck, but I, I would love to hear from other people and the types of content they made. Every case laid to fair use I'm aware of suggests you could not use a fair use defense for hosting a watch party of a copywriter work, but most people seem unaware of this. Again, would you qua- he would argue that what we're doing right now while we go through his arguments is a watch party. This is a watch party for fucking, uh, what's his name I guess, cause, cause off of his retarded definition. So maybe this was a chance for people to be informed. To my surprise, my claim didn't go through and you two requested more information. So I answered their questions in full, to which they immediately rejected my claim. This was confusing, because YouTube is no legal body. It has no authority to care what is or is- Hold on, I need to find this. I need to find this. Um, I think I've tweeted it. Wait, try from me. Hold on. Uh...
Where is this? Top. There was this one question he asked where he asked about like who I talk about. Uh, he asked who I talk to about this. Who do I bounce ideas off? Oh, there's that video of Dark Viper having no friends. That's what I was clicking. Uh, it's gonna turn on the Okay, uh. Is that? Oh, did you ever hear that? So this guy said that there's a part of himself that wasn't like, dude, this guy reacted to Charlie shitting on him like Katie when she was talking about the sexual abuse. There's a part of me that was stolen that I can never get back. Yeah, that's what he said when he got owned. Um, not that one. I don't know where this is. On Chad Logic's reaction to you, just wanted to clarify if that was you. Yeah, he compared React content to rape, and if you mention it, he gets upset. Um, the quote was, "If you meet a reactor at a party, I suggest covering your glass or outright telling them that they don't uh, that you don't want to fuck them because they're keen to take a person's silence for consent." That was an actual quote from Dark Viper that he absolutely seethes if you bring up and make fun of him. Um, I don't remember. Hmm. He also completely lied about me. Nothing more pathetic than drama hordes like Nicholas Diorio who block people so they can lie about them for engagement. And Dude, it's so crazy. Everyone seems to be lying about Dark Viper. Every time he gets into, oh, this guy's lying about me. Oh, this guy's lying about me. Guess a lot of people are lying about him. Uh, I'd rather these people didn't orbit me or try to get the grums from my mouth, but their whining and their gated communities is so sad. Um, what else? So he says it's like a lie to like a lie for engagement to respond and defend Chud Logic when he tried to take his channel down. Cool. Uh, called Nick a whore and didn't report him to the cyber bully police. Yeah, the doc is from his first big react video. Bro. Is not a violation of law, or what violations of copyright can be defended by an affirmative defense of fair use? It makes sense that public pressure would embolden YouTube to reject obviously frivolous claims, but in this case, literally. Oh, in that. No, I'm sorry. That situation where he lied about me was when I was talking about his editor who was calling him out. And I was. Like the point he was making that I apparently lied about, I was defending him on. But cool. My entire work is re. He just read the first tweet and assumed uploaded on another person's channel and they have always taken down such instances before in the re-upload itself the person states that they do not believe they have the right to host a watch party of my work they openly admitted their guilt here Dis this was the the breakdown chat um let's see he because he, he filed two dmcas on chat only one apparently has gone down i don't know if the other vod has since been deleted but he should have deleted it because this guy's crazy um this was oh let's see are we seeing it yeah, this is the second one. Um, Chud Logic's review of a 10 minute video was 35 minutes long. Uh, and the 10 minute video is just a clip from a longer stream anyway, with barely any editing, editing done. Um, but I thought there was more to this. Because it got knocked back by YouTube directly. This was two strikes that Chud could have gotten. At best, this was in income for weeks. At worst, he could have been banned. Holy balls, what the fuck. Um, um, oh, React Harder does not make what Chud Logic does automatically fair use, nor does the fact that the video is two weeks old either. Um, I don't know, bro. Ask YouTube. React Genius Dark Viper was too fucking stupid to fill out a form. Uh, we believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar exception to copyright protection. We are willing to let you know that we do not plan to remove your video at this time. Literally the only time that a video like this, one, like a, a message like this one gets sent, and I've seen it multiple times, is if a person can't fill the form out correctly. YouTube does not make a ruling on fair use in any circumstance ever. If you don't fill it out and you don't describe accurate reasons to why a video is going down, like if you file a DMCA and I write, this person is harassing me, it's gonna send this email, it's gonna kick it back. Dark Viper pretends that he's like some copyright expert and it took him six months to get one video taken down.
Despite this, I had no luck poking YouTube with a stick to try to get information out of them, and lacking any evidence, I was not just getting automated responses. And by the way, I, I don't asked know my how... accountant who works with a lot of high profile. Dude, I there's no way. There's no fucking way. Uh, let me pull this up. Need a judge. Hey guys, uh, would would you happen to know of any good lawyers who understand the space I exist in and the nature of copyright law? Need to hire representation, and I feel like Googling is unlikely to give me good results. Any advice would be appreciated. He wants you to believe that this was just a video taken down for no apparent reason. It had nothing to do with Chud Logic said. It was an afterthought. He took it down. He would have taken it down under any circumstance because he doesn't support quote unquote watch parties or critical videos in this sense. Uh, cause it absolutely was a criticism, a critical video of his work, right? Um, he wants us to believe that he didn't at any point plan on taking this thing further. Uh, and it was just like a, a, a silent f a thought that happened and he moved on and went on to the next thing. Then we're expected to believe that he then pursued a lawyer to take this guy down. He planned on fucking, uh, he, he sent like several emails back and forth between the lawyer and YouTube, eventually finally getting this thing done like six months later. I, I don't believe it's an afterthought and then he dedicated that much time to it. About creators, if they knew any lawyers who do the same. I was referred to someone and I got into contact with these people. It is important to understand that these conversations were happening in normal people time. Not internet time. It took two weeks just to get a lawyer and explain to them the situation. And in that time, sorry, an insanely drained shitstorm was happening. <laughs> Where are the normal people, dude? Happening on YouTube and Twitter. I'll be honest, I didn't pay much attention to it as I was busy. But one of my moderators did. Yes, you did. You're, and that's the first lie of this whole thing, is it? Oh, I wasn't watching all the people shit on me because I'm a total pussy loser. Uh, I'm a, one of my moderators researched this one. And they watched all the people who called me gay turbo aids. <laughs> gather information for me to give to the lawyers. Chun Logic alone made 21 tweets and- f Dude, that's great, based. This guy's got a whole Google document of Chud's greatest hits. True. Four videos about me. He even got himself temporarily suspended for saying suicide is too good for me and those who watch me. E <laughs> even now, he is still crying like a child for getting caught re-uploading a video. For some reason, he is just incapable of making- He didn't re-upload a video. You're just straight up lying. His own shit. Weird. In fact, while making this video, my lawyer called me to state that they watched Chud's recent live stream that covered his view getting taken down. They did this largely as formality to assess potential impact to their firm. To loosely quote their assessment, what an absolute moron. It is shocking that someone can openly on one hand admit that he knows nothing about the law and legal procedures, yet also confidently assert as true things that even a child should know are wrong. They further reiterate that I could sue him for- Dude, I'm sorry, does this not sound like the big soyest, like the biggest soyest bitch in the room? Holy fuck, dude. I have no assessments other than this guy is a total fucking loser. And that's that's my argument here. Sue me. Obvious defamation, which- Well, actually, theoretically, you can't prove that I'm a loser because I'm winning this drama right now. <laughs> like, I will sue you, Nicholas. I will sue you for defamation. Like, you're gay. <laughs> I am not gay. I'm actually very straight. I've had sex with multiple women recently. Like, that's this is the kind of autism we're dealing with. I am not autistic. In fact, my mother had me tested. Like, <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with here. Again, I expressed I have no intention of doing. Chad does not even have enough money to cover my potential legal fees. I do admit that it was somewhat inhumane for me to subject a normal person to the creature that is Chad Logic. No one should have to listen to themselves be called a stupid bitch a dozen times. However, it was interesting listening to a normal person be somewhat frustrated, having listened to a moron misunderstand and lie for clowns. Welcome to my world. She further expressed her annoyance at YouTube's bot run system, as she knew that if she could have just talked to a person for five minutes, this would have been resolved four months ago. Apparently there were 25 tweets and 20 videos made by others that were noteworthy as well, but obviously this is just a small snapshot of the conversation a little cesspool of the internet was having. Now at this point I had not said anything publicly, and people seemed confused why, but if any of these people had even two brain cells to rub together they wouldn't have been so confused. Chud leaked the statement I gave to YouTube's bot when it rejected my claim. I said outright that I was fully willing to go to court for this issue, and when you may go to court, it is in your best interest to shut the fuck up. As my lawyer pointed out, much of the shit other people No one would think you'd actually go to court for this because you're retarded. Like, this is insane. Why would you ever go to court for something like this? You literally said it was an afterthought just a few minutes ago and that this didn't mean anything to you. So now you're planning... Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to believe that this was an afterthought and he never planned on pursuing this further. But we're actually so stupid because we weren't prepared for the oncoming lawsuit. Like, all right, dude. Cool. Yeah, because the vast 99% of people aren't as dumb as this guy and as rich as this guy and clearly shouldn't have this money. Like, he's absolutely brain dead.
said rose to the level of defamation, and I would be in my legal right to sue defamation. many of these people, especially. What are the damages that this guy is going to show? How bad did Chud Logic? Can you point on the doll where Chud Logic took your subscribers? Like, I do you understand? I can't stress this enough. The video that Chud made maybe got seen by like twelve thousand people. Maybe. The amount of discussion that has happened because this guy tried to take down Chud's video and failed for months was larger than the actual video he tried to take down. Nobody would have seen this. Nothing would have happened. Nothing would have happened to Dark Viper. The drama would have moved on. He would have had to get called soy by maybe three people in chat the next time he streams. And now everyone knows he's a turbo pussy. The Chud. Fortunately for them, I'm both not litigious, and honestly, it is unlikely any of them have enough money that even if I took it all, that I would even notice having it. It was only after realizing this process of getting YouTube to actually read the claim was going to be slow, that I decided to wrap my own tweets to bunking some of the more obvious falsehoods, much of which I've already covered in this video. So we're now two weeks in, and I now have my lawyer. They agree I had a case, and so submitted a formal DMCA take that request to YouTube. They cited- Dude, this is the best part. This is the best part. Are they gonna show it? Actually, can I pull this up really quick? I wanna show it. This is so funny. Um, hold on. Let me grab this. By the way, he's definitely gonna strike this off, off uh, Chris's channel, guaranteed. Just because it's AI, it doesn't automatically make it fair use. Um, I wonder if he reaches out to Tipster to try to get it taken down that way. Could you imagine Dark Viper and Tipster do a team-up episode? We're going to stop watching this at the 20-minute mark, and then we're going to watch this version of this again, and then we're going to finish the video on the next one. Um, but we're going to cut it off at the 20-minute mark. Because we're taking an abundance of caution to not get giga raped here. Um, Because I don't need to deal with this fucking stupid Australian fuck. Um, Where is this tweet? I had it up, didn't I? Yeah, no, it's the other one. It's this one. Yeah, look at this. So in the full- this is a full email chain. Um... So, like, the lawyer was so stupid when they were writing this fucking email. They wrote, um, We also stipulate that this correspondence not be shared in part or in full with Chud Logic and must be kept confidential. We believe it is highly likely that Chud will use copies of any of this correspondence to create further content for his channel that might be A, defamatory in nature, or B, lead to further infringement of our client's work. Uh, either outcome would be detrimental to our client. So, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Is it, like your whole argument is that like the number one thing that you learn that you do when you're suing someone is you shut up and then you start building a case, right? Yeah, hundred um, percent. But then why would you like tell YouTube to not share this with Chud Logic? Isn't Chud's content that he makes about this good for you? Doesn't your like? Your situation gets better if Chud keeps, quote-unquote, defaming himself, right? Doesn't that make your lawsuit easier? Why wouldn't you want him to know On the, in that regard? It doesn't really... I mean, it's not like, oh, we don't want to say anything because Chud will keep defaming us. The drama's like six months old, isn't it? Like, how, how long has it been? He's not still talking about this. Um... Should YouTube breach the confidential, uh, confidential nature of this correspondence, our client reserves all the right uh, he may have. Our client reserves all rights he may have uh, at law or in equity uh, to take appropriate legal action against. Oh God, Jesus Christ! So he's gonna sue YouTube now because YouTube shared this correspondence. Great lawyer, bro. Holy shit, dude. Dark Viper is a mentally ill schizophrenic, and I can tell based off of his content. ...relevant legal statutes and cases, and expressed a willingness to argue the case in court, which is necessary for finding a takedown anyway. Yeah, so it's like my lawyer had to write a message because I'm scared because Chud Logic is going to meme me on Twitter because I'm a huge pussy. That's what it says in, his, in legal terms. I could translate it. I'm a huge bitch boy. 
<laughs> and I'm like totally afraid. Like, I mean, how else are you supposed to read this, man? I mean, is this like I need to I need to vehemently defend my content's right to to not be hosted on on mean people's platforms? Surprisingly, they got the exact same automated response I did. This obviously confused them. So they sent another message to YouTube and again got the same automated response I did. My lawyer, while on the phone with me, expressed their annoyance saying, I, I don't think they're actually reading the emails. Hey buddy, welcome to my world. There was of course little else to be done but just so to he try hired again. The my lawyer sent a message. So, so, he, so he files a DMCA, writes it like a retard, and then YouTube goes, I don't know what this is, but we asked for very specific stuff and you're going on a rant that's totally unrelated. Okay. So then YouTube uh, gets an email from his lawyer and the, that email apparently wasn't good enough either. So then Dark Viper gets shit on a second time, only this time it cost him a large amount of money to get shit on, which is hilarious. And then this just keeps going on for months and months and months and months and months. And I'm sure, like, do you think the lawyer was fleecing him? Like, I don't understand at all. Do you think the lawyer... How does the lawyer not send a functioning DMCA? Apparently that's like... Unless they have no idea what's going on in the space and they don't understand anything about YouTube. How? Like, how? How do you... How does the lawyer fuck that up? Like, Jesus Christ, man. Get a better lawyer. Um, yeah, this person's got their hands in Viper's pockets. Listen, Dark Viper, call me. I could get you a better lawyer. I'll talk to my boy Mudahar. He'll set you up with somebody good. Uh, who's not going to fleece you. We'll, we'll pay. We'll pay for uh, your attack on Chud Logic, you know? We've got to take down the Chuds, you know? That was the lead. We could team up against the Brits. The equivalent of motherfuckers read the goddamn emails, and they still, again... Yeah, it's not reading. Your email sucked. Like, that's the problem, is that you're an idiot. Yeah. You act like you're the fucking... You literally act like you're the, um... Like the god of fucking copyright law and fair use. That's how you carry yourself in content. That you're like the fucking Lorax for copyright. I speak for the DMCA's. That's fucking you, bro. And you're too stupid to file a DMCA. Like, I, it's just insane. Got another automated response. This time, though, they quickly received another email from an actual person where they retracted their previous automated response and said they would look into us. This being the December 24th email that I read to you in the beginning. So we waited and waited. I am being a bit dramatic here. I just continued to work as normal and largely forgot about it. It wasn't like waiting for YouTube was costing me anything at this point. And waited some more for a Wasn't the email about him bragging about- Dude, there is a message and I can't find it. It's driving me crazy where he's bragging about his knowledge of copyright. And fuck me, dude. I don't know where it is. Um, I don't know. I can't find it. There's something about him bragging about his knowledge of copyright. And it would tie this whole section together. Um, but I don't know. But you remember it. I remember seeing it in a Chud video. Bro, I, I'm like blowing my mind here. I don't know. Like, oh, fuck. I need to look for this because it's so important. that's it wait that was it he cut this part off this is his fucking response to youtube this is what he said to youtube i got it look at this this is what dumb fuck said to youtube and the reason why he wasn't taken seriously youtube is very simple they ask very specific questions here, uh, this is the full message. Let me pull this up. This is, this is it. Got it. So he writes YouTube and he goes, Hello. I have made a particular study of fair use law. For example, I have read uh, Matt Haas versus Ethan Klein, E.T. Al, number one uh, fucking 20116CV03081. And where is the fair use by the lawyer Jessica Vogal that covers all relevant proceeding, uh, precedent on fair use in America? I am perfectly willing to hire a lawyer and argue this in a court of law. If you reject this dispute, I will merely circumvent you and serve him myself. If you have not read it either, feel free to read this. And he sent them copyright law. This guy, and, and then he gets mad at us 
when we call him retarded. This guy's insane. Like, he's a crazy person. Okay? I, I mean, <laughs> this is... Dude, you just fill out the form. It's easy. Anyone can do it. <laughs> Here's this book that I read. I am very smart. Like, dude, like, what is this? Once to a case that was clear cut from day one until eventually we are tired of waiting. And I just so happened to have gotten a new YouTube partner manager. So I asked them to remind the copyright team that they still had not responded to the case. This led to them finally coming back four months after I filed the claim where they said they would take down the videos. What a colossal shit fest. So and dude, what does this dude, 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 and if you look it up, dude, look it up, look it up on Chud's YouTube channel. The only reason that we know about any of this, otherwise we wouldn't have seen it. And the only reason it was sent to us is because Ch he was complaining in the message about another video Chud made, and the bot thought he was trying to file another DMCA, so it kicked another, uh, it kicked another fucking "we're not gonna take this down" email to Chud and CC'd him in the entire chain of emails. It is actually so hilarious that his that his lawyer was so stupid that like we have all this now. We have their whole interaction, so he's like, I, I, "If I'm going to be doing any, any legal proceedings here." The smartest thing I could do is not talk and handle this all legally. And then this dumb fuck fucks up again, and now we have every single thing his lawyer said about it going all the way back to last November. Well, I guess being quiet really helped you out. Good thing you didn't defend yourself, jackass, because now we know everything you were saying. Or me. Firstly, DMCA as a mechanism for combating reaction content is not without its hurdles. Getting YouTube to read an email from a prestigious law firm on a fairly basic issue cost about three thousand dollars. This, of course, <laughs> dude, he's already three grand deep on this fucking thing. This is great, bro. Holy shit! I hope more people do this. I hope more people try to blow up fair use for everybody on YouTube and become a legitimate danger to the platform and cost themselves a shitload of money. He spent three thousand dollars to take down a video that might have made three hundred. Not even. It may, no, no, I'm sorry. It probably made $80 on Chud's YouTube channel. That's, I think that's the rate, right? 10,000 views might make like $80. Well, it would be pricey for the average YouTuber. Fortunately, it meant little to me. The second takeaway- Because he has fuck you money and he's totally got the funds to fuck fair use up for everybody. In this situation, is that even if you have every right to find a takedown notice against some content, there is still the potential for backlash. The general public and hell, many YouTubers are gross- Everything that Ethan Klein, the one good thing he's done for the internet, as people say, would be undone if this guy goes to court with this issue. I mean, again, I'm looking through a lot of it. He's arguing that, you, that uh, Australia Fair Dealings Law or whatever should take precedent when YouTube takes fair use into account on all of their stuff the u.s law reigns supreme over here actually no fair dealings is uk i forgot what it's called in uh australia that's just not how youtube handles these issues at all mostly uninformed and misinformed about these systems and as i have painstakingly argued in my videos the harm that reaction content represents to us all with all that being said since I made the claim against Chad Logic, I have struck two almost identical reaction videos, with one being accepted immediately. Uh, is Dark Viper a Nepo baby? How is he so loaded? Oh, he plays Grand Theft Auto on stream and runs through the story mode really fast. That's what he does. He's a speedrunner in Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, the guy who's talking about like freebooting content and stuff like that plays video games for a living. And the other not. The one that was not accepted though, just for quite a basic follow up email to YouTube, and then it too was taken down. To be clear, these were taken. Is he a speedrunner? Oh no, a sped. I mean, that's another reason that people call him autistic. I'm pretty sure like everyone in the speedrunning space is. Down before the resolution with Chad Logic, so they were unrelated. But it's obvious these systems need more qualified human oversight. So that covers all the main events, but there is a bit more. I found someone kind enough to sift through all the garbage to find the more noteworthy videos that attempted to cover these events. The first was made by Tom Dark, aka Turkey Tom, who is a drama commentary YouTuber. The handful of his videos I've seen over the years makes me suspect that we would disagree about pretty much everything on most topics. However, his video was largely neutral, even if disagreeable in large part because Tom put forth no effort into learning about my viewpoint on reaction content. Dude, every fucking time, this guy's such a soy pussy. If you didn't 
can read his 14 page document. There's no, like, I'm not reading it. I don't care about what your position is on it. I know that it's bad. <laughs> and everything you've said in this stream means it's literally like the antithesis to what we should be supporting on YouTube. I'm watching it here. Okay, this is where I'm getting your opinion on React content. I'm not reading your 50 fucking, what is this? Your 15 page who mega lol document about fucking like the React manifesto, okay? Dude, there are school shooters who wrote more interesting things to write about, to read about, okay? You get the sense that Tom treats most of this stuff like a game, and he doesn't really give much of a shit about most things either way. Today, we're going to be talking about Dark Viper AU. He's been talking about the exploitation that some reactors like XQC and Asan Piker enact on YouTubers when they watch their content on their streams and don't really add anything. I dislike when my viewers- He also comes from like the gamer space of all drama is bad, except for when I cover the drama and then it is good. It's characterized by disagreement over people adding to the content, as this is what others can bin about, but not me. It would be irrelevant to me if the video XQC was watching was about what it was like to live with severe brain damage, something he could provide sincere insight into. It would be equally as irrelevant to me if Hassan Pike was watching a video about how to exploit people for fame and fortune while being a lying hypocrite, something that- Dude, you can hear he's so mad that he didn't win that, the easiest slam dunk of all time. Okay, XQC is one of the easiest React YouTubers to shit on, Hassan Piker is the easiest React YouTuber to shit on, and yet people don't look at Dark Viper as a winner there. Just like in the whole, by the way, the reason this is all happening is because he went on a lengthy rant and we can pull it up. I don't care. He's not going to strike me down for that. Uh, and we can listen to his lengthy rant he went on about how he felt like the internet wronged him after the Jax film situation. And if you feel like I'm taking you out of context, well, you strike people who provide the context. So they'll just go with whatever I say. Okay. Because no one can show any clips of you because if they play the clip from your stream, you're going to take down their fucking shit. So I, I guess we can't just, we can't provide any context for this clip. Um, but yeah, he sat there crying or whatever because people don't take his react thing seriously, but they all get on their hands and knees and pray for, uh, for, for Jack's films when he was taking on a react YouTuber known as Sniper Wolf, uh, which was really, really funny. Appears to be the only thing he actually has expertise in. It wouldn't matter to me because addition is irrelevance to my issues with reaction content. To give a very, very brief summary. My issues are with the market impact of reaction content. We have two groups of people, reactors and creators, but only one of these puts forth effort and incurs risk and cost. Both, however, end up with the same product for the market, even if one might spend a month and another median hour to achieve that. This is quite obviously not a fair or balanced system. In regards to viewers- You're just mad that people make money online. Yeah, dude. I think that the content that I make on my second channel is lower effort than the content I make on my main channel. I think I should be paid for both of them. A hundred fucking percent. Yeah, absolutely. It's my content. This, me reacting to you, discussing this, is my content. This is no longer your content. And I don't have to go through all the hoops and bounds that I have to meme the fuck out of it. I'm not getting up and taking a shit while I play your fucking video. Uh, you're taking a shit while I'm watching your video, but that's not... That's neither here nor there. Distribution, I view reactors as an inefficient secondary middleman. You can picture this as two competing models. One where viewers engage with algorithms and are directed to creators, and another where viewers engage with algorithms, are directed to reactors, and then go to creators. My yeah, claim- none of us is the situation where, like what he's talking about and he's arguing Chud logic is, because there's no video you can watch, is when you look up, um, what's like a Lamino video? Or, uh, hold on. Let me see. Lamino Kennedy assassination. Here. Okay, this is what he's talking about. And to compare that to Chud Logic is beyond fucking disingenuous. It is like staggering amounts of disingenuous. When you look up Lamino, the Kennedy assassination inside the book repository, you get vlogging through history, vlogging through history, vlogging through history, vlogging through history, Hassan reactions, uh, Mr. Terry history, XQC. Um, and most of the time, which it's not in this case, right? Uh, most of the time, the main video isn't even the highest one or the most viewed. In this case, 9.6 mil um, seemingly is, but let me know is a big YouTuber. Okay, so not every person who has this happen to them is getting all their views back. But here's the deal. The reason why this is so widely different is let me know 
is covering the Kennedy assassination. One of the best videos I've ever Not seen. Not to mention it, first he has Jacqueline. Like a, oh crap, that's loud. Queen where he has and the super detailed like uh, 3D models and stuff like that. He, he scores his own video. His script is impeccable. This guy is a real fucking champion. He's talking about some really cool shit. Okay. XQC is a Swedish retard who has absolutely nothing to... Who the fuck cares what XQC thinks about the Kennedy assassination? He has nothing to provide this fucking video. Nothing remotely. And if you look at run times, what is he, 20 minutes ahead? 138 is the length of the video. XQC's video is 153. And it's mostly just XQC sitting there. Oh, hold on, bro. Hold on. People on the fifth floor, right? Could they not maybe hear audio from the person rushing down from the sixth floor? Even though they're Do you guys realize there's a huge difference between me covering YouTube drama and reacting to a relevant video on the drama, like the Katie Bugs video, and watching XQC? Like, look at this picture. This picture explains my entire argument right here. Do you not realize there's a huge fucking difference between a random Swedish YouTuber watching a video about the Kennedy assassination when it is literally only trendy to watch it because it's a new Let Me Know video and me reacting to the Katie Bug situation after I've covered the vast majority of the drama surrounding uh, the Dream Katie situation, right? Like, that's obviously completely fucking different in the case of why those videos would be shown on my stream. This is him getting through his content because he needs to make a certain amount of money per day and he's sitting there doing the, um, he, he's doing the react game because he has literally nothing to provide at all whatsoever and he's reacting to videos that he's not even probably interested in. This is me doing my drama channel covering drama, which is who I am as a content creator, watching the newest drama and discussing it and criticizing the appropriate parties. is that that second model is inefficient by design and can only result in a net loss of value for creators as an aggregate. Reactors give value to creators in a similar way that slot machines give wealth to their users. Oh, they he's take French from Canadian? Far more than they ever <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even know that. That's such a oh, diss to Swedes. Wait, is he really not Swedish? I'm retarded, bro. Oh, man. Now I'm stupid. Now he's going to say I'm uneducated. Fuck, bro. I just got owned, dude. <laughs> it's so over. Give back. I thought he was from Belgium. Oh, I should have known by his horrible voice that he's French Canadian. That is, after all, their purpose. And both you get my fucking point, chat. And slot machines would cease to be if they failed to do that. Reactors exist to increase the time people spend watching reaction videos, and by necessity, but choose the. Someone said Lemino. It's well, he goes by Lemino. Time they spend doing anything else. They are not designed to give value. They are designed to extract us. As far as the value given. He's making this comment about Turkey Tom, too. And Turkey Tom has a video essayist documentary channel. Like, I have a video essayist documentary channel. By reactors to viewers, all that value can be given through other forms of content and thus is irrelevance. In other words, XQC and Hassan, if they can manage to extract their heads from their asses, can make their own bloody videos. Much By the way, this is the guy who threw a huge temper tantrum when Ethan Klein got to debate uh, somebody. Who did Ethan have to debate? Um, let me see. Like he name searched himself uh, on this drama. Hold on, wait, look at this. This is a real drama chat. This is so funny. So he name searched me on this. I had one weird interaction with Dark Viper, so it's this one. Bruh, debating XQC on copyright. So another W for Ethan Klein to chat with XQC on copyright. Um, and then I wrote, I would uh, I would take Ethan over Dark Viper in this debate. It's like one of his principled positions, um, and he hasn't co uh, compared React content to rate. So it's me defending Ethan at a time when I wasn't super fond of Ethan, saying I would rather Ethan Klein debate XQC than Dark Viper, because Dark Viper is poison to any dialogue about React content. Then he comes in here and he's like, one principled position. Oh, my sweet summer child, you believe that if you believe that, uh, that then you know less about Ethan and less about me than your other statement suggests. If you sincerely believe that comparing an instance of uh, ignoring consent to making a point is insane... Uh, to make a point is insane. Wait until you hear about Ethan Klein. 
Uh, then I wrote, looks like he's pretty uh, on point with this one. I'm no fan of Ethan, but this is basically the one debate I would be interested in seeing him uh, from him. But yeah, I think your document was a little schizophrenic, but well-intentioned. So I'm like being mean here, but I, I even like at this point said his document was well-intentioned. Uh, and then I, and then he like responded all angry and I'm like, wait, you think that I said this is your one principal position? No, that was about Ethan. Oh no, I'm well aware. If you believe that Ethan Klein has a principal position, then I can totally understand how you cannot read my essay and call it schizophrenic. Or like, he's just so fucking brutally mad about this. I had one, a weird interaction with Dark Viper after he name searched himself and saw that I was more excited to see Ethan Klein debate react content than him. If I remember correctly, despite being friends with Hassan, I feel like Ethan handled that conversation relatively well. Um, I just found out Viper was banned from Destiny's subreddit, and I wanted to see why until I saw how long the comment was. Anyone want to tell me if this was justified? This is why Dark Viper was banned from Destiny's subreddit. Now, again, you could say it's slander to call this guy autistic, but come on, chat. Come on. Like, give me a break, dude. This is why he was banned from the fucking subreddit. Big drama news. As rare as it for me to post on the Destiny subreddit, the kickstreamer, not the game, our mutual reviewers do at me on occasion to get my thoughts on things relevant to me. This is just a PSA to say that I will be responding. Um, even less than I almost, wait, than the almost never I did before. Wait, this is a PSA to say I will be responding even less uh, the almost never I did before. It will be, in fact... Now, not be at all, as I simply, uh, as I seem to have been banned. Apparently, for a detailed comment I made, breaking down the flaws in Destiny's understanding. Although, I think he was more likely banned, I think I was more likely banned because I don't think it was worth the time to debate him, which hurt his feelings. Either way, uh, either that, or he's just jealous that I'm a voice actor for GTA 6. This is, uh... This I honestly completely understand, as I would be jealous of me too. You might ask if I will respond uh, in kind. Honest, no. The comments and a fan art of Destiny frequently post to my subreddit are quite sweet, uh, although at the time borderline on absurd, uh, disturbingly obsessive. So like, I don't know, bro. This guy just shows up to argue about copyright with random fucking people. And then when people say, I'm not reading all that, bro. Okay, like, whatever, bro. And then he gets, like, fucking mad and cries on Twitter about it all the time. And I'm supposed to believe that this guy isn't mad at Chud Logic? Are you serious? I'm supposed to believe that he doesn't care what people think about him when he writes shit like this on Destiny's subreddit because he didn't agree about, like, React content or something? What is this? Twitch does not compete with YouTube. The idea of Twitch is in a bit like, I'm not reading all this shit. I don't care, dude. Like, this guy literally perpetually gets like, cool, dude. Anything else? Nice, man. Anything else? And then, like, he has a meltdown about it. He's so soy, bro. Uh, where is this? Oh, God. We're almost at the 20-minute mark. Then we can abruptly end without context because he says we're not allowed to give it. Much of the rest of Tom's video expresses confusion why I would strike a reaction beer from a small channel that would at best only have a small impact on me. But anyone who knows of my work would understand that I view reactors as parasites that extract value from creators. Therefore, anything that impedes that extraction gives some benefit to someone, even if it isn't me. Now, this video is a I reaction to Dark I view you Viper. as a parasite that should be fucking destroyed socially online and people should shit all over you. Because you're a total major pussy and you're willing to fuck up fair use for the rest of the internet. Because you're like a soy bitch. Make no mistake, like it is a reaction video. He watches the entire thing in full. But it's 35 minutes. Well, well that was like really tipster, wait. Make no mistake, like it is a reaction video. He watches the entire thing in full. But it's 35 minutes long. He adds a lot of commentary. And the original video was less than 10 minutes. So by that metric, about 26 minutes. Of wait, why is that really tipster? His Australian voice just went away in the fucking meme. Uh, by the way, just disclaimer, not tipster, AI tipster. Not really him. Um... Where is the clip where he talks about how he has no friends? Can we play that? That's super relevant to this drama. Um, Dark Viper. Here, listen to this. Um, like, I, I don't talk to anyone, really. And then I'm a bit of a loner. Because uh, I, in some respects, consider myself to be an old dog who was kicked a lot when he was a young dog. And so I don't really trust anyone. Um, I have no confidants. I have... Uh, 
I just assume that everyone will eventually, like, work against my interests. He's insane. And this is why I think he's schizophrenic. Dude, how old is he? Is he 27? Dark Viper. Hey, how long has he been doing this? How long has he been schizophrenic? Uh, age. All right, he's 33 years old. Schizophrenia starts to manifest at 27. So I wouldn't be surprised, chat. Unless there's an explicit reason for them not to. Uh, I've just never really had anyone in my life that I can trust a lot. <laughs> the closest thing I have now is my mods. Dude, his closest friends are his Discord moderators, bro. His Twitch and YouTube moderators. Fuck this, bro. Get out of here. So the reaction is made up with commentary. Nick, you're 27. Yeah, that's why I see tipster everywhere I go. From Chud, where he transforms the original content. Tom uses the word transformation as seemingly a synonym of addition. But it's oh! The AI was picking up Tom. That's why it sounded normal. It's not. Not legally, or how the word is generally used. To use a silly example, here's the turtle from Super Auto Pets. Now I'm going to add a hat to it. It's still a turtle. The turtle hasn't been transformed. It's exactly as it was before. There's just a hell in it now. In the reaction, my content is still there, unchanged, in full. It's like if you compared watching a movie by yourself or with a friend. Comparatively, absolutely, your friend can add something to that experience. You might enjoy yourself more. Your experience would be different, but the content of the movie would not change even slightly. It would never be transformed, regardless of how many times you pause the movie to shit talk it. What Tom is expressing here is a general principle, not meant to be specific to this case. So we could Wait, I'm sorry. Do you think that people can't, like, do you think that if someone watches a, a fucking movie with their friend, they're not going to ever watch that movie again? You don't think there's any situations where people watch movies multiple times? You think that, like, it's a market substitute if I watch your video for two consecutive days? Do you think that like my video, like me watching your video for two full fucking days is taking away from your viewership on it if people have to watch it that slowly? If I watch a nine minute clip over the course of two days where I constantly pause it and talk about other stuff to the point where it's not, it, yeah, it's probably all there. Your whole nine minute video was probably watched in like second intervals if I watched it for two straight days. Sure, 100%. You think that there's no reason to go back and watch the original one if some dumb fuck was yapping for fucking 48 hours during the during that 10 minute period? Like, okay, cool. Take the Lord of the Rings trilogy, for example, which required thousands of people over many years and $500 million to make. To remain consistent, Tom would sincerely have to believe that I could reproduce that movie in full as long as I paused it every once in a while and gave my thoughts. I honestly find it hard to believe that he could sincerely believe that. While it is somewhat unimportant to either my or Tom's views, an interesting thing to note is that for the first time in 30 years, a fair use case actually made it to the American Supreme Court in 2022. To very briefly cover the case, the issue is whether this photograph being altered to look like this resulted in a new artwork with a different character and purpose, thereby constituting fair use, or whether it remains substantially similar to the original work, mini serving as a derivative work that infringed on copyrights. The district court judge said this was fair use, but when it was appealed, the second circuit judge came and said no, this was not fair use. It then went to the Supreme Court, where two of the justices said it was fair use, while seven of them said it was- Nick be like, Smaggle is my closest- Yeah, that would literally be like, Smaggle is my closest friend. Um... Nick, you shouldn't be showing this. I was definitely going to watch Tipster on my own. True. This is a market substitute for whatever video that Tipster made here. It's so over. It's not fair use. So you could say in the totality, three of the 11 judges caught it fair use, while eight of the 11 said it wasn't. People seem to wrongly have this idea that if you just add something to someone else's work, then it is immediately fair use. I am sorry, but that just is not the case. If you want more information, I have an entire- This just sounds like a super entitled bitch baby who's like, You said mean things about me. <laughs> like, it's all it is, bro. A series on it, but every decision in regards to fair use is against the idea of watch party specifically being fair use. Some other things people stupidly call reactions, like commentary content, can be fair use, but not watch parties. How skewed you are at pressing the pause button and having a discussion with your chat is entirely irrelevant. A discussion that is relevant to the video, providing context that otherwise wasn't there. Every time I pull up a fucking tweet and I discuss how what you're saying here is in direct contrast to what was said in that tweet, that is obviously me making the content fair use. It is providing something that was not in your original work. To be fair, that, that 
then expands upon the nature of your work. It doesn't mean definitively that there isn't going to be some hallmark case in the future where the guidelines of fair use are somehow going to be redefined so that the written words mean the opposite of how they have been interpreted in the past. Even legal professionals do disagree on fair use. It is simply that right now, nothing supports watch parties being fair use, regardless of how many times you press the pause button during it. No amount of watering down the Again, idea- Again, his content was not a watch party. That is super disingenuous, and it's funny that you point that out after the video is gone. Transformation will ever change that. One of the things that I tried to stress in my main thesis is that no one actually cares about fair use as it is written in the law in any region. Why would anyone care about how it's written in the law? They care about what, like, how it's most useful to you. Yeah, absolutely. They don't mean it, and they just assume their own values are co- Wait, do you think people just- they study for the bar every time they set out to make a YouTube content? Like, this is why you don't fuck it. This is why you're mad that people aren't reading your fucking document. Nobody gives a shit. Putified into lol. Make a fucking video. I think he did make a video, and it still didn't hit. We will see examples of this later. In my experience, people usually believe there is both value in incentivizing people to work and rewarding them for it, and that people should freely be able to express themselves by building upon what others have Dude, worked. Dude, honestly, I'm, I'm not surprised this guy has no friends. It, he literally threatens what everyone else does for a living on this entire platform because his ego got damaged by Chud Logic. Like, I mean, come on, bro. Yeah, 100%. I'm glad Charlie lit this guy up. Go watch Charlie's video bashing the fuck out of this idiot. I support it 100%. I support everything that was said in it. Create. Fair use is ultimately putting a line that balances these two often competing ideals, and as laws in different countries place it in different spots, it is impossible. You know what? When we hit the 20 minute mark, we're gonna keep streaming. We're gonna go watch Charlie's video on him. And then on my next stream, I'll watch the next 20 minutes of this video. Possible to agree with fair use law as a totality. People just support the things they like and want to exist, regardless of what the law says. They only reference it when they rightly or wrongly believe it gives them credibility or can serve their goals. It could be fair use, but I just can't say for sure. It hasn't been taken to court. I'm not the fair use expert. I think there's an argument maybe to be made from Chud Logic that under the fair use criteria, it's not technically legally fair use. But honestly, I don't really care because I'm somewhat critical of this part of fair use law. In my opinion, you should be able to play someone else's entire original work as long as you add to it. It should be obvious, but I fundamentally disagree with the perspective Tom puts out here. And I am confident that my series argues quite well that his position is untenable. No one watched your series and no one will watch Watch your series. In a world where there is no cost placed on copying, whether that be legal or social sanction, actually doing the work to create something will generally put you in a worse circumstance than those who just copy what others have worked to- You play video games for a living, you play other people's IPs, and you run through their story modes that they create. Hundreds of people work towards and create these fucking games, and you run through the whole story for your chat so they have no reason to play them. Creates. In a world where doing nothing and working result in the same reward, only working has a cost, and I believe that is fundamentally bad for society. This is made even worse when comparatively doing nothing results in an even greater reward than working does. If you're reviewing an album, I think you should be able to play the entire album, every single second of it, so long as you're constantly adding commentary. If the viewer wants to go listen to that album, and that album alone, it's extremely easy to find that on YouTube for free, in the same way that they would see that review. But if they're watching your review, it's my belief that they must want your commentary, not just the commentary of the original piece. They want to see you react to it. Music will always be a bad example, because a song can be listened to hundreds of times. Movies can be listened to hundreds of times. You can still be listening to the same song. If you're not making dog shit videos, they can be watched hundreds of times. Decades later, to use a counter extreme example, imagine I spent the afternoon drawing dogs. Then I made myself a bot that automatically downloads every single game on Steam and then adds my drawings of dogs to the loading screens and then re-uploads all those games back to Steam but lists them at 50% off the cost of the original game. I am adding something, Tom. My dog drawings are right there. Dude, that is such a disingenuous and I, that's insane. I would be very surprised if he was supportive of such a thing. It's so funny how Dark Viper said reacting to content is unethical when he reacted to a Xander Hall video a few years ago when he started shitting on the anti-react grift. Well, no, it's all these guys who don't like doing drama or whatever. Love to just jump in and do drama. All right, chat, we're at the 20 minute mark, so we have to save the other 22 minutes for the next time we review this because unfortunately we're dealing with a trigger happy baby who's going to dmca every single thing that gets covered about this if he can if he can get away with it uh and we're not going to give him the opportunity so instead uh we're going to watch moist critical shit on him instead uh normally i like to play the whole thing so we can listen to his full argument and not take him out of context but to be honest if i'm watching a 44 minute video by dark viper i'm going to be paid for it uh, so i'm not going to watch any more of this until our next stream because I refuse to pre-watch this guy.
Champions that I'll be feasting on is some cereal with L's. I got the biblical smackdown laid on me by a YouTuber and it's time to talk about it. This all started- Where's his first video? I know they say the Lord forgives all sins, even murder, but thanks to one man, my third eye has truly been opened to a very hard to swallow truth that there's one sin so unforgivable that it sends the person straight to hell. It's React content. There is no forgiveness for React streamers. Those vile vermin- Hold on, Dark Viper, where is the one where he talks about- This is what he said about the video we're about to watch. Do I have ill feelings against Charlie because of that? Yes. If you go back and watch my response to Charlie's original video, you can see how angry I was. That wasn't a joke. That wasn't feigned. I was angrier then than I've ever been in the entire 32 years of my life. And I think I'm still angry and will always be angry. There's a part of me that is forever tainted by that video he released because I would just always be angry about it. I've talked about it at length other times, but something was stolen from me that I can never get back because one idiot who has the reading comprehension of a fucking toddler feels it necessary for him to, to make a video about every fucking thing he sees on Twitter. I just, I sometimes sit and, and, and contemplate and, and think about that whole situation and it's really how fucking dumb the entire thing was. It is just now a part of my, me, a part of my life forever. And it just makes me more mad. The only way I'm not as mad is when I just don't think about it. It was made worse when his apology started by calling all my fans toxic. And I wanted to wait to talk about it further until I could have a conversation directly with him. But I've been getting just a ton of messages from his community and a lot of it's really nasty, horrible shit. So I figured it'd just be better to get ahead of it and hopefully have that conversation with him later. It concluded with, I I'll stop doing reaction content. Then I was like, okay. Yeah, this guy sounds fucking crazy. Again, someone in chat just said like, it's a shock this guy has no friends. I mean, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. He's such a soy little bitch. He acts like the Katie girl when fucking Katie's like talking about her abuse or whatever, bullshit, whatever. Um, her abuse with quotations. Um, it's the same, like, stupid gay poetry. That watch YouTube. Uh, where, where does he say the thing? That I want to talk about. The guy, he has no idea what the fuck he's talking about. And then, like, a year later, all of them repeating my beliefs, my argument. Dude, he thinks that the only way you could possibly be against reaction content is if you read his document and you're regurgitating his talking points. I guarantee none of these people did. My words about reaction. Do you think Jax Films got all of his opinions stolen from Dark Viper? Content. I Do you think he's the first guy? I mean, I think my video on react content where I'm arguing similar talking points about Hassan, I think that predates his document. I'm almost positive that my video came out before it. It, it is just extraordinary. The one I made back in 2020 really frustrating on some level it just makes you realize that truth doesn't really matter it's it's just it's just all nonsense it makes you want to just stop caring like just, just say fuck it like people can say whatever the fuck they want define reality and it's just it's up to the the fucking us peasants at the fucking lower levels just to deal with whatever the people at the top want the narrative to be yeah so a lot of thoughts to uh mr moore's uh question there and like i could go on for fucking forever yeah, it's just uh you can write a book about it yeah videos on twitch they're all bad people downright evil with no exception i remember in star wars they said only a sith deals in absolutes well not this time yesterday a youtuber and streamer named dark viper au posted a 14 page document which is the script for a video he's working on all about how evil react content is and it really heats up this gets wild and wacky for the touchdown real quick there's a whole section in here where he basically compares reactors to sexual abuse criminals and insinuates that they'd be likely to spike your drink at a party take silence for consent basically is comparing react content creators to rapists completely unironically it's not some edgy joke or anything <laughs> like i'm sorry bro this is crazy thing it's posting cringe on main that he truly believes and defends in the comments when someone called him out for it he really doubles down puts his nuts on the table and says yeah reactors are likely to commit sexual abuse he says it's hyperbole but only slightly right. so the difference between actively ignoring I don't think he's actually saying that reactors are likely to commit sexual abuse. I think he's making a retarded argument, saying that, like, if they're willing to steal your content, what else would they be willing to take from you? Aha! Your sexual fucking... I don't know, bro. It's, it's still pretty fucking crazy. Ignoring consent for financial gain is not so far removed from ignoring consent for sexual gratification. In his own document, he admits that he himself was a reactor. He is engaged in a lot of react content himself. So at one point, were you a rapist, Dark Viper? Were you likely to commit sexual abuse? <laughs> I love this so much. This guy's great. In fact, I'd I argue- I disavow all the parts he apologized for.
We're on the upper echelon of React content. Oh, sorry, I avow. My, 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 I disavow. I avow all the things that he apologized for in this, in this video. You were doing media share nights where your community donated money for you to watch videos. I think it's funny. As opposed to just watching videos that you wanted to share with people and reacting to those, you had people pay you to do it, and then you made money on top of that from the videos you'd post from it. So you were a super reactor. Of course, you don't do that anymore, and you deleted all the videos, but at one point you did engage in the exact same content that you're coming out so heavily against right now, and then tried to make your own justifications for, for why you weren't the bad guy. It's an outrageous claim, obviously. However, he does make legitimate points in the document. It's overshadowed by this unhinged rant that he goes on. I am familiar with Dark Viper's content. In fact, I was a fan of Dark Viper. I'd seen his runs. I didn't really see too many of like his rant videos, but I did. The thing is, speedrunners should never talk, ever, like in any context. I've never heard a speedrunner give, give any argument in a drama that was actually valuable. And that's like no fucking joke. Every time a speedrunner talks about a drama, it's the worst take. Like, there, it takes a special person to be able to play a video game or, like, reset something over and over and over and over and over again to get, like, the optimal run, and I totally respect it, but you're probably also completely broken as a person if you do that. Like, you're probably not having very many social skills. How could you go out? You spend all day speedrunning video games. See his content from time to time, and he always- Dream, yeah, it explains why Dream reacted so poorly in his last drama. But he quit being a speedrunner, so maybe he'll do better the next time. Struck me as someone pretty level-headed. In fact, recently, he made a video correcting something I talked about, which was- Carl Jobs? He's like the rare speedrunner. Um, who talks about other speedrunners, and then it's fun to watch. How much money YouTubers make from short content? I because he shits on, like, other antisocial retards. Um, and honestly, maybe Carl's, like, the exception, because I like a lot of his content. Got some of it wrong. He was a pretty big inspiration when I came back to YouTube, was his style of drama. Him, He's, like, the most aggressive guy in the gaming commentary genre or whatever. Like, he, I don't know, I, I, I really respect what Carl has done. Um, his new video that I watched recently of him, like, absolutely demolishing that girl who faked a speed run, and then, like, saying, like, yeah, this new run came out, it's fake too, I'm not gonna tell you how, but I'll be back in a month and then I'll tell you. So let her have this W for a little while, I'm gonna come take it back, was some of the most baller fucking drama shit I've ever seen before. Um, yeah, I respect the fuck out of Carl, even if he is friends with Tipster. I don't care if he hates me. And not on purpose, but I just didn't know what he knew. He was very knowledgeable in short content and made a whole video going over some very insightful stuff that was a learning experience for me and his audience. I thought it was a great video, very well done, and it was super disappointing to read something like this from him. Now, I'm called out by name multiple times throughout this document because, obviously, I do react content from time to time, 100%. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not trying to bury it in the past and hide it, pretend like I didn't, or try and justify it, because I'm not embarrassed of it. Look, I understand the stigma around React content, and I've always understood it. When I react to something, I'm constantly trying to either pause it and add something to it or interject comedy into it. I treat React content like mystery science theater, where it is a transformative piece around the content. Now, of course, not every time is going to be a hit, which is why you'll find plenty of videos where I'm reacting to something like the downfall of Quiddy, which comes from a great channel that I really like to watch, and I just got too engrossed in their storytelling and the way they presented it, presented it that I didn't add anything to it. Enjoying the video as it was presented without really being able to add too much to it. And yeah, I always feel guilty when something like that happens, but that's never the goal. Dark Viper's entire document here is about this belief that every reactor is doing it for financial gain and to fuck small channels. And the logic he uses to make these points is deeply flawed and isn't substantiated by any real evidence. It just feels like he pulls it out of his ass and it's source, trust me, bro. Is he has an Based. understanding of capitalism and the free market, and that's what he's using to base all of these claims on, even though it's not directly applicable to YouTube itself. So I just wanted to go over everything here right now. So even right away, his initial tweet going for the most extreme approach possible. All reactors are bad people, exploit others to benefit no one but themselves, collectively stolen millions of dollars from actual creators and have stopped countless thousands from having a career. I wonder how many small channels are out there shaking their fist right now like, damn you, Pokimane, my channel died because you watched my video on your stream and said- And here's the thing. There are a lot of reasons why I would fall on the Dark Viper side of this argument. And I think for the most part, I do. I do argue, and I have argued, and I will continue to argue, that there is some really disgusting behavior that happens with React streamers. Usually those are XQC, usually those are Hassan, sometimes those are Asmund Gold. And my biggest problem is the ones who then republish that video to YouTube, where they say absolutely nothing. Like, I'm, I'm not talking about, oh, they react for double the length of the video. I'm talking they re-upload the video maybe five to ten minutes longer on like a two-hour video. And all they're doing is staring at the screen the entire time or eating a sandwich. Hassan Piker has gone out of his way to have his editor start throwing in clips of him moving when he goes to take a shit in the video so it abruptly changes to a different version of Hassan so you can't clip out when he's going to the chair when they re-upload a section when he's leaving his chair to go to the bathroom during his fucking video it's gotten so bad that they're creating new ways that Hassan can steal content 
Okay, there are absolute reasons to support what Dark Viper is saying here. Unfortunately, Dark Viper is the one saying it, and unfortunately, it's not really easy to follow because Dark Viper is fucking crazy. Okay, so he's completely ruined this argument from getting any sort of traction. Every time I talk about fucking React content, I get some asshole in the comment section going, oh, we got a 14-page watcher. This guy created evidence.zip for fucking... Yeah, he created evidence.zip for a thing that I am passionate about, and I hate him for it. <laughs> he has made it impossible to fight this. Nice things about me. I had such a promising career as a YouTuber until you said nice things about my video on stream to your audience of 30,000 concurrent viewers. Now I'm fucking trashed. I'm ruined. And to be fair, that's not the exact point he's making. His point of how they're killing small channels is because they're taking eyes away from small channels to their own channel. So I guess a more apt comparison would be a small channel fucking flipping over their table like, fuck. I I'm saying it's like having Dark Viper fight for you is a lot like having Tipster fight with you, unironically. It's just like now there's one guy that everyone can look at and make fun of and use him as the straw man to describe your argument because he is so awful it is now like impossible to be taken seriously because he sucks all the air out of the room by being so awful would have had 10 million views on this video if pokemane didn't react to jubilee six atheists versus one christian t five days ago now my channel's fucked because she reacted and all the people wouldn't watch that instead of watching my video essay on dying lights butthole physics now to show his point in the actual document he goes on to describe how effortless it is to make react content which he is absolutely in the right on this is an inarguable truth it takes significantly less time and effort to react to content than it does to create the content that's being reacted to that's just blasting your ass with facts and logic 100 percent even when you're transforming the content like you know for example if i'm adding an extra 10 minutes worth of dialogue or even 20 minutes worth of like extra commentary on top of it that's still significantly less work than actually went into that video that created and he's, he's totally right there. He then goes on to say how easy it is to pump out. Yeah, except when you're reacting to fucking Dark Viper stream highlights that are just him talking, talking about things that upset him. What is the content value? How much, how difficult was it to clip you talking and crying about Jack's films? What did Chud steal from you? Point on the doll how much work it took to make the stream highlight of you crying like a bitch about Jack's films. Curious. Yeah, because we're all talking about these content creators who take this mythical amount of time to make all this content, right? This mythical amount of time that goes in to create these fucking... Let me know. We're thinking of let me know every single time we make these arguments. But Chud reacted to your stream highlight. Like, I'm sorry, it's just you yapping. That content, since it obviously takes less time and effort, they can make more of it, which means more React videos are being pumped into the YouTube atmosphere. And he's right there again. Like, what is the value? You, yeah, I'm yapping with a video on. You're yapping by yourself about you being a massive pussy. I feel like that's a wash. But that's just me. And look at someone like Sniper Wolf. She's able to do one a day, and she's making, I think, 700 million views a month or something. She is the biggest React channel online, like anywhere on the internet. And what's shocking about Dark Viper's document is she's not listed here by name. He only goes with Twitch streamers, even though Dark Viper, or Sniper Wolf does the same thing. So I found that to be weird, because that would have been another great point here. Is this prior to the Jax film situation? And they were, like, telling him at the time you should include Dar uh, Sniper Wolf, right? Bef like, even before all of that happened? That's funny if that's the case. But it, regardless, her absence isn't that Again, the React problem is overwhelmingly YouTube re-uploads, all right? There's somebody watching it on stream. Okay, sure. I mean, yeah, it sucks or whatever when, when, when Hassan takes a shit and doesn't fucking, um, and doesn't react to my video and leaves it on. And then, like, those thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand people who are watching it, um, they're, they're not going to watch my video now, blah, 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 blah. All right. It is objectively worse when people like that do that and then they say nothing in it and then they upload it back to YouTube and they title it similar and they copy the thumbnail. That is literally the worst of the worst. The XQC type videos where he posts his no nothing reactions, nothing of value added, and then he competes with my video for views. Objectively the worst form of reaction content. The deal. It just serves to highlight that he is right. You can pump this out a lot quicker than. And I'm speaking of this as like, it's XQC making a video on the fucking JFK assassination. There's no reason that that should be pulling views from Let Me Know. If it's XQC reacting to um, his fucking ex girlfriend's live stream or Hassan's debate with Ethan Klein or something like that, at least there's some value to his perspective. Um, he's very unintelligent. So not much value, but there is some value there. Only original products. But the next part is where him and I differ no, bro, greatly in our opinion here. And it is an opinion, right no matter how much Dark Viper wants to present it as a... Look, uh, there are a lot of people who'll defend Asmongold, and you're not going to find that on this channel. I don't like Asmongold at all. And I'm going to be honest, I think that he is also one of the people who gets shielded. I, I agree with Dark Viper. I think he gets shielded a lot by people. Fact. He argues that this flood of React content takes from the finite pool of impressions. So it Papa takes Guts old video titles? Yeah, that was super gay. We called out Papa Gut for that because he was like literally minutes after or whatever streaming the video or something, he would be uploading it with like the same title and thumbnail.
those eyeballs and puts it towards the React content as opposed to going towards the original content that they would have found elsewhere if the React- Again, you'll see it. If me and fucking uh, Dark Viper spoke before all this drama and we just talked about our opinions on React content, we would disagree because he's got like this Nazi-esque perspective on reaction content. But when we actually get down to the actual practical use of reaction content and who the biggest offenders are, you'd hear that we would agree a lot on the subject. It's just how far he's willing to go and destroy the platform for literally everybody else. And how much I think that like Hassan and those people should be criticized more from their own audience. That's the difference. This guy would rather go take Chud Logic to court, spend a shitload of money to fuck fair use for everybody. Whereas I, I'm not on that camp. Content didn't exist. I'm skipping ahead just a bit because this part is also still part of the same umbrella claim. He says, if your content is good, then it will get exposure naturally. And so you don't need reactors. He's absolutely right. Of course you don't need reactors, but he says, if your content is good, it will naturally get exposure. Okay, based on what? Where's your evidence to support that claim? There are millions upon millions of channels, literally millions, that have made high quality productions over the last decade that went nowhere, fell flat on their face, have less than hundreds of views. I know that because we've watched them on my stream before. I usually like to find more obscure content and I've seen some great videos, huge production, less than hundred views, like five years old, the channel's dead now. And it had nothing to do with XQC watching my mom picks my next boyfriend for me or anything. It just has to do with the sheer volume of content on YouTube in general, where not all great productions are gonna find eyeballs. And it's just a fucking lie, him saying that it's gonna naturally get exposure. You have no way of proving that. And if you do, I'd love to see it. How can you guarantee that by making high quality productions, you're naturally going to blow up on YouTube? How can you say that? Can you prove it? The pillar of his whole point is there's so much React content that now all those eyeballs are on the reactors and not on the original content. They've taken away from this finite pool of impressions, but you have no- You know what we should do, chat? We should spend a week just watching Dark Viper exposed videos. I don't care who they're by or anything. And then when we have to go and source things that are said about him, we should just re remember the fact that Dark Viper says we can't watch his videos. That's what we should do. We should just spend a week watching Dark Viper videos and then telling you guys that if you want to watch more or you want to get context, you should just go to his channel because he's not really in the market of giving context. He's not in the market of taking criticism in, on YouTube. He's in the market of DMCAing people who like shit on him. So let's find the videos he didn't DMCA and watch them all. How's that? That sounds like fun. I would have a lot of fun doing that. A way of proving if that React content wasn't there. Oh, you want to source that? Can we pull up a clip? No, we can't. He doesn't want us to. I'm just gonna watch it and hang out. Those eyeballs would go to that original content because it's the internet. It's Ultimate you Dark Viper review, like a tipster, like a tipster bully stream where we just go through all the videos that he's responded to, that like, and he's given thorough responses to, where you could easily look up, not, not like random slander videos and stuff like that by small content creators. All the videos that you can go and find his opinion on, where he's reacted to them on his own channel, and then just not watch his reactions and just watch the original video and laugh at him. Uh, so that way, if you guys really do want to hear his responses to these things, I don't know why you would. You could technically go look it up. I just can't play it for you because it'll strike my channel. YouTube, there's other places they could go to get entertainment. Let's say all of a sudden all of React content is gone. The people that watch the React content might just go watch fucking Netflix, might just go on Twitch and watch some gaming streams or something. There's no guarantee that now that the React content's gone, those eyeballs turn towards the small YouTubers. You can't prove that. So the claim is completely baseless. I know you drew this diagram, but there's no source here. You're just pulling this out of your ass. I would love to know where you got this data from if you have that available, because in this graph, if the React content that controls the 30% here pulls out, that 30% doesn't automatically get distributed to the rest of the graph. Those eyeballs could just be gone. They could go to a different platform. Take for example when Mixer acquired Ninja and Shroud. They came with absolutely massive audiences, and when they stream on Mixer, they'd have that full audience there. They were tuned in. But when they left, those eyeballs left. They didn't get redistributed to the rest of Mixer. They just went to a different platform because what they were there for was gone. So, so were they. It, it could be the same on YouTube. I'm not saying it is. There's no way for you to prove that if the React content wasn't there, all of those eyeballs that they are occupying of that finite pool of impressions. Bro, this is so old. It's about fucking Mixer. All right, guys. I think I'm done tonight. I gotta grab dinner. It's 9.30. I'm fucking hungry. I need to chill. Let me get through some donos, and then I think we'll cut out. We have to do a Dark Viper Part 2 stream next week at some point. It's probably going to be a full week, though, because I have to work on this video and get it done, because I have to start the April project with Tom, and I'm stuck going to the city next week, for, uh, so I'm losing time. But thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Um, Almond City, $5, is a great victim uh, who's dealt with power imbalances and not realizing it wasn't my fault till later. Katie is running... Uh, Katie is oh god it's so slow why is why is fucking YouTube so slow today holy shit I have to scroll back up oh no oh god oh no how far up was that kill me by the way thank you guys for being so supportive tonight you guys have been great um holy shit I don't know if I can read this it's just it's scrolling for ages uh Hold on, can I just... Whoa. What is happening on YouTube, dude?
Holy shit. Viewer activity. Okay, we're good. We fixed it. Uh, as a grape victim who dealt with power imbalancing and not realizing it was my fault until later, Katie is ruining my old my own URR here. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you're doing better and stuff. Uh, well, as, as good as you can be doing. Almond City, thank you for the five. Uh, Ghost Gaming, 948, $5. Illy Animation is a drama that's happening right now. I'm not really sure. Ryan, $5. Ugh, British people. Strictly Patrick, $2. Amesy should look into Ryan P, manager of the Misfits. Uh, Vad R 3 d $2. Who comes back first, Too Mad or James Somerton? I think Too Mad. Kodu Productions, $2. Jeez, what's eating her? Wait, never mind. Uh, Gex rolled H, $2. Uh, then what is an adult to these people? What age? The Omach, $5. Can we point out that Katie apparently is mature enough to travel across country by herself without the responsibilities of an adult? Yeah, I don't get it either. But that's if her parents didn't show up. Koda Projects, $2. Got my streamers in Paris. Now they're going gorilla. Red Skis, $10. I hate the 18-year-olds are still children mindset. Uh, just have some fucking responsibility. You're not a baby anymore. It's so annoying. Orc Kilster one thanks for the new membership. James the Frog, $5. If you could sit behind a screen and tell someone to KYS, you are insane. Uh, Stefan Corbino, 10 Canadian. It's crazy to think that you can e you can enter the military as a kid, start drinking, smoking, and gambling. As an 18-year-old kid in California, the army is full of smoking, drinking, gambling kids. Ghost Gaming, 948, $2. Wilbur passed on his rabies to this girl. Yaskuzi, new membership. Pragmatic Culture, $2. We stand, brother Chad. 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 Inshallah. Uh, five memberships from Say Goodnight. D win two dollars. Hey Nick, how can a D one vet get into D two? Don't do it. Do not do it. It will sink in your whole life. You'll quit YouTube. You'll spend two years playing video games. Do not do it. You can have YouTube, a social life, uh, a job, and Destiny, and not Destiny two. You have to give up one of the four: Destiny two, a social life, YouTube, and a job. Uh, and you could sub YouTube out whatever your hobby is. Okay, you can't have them all. Something has to give. Uh, and YouTube gave for Destiny Two. What is D One to D Two? Destiny One is the game. Destiny One. D Two is Destiny Two. Are they a video game? To Canadian, he can call this bootlegging. Uh, Viron Ibra sent a new membership. Noni Moose sent a membership. I was mostly listening till now. What the fuck is the virtual aids on the screen? Uh, it's the fair use button. Nick, you shouldn't be showing this. I was definitely going to watch Chipster on my own. Poor Tippy. Ian Sharp, thanks for the $5. Confusing Opinion, $5. Wait, when did I become a Nick DiOrio mod so I could be the best buddy? No, when do I become a... Uh, thank By the way, Confusing Opinion made that edit with the AI. Shout out Confusing Opinion. Uh, Zaint, new membership. Ver Veronibra, $5. I can't say his arguments are bad faith. That's how pedos signal to one another. <laughs> that was my best fucking meme. James the Frog, $2. Every DV video is just mauling. Dude needs a hobby. I think this is his hobby, but I guess maybe it's his job. Uh, Goblish, thanks for the new membership. Guys, thank you so much to everyone who supported the channel. We've got like a crazy amount of support tonight. Um, this The VOD of the URR portion of this will come up pretty quick. In fact, let's check and see how fast. It depends on, uh, it might be as early as tomorrow, but I, who knows, because YouTube might not let me. Otherwise, it'll probably be a Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, YouTube self-cert. If I'm green, it'll come out tomorrow. Um, and it's gonna, this, this VOD gets uh, privated in like 10 hours, so you have like 10 hours to watch it. Um, accuracy rating, go to YouTube, and it's red. So it's gonna be like in a couple days, because there's nothing I can do. Uh, this thing just breaks every few days until the, uh, 90 day mark is over and it's like early january so it should be good in april cringe um yeah so thank you what are we gonna play ourselves out with uh dark viper says music is different because you can listen to it over and over again so i think i'm glorbing out boys um let me see where are we gonna send you guys do you guys want to watch home arcade content i don't know if i can really I feel like that would be... I, I shouldn't send you to home arcade content. Who's live? Um, I'll figure it out.
Joe Dundick, VB's on both my wrists I was in that chump bucket, now I'm out in all my 